Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And on the table today we have some Frosthaven officially beginning the campaign, I think. We played Scenario Zero yesterday. You can find that in the video description of this stream uh, in the playlist section. Click on the Frosthaven playlist. And in that playlist you also find the next, I think, three episodes I scheduled already. So if you want to click notify me on those episodes so you can join us in chat and you don't miss them, that's one way you can do it. You can also subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, so you get notified anytime we go live or post a video and then you can decide to swipe it away if it's not your jam or click on it and join us. Uh, but yeah, hello everyone who got their notifications today and joined us or, set, or set the notify me or... We're just hitting F5 on the page till the stream went live. But either way. Or we're waiting from yesterday. <laughs> or we're still waiting from, yeah, who got kicked from yesterday's yeah. stream to this stream and forgot to close the tab on their browser, which happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hello to you who just hears a noise coming from another room on a device. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, make sure you click that like button right there. Click that like button somewhere down there, down here. Uh, right there, I think. Uh, maybe right here. I don't know. Depends on mobile and stuff. But yeah, click the like button on your way in. Much appreciated. Thank you all those for the kind words. Join the stream early. I appreciate all the, the hype and the good lucks and all, all the nice things in chat. People um, seem to hype for this. Yeah. So are we. Lots of good lucks though worry me. Oh yeah, that's true. We did play, so full disclosure, we did, uh, again, we purchased this game uh, through Kickstarter, just like you did or didn't do. Um, this was not provided by the publisher. Uh, we're playing on our own. We're not being paid to play or anything like that, except for by your donations. If you'd like to donate, links are in the video description. Or you can click the big fat join button down below and support us uh, on a monthly basis till you've had enough of us. Uh, you can always unsubscribe or unjoin then or whatever it is. Un unbecome a member. Um, <laughs> but yesterday we played Scenario Zero. Uh, good stuff. Um, we learned some things. And today, uh, before the stream, we played... Uh, two, two or three days ago, we, when we were learning, we played Scenario Zero off-stream, getting no loot, reading no rewards or endings. Uh, then we played Scenario Zero just for fun. We set it up. We played through it. But we didn't read, like, the ending or anything or look at loot or nothing like that. So we have an idea of the layout of the scenario. And obviously, because we were trying to, like, once we played Scenario Zero, we realized it wasn't, like, really a full scenario. And they didn't give you a choice on cards and a full... We weren't playing with a full deck. No. Not that we ever are. Not that we ever are. But this time we really weren't allowed to play the full deck. Um, so it wasn't a true test of the characters and we were trying to find out like if we liked our characters and trying out some different cards and techniques. Wanted to see some other enemies in action actually use their ability cards to kind of get back into the flow of the game before we actually streamed it with you guys. So we have played Scenario 1 off stream once, but it was just practice. We didn't see the whole thing. So we don't know how it's going to end. Even if we win or lose or whatever, if there's some scenario ending to it or whatever, we'll we'll experience that all live with you um, today on stream. We have not done an outpost phase yet, haven't even touched that part of the game. So we will be figuring that out live at the end of the stream after we're done playing the scenario. Whether we win or lose, I think. Otherwise, we could, I guess, try to replay it right away without going back to Frosthaven. But we're not going to lose, right? We have you guys to help us. Yeah. Um, we have some feedback from yesterday's stream in the comments. I want to go over a little bit of that today. Um, we'll call that out and uh, we appreciate it. Rowan says, I'm joined. Is this Canadian for leave? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's YouTube lingo. You can click the join button or when you click it again, that's unjoining. Yeah, I don't know what it says if you want that's to. Rever that's reverse joining. <laughs> reverse join Moses, I think is what it's officially called. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Lots of hello. hellos coming in. Yeah. Hello to everyone. Sorry we can't individually hello everyone. Yes, but hello everyone <laughs> in the stream. Hello to you watching later. Janet, thank you for the super chat. Janet, thank you. For more Frosthaven and the Mel is right emoji and the Rob's look like loving the looking for the loot loot uh, emoji. It's about right. And then uh, Matthew with the Matthew. super chat says what Janet said. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Matthew. Thank you thank for the you, super chat you. donations, guys. It's much appreciated. Thank hello, you. Hello, everyone. Rolling in. Everyone's rolling in. Hello, yep. hello. Good you morning, good anything. afternoon, good evening. Yes, yes. Special thank you to all the names scrolling by there. I did not add the names from yesterday yet. I was too busy setting this up and all that. I'll get those in, though, um, at some point later today. Uh, but thank you, everyone, yesterday, who, uh, Kanji and who was throwing out Yogi. the Yogi. We're throwing around the, um, the gifted membership. So 
And the two latest chat members as well yeah. also yes, yes. Are, uh, joined nice, independently nice, nice. yesterday as yeah, well. Yeah, I'll thank throw you, those in you. there. Some of them might already be in there because what happens is some people get gifted memberships or join the channel and then there's, they stop joining the channel, but they're still active. And YouTube will still, when a gifted membership throws it, I notice because I go to add some names to the credits and then I realize I look and I, oh, they remember like two months ago, they're still in there, I haven't cleared them out, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, I only clean it like once every month or once every month and a half. Um, but the the memberships are good for a month, so it's like sometimes I go to add people and they're still in there. So you might be still in there if you got added yesterday. Um, so yeah, thank you for the support. Uh, come play with Meeple says, hi, first time live watcher. Hello. Hello, hello. I've been watching your Arkham Horror playthrough and enjoying <laughs> your channel. Can't wait to see this one. Whoa. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Glad you're here live uh, with us. I'm surprised. Different type of game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm surprised. So Arkham Horror, uh, it's a love-hate game with me. I love to play it, but I hate to play it. Uh, and I'm surprised you stayed around the channel after watching me <laughs> whine and moan and get frustrated in that game. Uh, so maybe you played a lot and you understand that frustration, or you just enjoy watching me go crazy. Um, but I'm glad to see you here. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, Peter says I'm one of the 7% in the U.S. who haven't received their game yet, so this will be my only playthrough watch for now until I receive the game. And I understand. Oh, that makes sense, for sure. Uh, I'm happy I got it, like, later in, in the queue, I guess, but then it's like, obviously I'm an excited fan, just like everyone else, I want to just get into it and play it. Um, but I, I sometimes purposely delay games for until I hear that, like, most people have their game, so they can get it ready and play and be ahead of us and stuff, so then we can have more people joining us on stream and chatting and getting excited and playing along. But yes, no issues. I totally understand if like after today of scenario one, um, people are like, I get the idea of the game. I need to know if it's for me or not. And, but I don't want spoilers, you know? And there's some people who are like, it's not for me, but I'll stay and hang out and watch and play along with you guys, which is cool. So yeah. Some people don't care about the spoilers too. Yeah, they'll true. watch. And we may take a different path than, than them. Yeah, I learned there's quite a few people who play like Gloomhavens and stuff who like are just like fully open, don't care at this point. It's been out long enough. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Let's figure out the strategy of the game. Find all the fun stuff in there. Discover, discover, discover. Mm -hmm. But there are others that are like, don't even want to know, like, see symbols and stuff. Like, they don't even want to hear you describe anything about them. That's fair. Which is totally fine. We'll try our best. Well, Dragon, enjoy your day. Enjoy oh, yeah. Your day have fun with your dad. Awesome. Oh, Buell says I got mine, though. I need to get with my gaming group to finish Gloomhaven. Oh. So, yeah. So hopefully you'll be playing Frosthaven by 2026. That'll be good. <laughs> Damn. Do you need to really finish Gloomhaven, though? Do you? Do they want to? Do they care? How far did you get? You know? You just drop it. Have you played enough of it? You're like, definitely got the value out of it. And you're just like, yeah, I get it. I get it. I don't know. But again, you don't have to play a game when everyone else is playing it. Yeah, There's some no. people who think like, oh my god, I need my copy. I have to be playing it now with everyone else and hype, hype, hype. But it's like, man, we played so many games that are like 8, 10 years old and we're like, these are awesome. Still great. Let's have fun. Awesome. Still have fun with people joining us in chat, watching, or we're, we're experiencing the game. They're still great. So don't feel like if you don't start playing it now, you're missing on anything. So finishing Gloomhaven is like, it's that's a cool idea. Like super cool. Uh, will depend if I do Crimson Scale. Oh yeah, Crimson Scale too. That's another option. And people playing Forgotten Circle still. Some people like bought those things and are like, I must play them. And before you touch Frosthaven, which makes sense. I'm sure some people have digital Gloomhaven campaigns going and, you know, want to finish those up and stuff. I also have a different group that I'll play everything with as well. Wow. <laughs> you lucky bastard. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, and Peter will catch up. Yeah, playing solo. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. You don't have to wait for organization. You don't have to wait for friends come over. Yeah, playing this game solo, you just leave it on the table. On a just, weekend, yeah, you can just rip through Even scenarios. between things, you just like, oh, get home from work, play a little bit, and it's like, go have dinner, come back, continue the same scenario, just leave it on the table. You don't yep. have to, yeah. Playing games solo is so different. So convenient. So it's whenever you want to do it. Nice. Mike, enjoy that. Enjoy that. Sleeping Gods is cool. Nice. Definitely a cool game, which will be awesome, even though it's, that's all old game, man. So old. Not the new hotness. What are you doing? No, I'm just joking. It's still great. <laughs> okay, let's talk about 
on yesterday's video i wanted to just highlight this comment because this is awesome stuff i love when people do this during our campaign playthroughs from many of the games we play on the channel from the lcgs to the board games the dungeon crawlers the adventure games whatever i appreciate the people who join us right in the, during a campaign and we're still in the campaign and they're dropping knowledge and helping us and being upfront and open and honest and blunt i don't care do whatever all good i appreciate it so i just want to highlight this one because it will help us today or help me with my issues uh with banner spear again i think the banner spear is super cool just to set the record straight super super cool character which is what drew me to it i like the aspects of it the main part that bothered me was i just picture as a new player i'm opening fraud Haven. i've never played gloomhaven never played jaws online i don't even know what those were i just read on a news article on some website that Frost Haven was the highest uh, money raising Kickstarter gaming category product uh, out of all games, video, board, whatever. All games raised $13 million set record. So I backed it in the hype. I got it. I'm kind of new to the hobby. I only have a few games. I got my ticket to ride over here, my Catan over there, my My Little Pony deck building game right above it. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, that's more hardcore, I guess. But, anyways, um, and then uh, you open the box and you're told on the very Top left of character choice, that is literally the first character listed, and they're listed as low complexity. I just call BS on that. I just worry a new player might be like, what the hell is going on here? And they just have to learn and memorize and understand too many sections of the rule books compared to maybe the drifter, you know, mm -hmm. which is also low complexity. But I think maybe at least those spots should have been switched. And I think this character should have been medium, medium. at least. At least medium, right? Yeah, because a, a new player could feel very discouraged if they can never yeah. get their formations to line yeah, yeah. up. And again, I'm not going to be a pro with this character. Again, we're getting back into Gloomhaven and this puzzly nature and the low player count. We'll see. We'll see if we can make it work. But thank oh, you. Oh, Peter's here. Peter. Peter, thank you. Peter, you know, I already thanked you in the post, but yes, <laughs> I wanted to highlight this, though. This is the awesome stuff, okay? Thank you, Peter. Peter, thank you. So... This will explain how we're going to choose cards today and, and it help with that conversation, which we're all going to do together once we put our stickers on our map board um, when we get down to the table. So I just want to highlight this before we got there. So number one, if you don't like the formation build, don't play or focus on them, which also the ranged idea, and I mentioned this yesterday, that's what kind of drew me to the character too, because it had kind of like, it reminded me a little bit of the Brute, you know, starting with that. It reminded me a little bit because I can tank for Mel, who might be like a little weaker on the health and stuff. And, and even her uh, summons are a little weaker. Mm -hmm. So it's good defensively on the bar. Has some range sprinkled in there. I'm all about ranged attacks. I love them. Um, in, in any fantasy game, dungeon crawler, adventure game, whatever. I always like, will go to the ranged character. But then every now and then I start a campaign. I'm like, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Play something different, Rob. Try something else. So this one kind of pulled me out of that a little bit. It's got a little bit of range, so I'm happy. But it, it had this whole positional thing, um, which I was like, man, that's a challenge. I want to take that challenge on. Again, the issue is just with it listed as low complexity and my worry about new players getting in the game going, whoa, this is low complexity. Not the game for me. Sell. Tell my friends not to buy. That's bad. Okay. Um, at level one alone, you can have three range attacks that require no formations. Javelin, incendiary throw, and driving inspiration. I think a couple of those are X cards, no? Yes. Yeah, two of them are. That's why. Because when I was learning, I only tried like one of the X cards because I was trying to just learn the base character. So I only play with the one deck, like recommended when you're starting the game out. Okay. Uh, you can use the win from Javelin, which I totally understood. Yesterday I messed that up because I was trying to do my battle goal and cared about that more. Oh, yeah. So I purposely did not do that combo, but that combo reminds me of playing... Who did that a lot? I feel like is that a three spears thing? No spoilers. But that whole idea of make an element power up a range attack or a melee attack or even the brute maybe was doing that um but yeah uh you can use wind from javelin to lead in deflecting maneuver which also requires no formation which i was drawn to those cards right away then a fifth top action could be a card like at all costs to heal everyone on the board except you is that the plus three yeah yeah again which i was trying to do yesterday when i wasn't attacking but then nobody had been damaged yet uh okay and then which bone shaper would love so I want to discuss my two healing cards. Like, which one would be better to have in the deck for the Bone Shaper? I don't think I want both, but we'll, we'll see. That's fair. Uh, this build works great with the Banner of Strength as a buff. As many of your attacks as possible. This build works great with... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Works great with the Banner of Strength. That's a plus one to all allies of the Banner of Strength. Um, at each level up, you can get a card. Uh, you'll get a card to add to the mix, which isn't a formation, which I'm so looking forward to. That's why I want to stick with the character. 
And I know this from Gloomhaven and Jaws of Lion. The starting cards that have available to you, you get a taste of different builds that could be possible with the character. Some may be better than others based on design and strength. Some may be better than others based on your play style and your understanding of the game. Some may be better than others based on your party formation or player count, which I know. And I haven't looked at any of the future Banner Spear cards, but when I saw there's some range, I saw there's some good melee attacks, I saw there's some healing, I saw there's some wound, I saw there's some good movement, I was like, okay, I can pick the cards in the future that have better versions of those, and I'll be, I'll be able to put something together that can bend to my will, which is great for a starter character. Mm -hmm. So that's what my hope is. That's why I'm saying I wouldn't dump the Banner Spear based on opening up its starting cards and going, nah, because I know I could build it up, I could get uh, abilities from perk, perk marks or whatever unlocked that could buff up things that are uh, and build it a certain way. You have control over which uh, deck upgrades you want to do for your attack modifier deck to lean into whatever strategy you would do. Todd, oh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Uh, I'm playing Banner Spear as well, along with my wife, who's playing Deathwalker. It's okay to lose scenario one. Oh, no. Listen. Oh, no. Todd, no. We cannot. Stop. We cannot lose scenario one. We are going to crush it because we have the hive mind with us in the chat. Who are yeah. Gonna double check everything I'm doing. I don't play something wrong. Um, Todd, you're going to tell us. Don't do that. Don't talk about our scenario one, what happened in it. I will but not. A lot of people are like, good luck, good luck, and yeah. it's okay to fail, and this will happen. Like, I'm now worried a little bit <sighs> that we did something maybe wrong in our scenario one, but uh, that's all I'll say, I guess. I should give away too much, I guess. But anyways. <laughs> uh, okay. So back to this. Uh, da, 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 da. Todd, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for the support. Much appreciated. Um, then you can do formations only if the perfect time comes up for them without forcing it. Correct. So I'm not staring at a whole hand going, come on, I want to do something one of these this turn. Yeah, which it's formation instead, are they in? Yeah, instead I just have a couple nice ones in there that are like, oh, this is going to line up. I'll slap it down and do it. Feel a little more confident. Number two, if you do want to try the formations, <laughs> they're not so bad. I know, I know. And when I was talking about the situational thing about the character, again, it was coming from a, this is low complexity for new characters, and literally half the cards, if not more, are like situational as all get out, right? And it's like, that's kind of hard to add a bottleneck to getting things to the table and can frustrate a new player, right? Uh, I.e. first turn, place the reinforcement behind you so it doesn't die. That's dropping one of my banners, right? Smart. Is that what it is? Oh, no, the reinforcement's a little re... The respawnable summon. He's called the, the summon reinforcement. Yeah, it's banner of strength, banner of hope. I'm trying to get all the card names and abilities down, which I know will happen after you spend like 100 hours with the character. Um, and then so he can maybe range attack like Javelin, which I got a couple of those off in our practice games. That one wasn't too bad, at least to hit one enemy and stuff. Um, or no, not Javelin. Uh, javelins I got off, no problem. But there's the formation attack with the guy behind you in a straight oh, tip, the... tip of the spear. Yeah. Tip of the spear I got off a couple times. That wasn't too bad to kind of hit a guy who's like two spaces away, basically. Because I can have an ally behind me and Ormel skeletons behind me. Or like, me. Or Mel. Because I'm always behind. But usually <laughs> you get way behind. Like, you're not like right with me moving. No. I'm usually moving You're up. moving faster than me. Yeah, I'm moving faster than you. I'm more like with your skeletons is what I'm, I'm using as my allies too, right? Um, turn two, you control it to move where you need, you move it where you need, and boom, formation attack, yep. And that's the thing, granting movement, sometimes in a scenario, in Gloomhaven, I'm not sure if I should be moving Mel or Mel's characters, because it's a scenario, she needs to kept, be kept up with the action, so her cards, she can play attacks and things, and, and summon skeletons, and they're, they're near fighting, so we're not wasting turns. In Gloomhaven, or Frosthaven, or... In a Haven game, I need to call it. <laughs> I would switch the names and, and interchangeably call them the same thing. Yeah. But the, it's all the same. It's just more I think people know what you're talking about. Yes. So in a Haven game, uh, I was going to say, uh, in a Haven game, if there's a turn where you're slapping down cards and you're literally like, oh, my attacks can't reach anything. Uh, my heals can't reach any characters. Basically, if you're a character who's falling behind the rest of your party and can't reach them and don't have range to enemies, don't have range to allies, whatever, that's bad. It's like a waste of turn. So sometimes a character might have granting movement abilities like I do for allies, and you do for summons and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we can, in the party, sometimes it's good to, to, instead of using it on your summons or your movement or whatever, you can help the rest of the party catch up and get in the action and can help just get some more damage over the course of a scenario. Because really, the Haven games are just a puzzle game. You're just trying to output as many off, uh, like, positive numbers on your side and faster than the enemies produce them on your side, right? So mm -hmm. 
Um, if there's multiple turns where you're producing zero numbers that are positive to your side of the battle, and the enemies are still getting hits off and everything to the other parts of your party, and so you, you're going to be in trouble, right? In most cases. So the idea of moving my banner around is kind of weird to me. I was using it to move Mel's skeletons when we were practicing. I was using it to move Mel to get her up in the fight. So when she drops the skeleton, I don't have to wait three turns for the skeleton to get in the action. Stuff like that. So I was trying to do it like that, but maybe I need to focus more on keeping them, my, my banners or my summons near my um, reinforcement summons near me. And that's a good point. Uh, obviously, this game goes, as the game goes on, it can get tricky and your reinforcement will die many times, but it also functions as disarm. Yes, meat shields. I'm very familiar with this concept in games. Any summons, especially in Gloomhaven, it sometimes are just, if you're not taking a big attack from a giant, big fat enemy that hits for like, you know, five or whatever, it's like, if it kills one of your summons, it's like, okay, at least it didn't hit you mm -hmm. and make you pitch a card, you know? Like, yes, it ruined one of your cards that you played earlier, but. Did you get some value out of it? So treat it as a disarm, treat it as a preventing a card throw um, or two card throws from your discard pile. Sometimes you're in a bad situation. Uh, and for those recycling yeah. summons that can keep coming back, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. Huge, 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 huge tips. But yes, Peter, thank you so much. If you are watching this later and you have any tips from today's episode or next episode or yesterday's or whatever, drop comments like this down below. We appreciate them because you know the beauty of this. If we're still playing the campaign, it'll help us get better as we go forward. And if we address them, it helps other people learn who are live with us. But it also helps other people like me who watch playthroughs on my own time or in my own time zone or convenience. And if I'm watching and I notice something a little weird or want to get more information, I scroll down in the comments all the time if I'm watching a playthrough video to be like, huh, is that right? Or huh, let's see what people are saying in the chat or in the comments. And I go down and there's people with tips and people with corrections. And that can help others learn from our mistakes. So feel free to drop stuff like this in. Um, I don't take offense to it. You know, tell me I'm playing something wrong. Tell us we're messing up a rule. Tell us there's better ways to play things because it'll help not just us, it'll help everyone out. And maybe you're wrong and then somebody will reply to you and that'll help you out. So it's like, get the discussion going basically. I appreciate the stuff. You're adding, adding to what we're doing here is in many ways, than more ways than one for sure. Oh. Matthew, we just have to... Um, no, we ignore Matthew. Matthew, thank no, you so sure. much for the super chat. Yeah, I just want to get all the thoughts out. I know. But yes, Matthew, thank you for the super <laughs> chat. I'm performing seance for both of you on scenario one. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Matthew yeah. also says, I think I just contacted Mel's dead from the way beyond. Oh, God. This might be scary. <laughs> Matthew, make sure this time you're not with, you know, not like some of the other games we play when you're there. Make sure you're not, you don't have your voodoo doll and you're stabbing it, your little one with my face on the top and you're like, poking at it, you know, seeing if you can ruin my dice luck or anything like that. Um, in this case, card luck. So yeah, just make sure you're not doing the wrong seance or whatever, you know. I there was um, one thing. Um, somebody had asked, I lost where the question was, but is line of sight required when granting? Uh, Minion oh, Q says, you. does granting movement require line of sight? I remember there was a comment about that yesterday. Oh, I missed that if there was. And Todd says, yes, line of sight is required. Oh, okay. Okay, which I may have done. Well, was, let's see. Let's was see. that me that did that then? Oh, like you did it yesterday? And I didn't have line of sight here's, to somebody? Here's the thing. Oh. Here's the thing, though. Sorry, I didn't even realize I did yeah, that. Yeah, maybe your card. We can, we can figure it out. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Uh, okay, thank you. That's good to know. So here, for example, is one of my cards that says grant two allies within range two to movement. Mm. Obvious, easy. Line of sight would make sense, right? Yep. But I have... I would think. The top is a throwaway on that. Hmm. This is where it gets tricky. I didn't do this one specific, but this is just an example where it's not specifying three, so I'd have to be in range of all three of the summons. I'm just looking if I have another example. I had a couple examples. Oh, here's a grant and ally. Oh, my cards are sticking together. And then that one.
It's because it's targeted, right? Basically, if an ability is targeted, we need to worry about line of sight, right? Is that like the best way to explain it to somebody who's not understanding why we're just saying? Well, anything with range need... attached. I see. Okay, so this one. Is it though? That's what Todd is saying. Uh, mm. This one, for example, there is no range. And it's just saying grant three of your summons. Can they be anywhere on the board? Uh, that and this one exa yeah, yeah. example. Um, I guess the same thing with the movement, like the one that you where I have I move two and then grant one of your summons and move two. Grant one of uh, one of your summons a move two attack two. This is the one I think I did. Oh, page thirty three. Yeah, I looked at page 33, but I, I don't think it mentions anything about the line of sight, at least uh, not that I saw. Commanding figures is a targeted ability. Yeah, so that, like, perfect. That's what I need to know. So uh, here, if I look at line of sight, which is more important, when a figure or hex is targeted by an ability, the acting figure must have clear line of sight to the target in order to perform the ability. Oh. Line of sight. Gamer8567, why are you blocking what I'm trying to read here? <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so for much. Subscribing. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, is established if a line can be drawn from any part of the figure's hex, any part of the target hex, without touching a wall line. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Non-target abilities are not affected by line of sight. So, so then what's it? if we go to page 33, under commanding figures, you are granting... Allows figures to grant an ability to any figure. The commanding figure performs that ability. Mm, but it says right here, commanding figures is a targeted ability. And we read in line of sight. Okay. If this is what I was talking about yesterday in Bloomhaven and Frosthaven. The rules are there. You just have to like flip 50 pages around and find where all the pieces of what you're trying to understand. It's like a definitely you need to. It's like a university freaking uh, textbook. So you have to like find all the things. Oh no, those would actually have examples and you'd work you through it in a logical way, right? This is like, you know, literally the little bits in this section, a little bit 16 pages later, and then there's a little blurb in an example in the appendix. You put all that together and you could probably deduce the correct rule. And they assume you just will remember, you know, 60 pages and just after you're done reading the whole book in, in the front one to page to all the end, You'll just put it all together and everything will just come together into the rules. But that's why this game can be confusing. They don't like, it's not logically, you know. Okay, yeah. 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 If that makes sense. Uh, okay, so then I apologize if I did that in yesterday's scenario. I hope it didn't break anything. Like, I think we still had the scenario well under control that if I, if I did this once, I missed the comment totally. Thank you for re-asking it today because yes. that's huge. And if I am playing my character wrong, I would... Feel bad. Yes. Oh, and I do you. appreciate those calling out page numbers and why they're getting to their conclusion because mm -hmm. it happens with games we play on the channel. This is a common thing. When we play games of this complexity, even a little lower, even a little higher, the LCGs and stuff, there's people who come in with preconceived, this is how it works because my friend told me how it worked five years ago this way. So this is how it works. But then sometimes I like to look up the rules and let's get to finding out why we determine that rule to help me understand it's correct, to help somebody else watching that you're correct. Because sometimes you're just yelling a rule in the chat, you might have it wrong. Usually people in the chat will then quickly correct that person and we'll get to it faster. But I just sometimes, if you have the PDF available or you know the ruling, just explain it a little and it'll help everyone out. So I just like to look this up sometimes so we all can understand. Or I appreciate, we appreciate new, asking so, the question yeah, yeah, as yeah. well of, is this yes. how this works? Because yes. maybe in your interpretation, that's how you thought we played it differently. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, definitely ask the questions for yeah. sure. Never assume we're right. And sometimes we want to assume you're right. Right. Just because we want to make sure we're all on the same page. Yeah. We so thank a, you. But thank you for the help. We appreciate it. All right. So then, for me, I shouldn't play so far behind if I want to grant my... Uh, summons abilities and if I'm in another room and I don't have line of sight to them then my cards are going to be broken so good yeah. to know <laughs> so yeah interesting so let's not take the slow poke this time <laughs> but that's why I did it Edgar says in Gloomhaven you didn't need line of sight if the ability had no range attached yeah so maybe that's why I just assumed because the one I did specifically yesterday that I can remember was this one which is, I think, probably where it came up, because I did do this one a couple times. Grant one of your summons a move and an attack. And this is probably what I did 
not having line of sight to them. But yeah, for me, they're still in the first room while up in the yeah. other room, they were all exactly. fighting and everything. Exactly. And uh. for me, like, there's no range of saying they have to be within range X of me. So then, can I just about this one then too? Because this is going to be one. Yes, Mel needs help. So this one, designate one of your summons and perform. I need to have ranged line of sight to the summons to do this. What is designating now? Selecting. Is, is designation a targeted ability? <laughs> like, what the hell? This is going to be important <laughs> for my personal goal, so I want to make sure I fully understand this card then. Yeah, now it gets messy, right? Yeah. So we'll Des designate. Yeah, see, I think they... Oh, apparently Exploding Corpse yeah. doesn't require line of sight. So see here, I, I would it's the wording, it I guess. And I think we read this in the FAQ when we were reading about your character the other day. I think this was one of the lines that came up. Okay. Yeah. Maybe and maybe that's why I just assumed the yeah. other ones didn't. Yeah, Let's, the official FAQ is linked down in the video description if anyone wants to follow along or look it up. Janet, yes, and while Rob's looking that up, Janet says, remember, Mel, you can choose to discard a summons in order to redeploy it another turn when you are further into a room. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if they're out of my line of sight, I can remove them yeah. and then replay them later, which is definitely super helpful. Oh, Ross says, wow. Ross says, I checked the video yesterday, timestamp, 2 hours, 43 minutes, 30 seconds, and Mel granted the ability correctly. The skelly was on the door and had line, and you had line of sight. Ross is like, a, I picture Ross as like 60 <laughs> monitors like Batman and like 18 keyboards and like, <laughs> like just was like, <laughs> computer, theory. That is crazy video. you found that that fast. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I didn't do it incorrectly, but it did probably create cr discussion that I missed. Raw, that was awesome. Turn. Thank you. Wow, that thank so you fast. so much. Two hours, 43 minutes, 30 seconds for anybody that wants to go and watch. <laughs> Raw probably just watched it like this morning, just finished the video like 10 minutes ago and was like, oh, I remember when this happened. Scrub I right think uh, Erica, I think, did say as well, like just finished <laughs> Scenario <laughs> Zero, ready for nice. it. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the problem playing back to back streams. It's like, I feel bad, but it's like, I want to get into the damn campaign. So, like, the first episode, you don't really need to watch. You don't watch. need to watch it, so if you missed yeah. it, it's fine. But it's like, yeah. <laughs> I picture, yeah, Ra, I picture you have, like, you know, one of those video, video editing trailers they use for, like, sporting events and stuff. I picture you have, like, all the buttons and the dials, and you're able to just quickly get to, like, the proper scene and everything super quick. Just slapping a few buttons and pulling a couple levers. Super fast. Love it. Yeah, that was, wow. All Thank right. you. Hello, Christina. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, Jane, I can also discard them if they're behind me and they're too far. I can yeah. discard them and play. Yeah, yeah they get stuck. So good, right? yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, exploding Corpse. If the designated summon is surrounded by retaliating enemies, no, no. Uh, no, okay, never mind. I just knew there was stuff about it. Uh, retaliate won't happen unless the Bone Shaper themselves is in the monster's retaliate range. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That one's yours. Okay, so I'll play it as I have to have line of sight to them. I'm sorry. Cool beans. But that's a great question. Thank you. Okay. Because I didn't know that. So from yesterday's stream, uh, we did not do this yet, but we should. Uh, so here's the giant uh, map board, much bigger than the Gloomhaven one. Yeah. Gloomhaven one was like one single board that didn't fold. This is like, uh, uh, you know, this feels like the size of the Skyrim adventure game board we played recently on on stream. Really big. Um, so we need to sticker, we need to open our uh, flow charts advent calendar board, see if there's chocolate in there. Uh, so we unlocked yesterday when we were reading the intro, it gave us scenario zero and scenario one. I think at that time we should have popped these open. Um, so, oh, spoilers, get ready guys. Holy spoilers. It would have, un so this is how you track your progress. We also have the sheet, which I've linked down in the video description from some awesome person who posted on the Board Game Geek forums or a uh, file section. Um, so we can check off and track, but now they have it so you can check off here that you've completed the scenario and or check off here on the sticker that will go on the map when you find a location. So it's that whole legacy kind of feeling uh, like a legacy game where you're permanently changing the game and your game is going to flow different in aspects than someone else playing through the game, uh, which is really fun. So this is zero. 
Uh, and now I have to look through like 138 There's numbers here. Oh, Gordon. N6, N6. Yes, thank you. Mm, right here. So it's in the frozen pass. Okay, now we're going to sticker it. <laughs> you may want to turn it away now. Yes, yes. FYI, stickers will not be perfect. We will try to play the game perfect as best we can, but yes. stickers, sorry. I may not be able to get the sticker off of this thing. I don't even see. Oh, there it is. I see. I'm going to apologize now for okay. any. So we need to not line it up with the number. Always line up with the outside art if you can find that. But yeah, this is a little messy, I can see already. Oh yeah, this is a mess. Yes, yeah, that's what I was trying to say last time when we were doing this for Gloomhaven. They don't line up perfectly. I'm going to say like right there-ish. No, see, I was off on these top part because it's trying to like line it up along all the bottom. I mean, it looks lines. good though to me. But th do I care? No. Mm -hmm. And we didn't even after we did this a few times in Gloomhaven. I just didn't care about this component, and I just never looked at it again. Yeah, people were yeah. tuning away every time I took a sticker sheet out. Yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> it's like it's cool. This looks awesome, and I do want to finish it and actually so then uh, I think okay. frame it later or something because it's super cool. So now I'm opening number one, which we've unlocked number one scenario. A town in flames. Which looks like from here, we'll eventually be able to go to scenario three or scenario two, and they're not linked, I think is what that means. If we look on the back of the sheet, there's a cool way to do it. I'm, I want to use it to see how it goes. So this says uh, only one of the two paths can be taken. So this is really like oh, a like choice. An option. We're going to lock ourselves out, right? Yep. Probably. This is a branching path. You guys will help us decide unless... Based on our win or our fail or Unless, something. Unless, yeah, it forces something that happens. Direction. You know, you killed a, uh, Enoch's archer and he hates you. And now you have to go to scenario two instead of three. I, I don't know, whatever, but. Where is this one going to? Oh, Frosthaven. Oh, it's in Frosthaven. Hold on. Mm hmm. So, Frosthaven, number one, right here. Mm hmm. Oh, that's oh, pretty. You can't see. You can't see. Hold on, There's number one down here. We all know how well Mal places stickers after watching Aeons and Legacy. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, this is not perfect either, Sorry. but I don't care. It's good enough. I'll it, admit, I'm not a good sticker fits. placer. Okay, so. This. Now we have oh. a town in flames. Look at this. Look big, at this guy. Big bad guy. Oh, look at the soldier. Poor guy. Oh, he's trying to defend the Run. town. Don't let him in. That's cool. All right. Uh, and then I'll extend the board because it gets even bigger. There's Frost Haven, which we'll deal with in the outpost phase. So it's really cool how artistically we have, you know, the map out here running around. I love the Gloomhaven map. And now we have our village phase at the end, our city phase where there's a whole bunch going on where we need to build our town, defend our town, uh, upgrade our town, and we'll hang out there, we'll do events there, we'll craft there, we'll buy items, I'm assuming, uh, we'll nap, uh, we'll go fishing maybe. Yeah. Uh, what else can we do in that town? Play tennis. Maybe we can play board games. Board games probably in this building on the left here. This looks like the board game hut right there. That's the local board game shop. Yeah, so go there. Stark and dingy, him. you know. It's got board, a board gaming area in the basement, uh, you know, hopefully it has clean washrooms. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what we're doing. We'll just fold that up, throw it away for now. Okay. Cool. It's just, I mean, I don't have, I need two tables to play this game with that, that thing, but we'll just do it like yeah, we did right. with Sword and Sorcery, Arcane Chronicles, or Ancient Chronicles, and we'll just uh, like kind of throw it out or with Master Darkness, clear the area out or just slap it on top of the end. Yep. And we'll just go through like that. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, do o I have order of operations? Are we ready to start a new scenario? Yeah, I think so. Again, we're gonna go to our handy dandy oh. back of the rule book, amazing little reference. Because I get distracted and forget what we're doing and where we are. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we have selected scenario done. Resolve a road event if necessary. Not allowed before scenario one. Set up map tiles for scenario. <laughs> Done. Retrieve all monsters for scenario. Mel's got them. Shuffle their ability decks. 
I was gonna do that right now. Retrieve all overlay tiles for the scenario. They are just off screen. Mel grabbed them all. Uh, set up the first room in the scenario, which we will do right now with you guys. Oh, upside down. Okay, I guess we might as well read this stuff. Uh, scenario goals. The scenario is complete when all enemies are, are in it are dead. At the end of that round, read section 9.1. This is a town in flames, one out of three complexity. It's in Frosthaven, as we saw by the sticker. Introduction. The sounds greet you first. Muffled metallic pangs, a voice howling. It's difficult to make anything out with uh, the wind rushing past your ears, but you'd know that tune anywhere. There's a fight up ahead. But a fight means people, and if there are people, then the town must be close. You hear more, a scream, the crash of steel against stone, a deep, earthly growl. You are running now. Your legs are wasted from the hike. Your shoulders ache from your gear. But the sounds are close now, and up ahead you see gauzy orange light blooming in the air. With one last push, you round the final bend in the trail, and you see it. Frosthaven, engulfed in flame. Great petals of fire burst from the windows and crawl over roofs. People stream from the town's ruined gate their faces bent in panic. A moment later, you see the object of their terror. A massive creature with two legs, two bulking arms, covered entirely in thick white fur, three gnarled horns, crowning its head. Elgox raiders, we're doomed, cries an elderly porter beside you. They're stronger than anything else alive. We've come all this way for nothing. As if to prove the point, the Elgox you've been watching catches a fleeing outposter with one hand and hurls him backward as if he weighed nothing. Ten days you've been hiking. Ten days, and this is what you find? You breathe out a thick plume of foggy air and hoist your weapon high. Time to get to work. <sighs> Crush these fools. Uh, okay, now what are we doing here? Uh, special rules. All city guards are allies. You and enemies... Uh, you and enemies... <laughs> all city guards are allies to you and enemies to all their monster types. City guards do not perform turns, but instead gain an additional innate shield block, whatever, for a total of two at level one, and retaliate two and have an initiative of 50 for the purpose of focusing. When door one is open, we read a section 5.3. Map layout is as follows. Look at the nubs, make sure you face this tile the correct way. Looks right-ish. And this, yeah, I can't. think there was no. Oh, maybe it could have went. Yeah, yeah you could have flipped down, them, which yeah. I do all the time. And then I realize when I'm trying to place the tiles down, I look at the nubs to try to line up tiles, and I realize, whoops, I put it upside down, which shouldn't matter too much, but does get confusing. Okay, what else we got here? Scenario key. You can click this one right. So we have set up beside us. We got uh, on the board. We have Algot archers, guards, priests, city guards, and again, they don't take a turn, so they don't share the guard deck. Snow door which will set up large snow corridor, four of them, three snow corridor, single hex ones, one log, six rubble, two debris, and two large debris. And our loot deck, whoops, our loot deck, Mel created that already, shuffled it all mm -hmm. up. It is ready to go up here in our card tray in the top right. Um, and there's no treasure chests in that list, so I'm already not happy, but we would, have a high chance, it looks like, uh, I, thematically, I assume, based on killing these um, Algox, which are not Enox, uh, Algox, they're angrier cousins. Um, if you're killing these kind of big furry creatures, you're going to find more hide. That's money, that one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So money, oh, boring. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. So it's like more lumber. Never mind. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that was a hide symbol, but that's down here, right? Aw, so they're, they, they're carrying purses, just like all the wolves were. So they'll drop lots of money, because they were, like, you know, on their way to the mall or something. Well, maybe the priests, and if we think about it that way, the priests are carrying the money. Sure. They're the parents <laughs> taking the, their big, big dumb kids to the mall. Uh, but anyways, I guess their weapons and stuff will find lumber mm -hmm. and metal off their weapons. Yep. And we skin them alive and get their hides. And then we can find plants in the bushes and stuff. Uh, okay. I guess that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just expect to see loot tied to what's happening, but I hope it's not just generically like based on the buildings and what they need and how they're kind of like leveling up the campaign. It doesn't seem so gamery, seems more thematic. Okay, so we're setting up this room here. 
They need guards, eh? Okay. So I already put random. So it's set to two players. So this enemy that's going to be here is none. Then we need a regular archer. Regular archer. Okay. Uh, looks like behind this log here, we have the priest or the shaman or whatever. Regular. Oh, in front, we have the big hairy beast from the sticker. Uh, look at this guy. <laughs> this is an Algox guard? Is that what it is, Mel? Algox uh, guard? Yes. Okay, so that's the melee. This is the healer. And this is the range character based on all the Gloomhaven we played with the... Um, every, like, the little rodents have this little synergy. The the Inox had it. The imps have it, I feel. Not the imps. The, uh, there was something else that had this same makeup. Um, the humans, like the... Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has this, like, little melee guy, range guy, and healy annoying or summoning annoying guy. Um... And then we have a city guard here, which are not, which are our allies, have retaliate, they don't take turns, and they're 50 for focusing. A little bit of rubble there. And the rubble, which is obstacle. This is, the log is difficult. Yes. And our starting positions can be the back up in the four. back four-ish on the top left-ish. Oh. Now, what else? Anything else setup-wise? There's definitely stuff. Oh, I need to shuffle them. Oh, we need to pick our cards and do like all that stuff. Still. So shuffle the attack modifier decks. Uh, okay. I got the monster one here. And you got mine. I'll shuffle mine. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We didn't get any bluster curses, right? No. That's right. Fine. I think I checked at the end. As long as I forget that. Uh, Jane is asking, can you use the blue stands for the city guards? Uh, yep. Oh, we can, yeah. Yeah, They're on our, on our team, Assuming yeah. Assuming we don't run out. Yeah, we definitely now, can. I, I have like an unlimited amount of white and yellows uh, from all the different Gloomhaven products we own, but the blues and the reds, I think, are new, right? Uh, yes. But we're only playing two players, so I'm assuming the, enough bl the blues they gave us will be enough for, to do this kind of shenanigans. Vince Tug 25 says, it's so cool to see your channel growing. It's always growing. Says, I've been watching since the beginning. Love the videos. Oh, thank you so much. Have you truly been there since the beginning, Vince? Like, like, 20, like the beginning? 2013? Like Zombicide, Dark Souls. Warhammer Conquest. Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones the card game. game. You've been since then? Game of Thrones, the board game. Wow. Were you there for when we were streaming on Twitch? Probably even before that? Or around that time? Were you really there in the beginning? Or you mean the beginning, like... 2019. 2019, 2020. When Rob right, started like, full-time. When I started full-time. Because there's, COVID, like, two beginnings. And then, and then COVID hit, and everyone was, like, <laughs> looking for a place to hang out with other <laughs> depressed, crazy people like me. And we all we all had a good time. I'm just curious, Vince. What was the first games you remember? You may not even time? remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I appreciate the tips. Temujin, I'll read that in a sec. So my thing shuffled. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to build my cards, Temujin, too. Save that Same. thought. Yell yeah. at me if I forget. Uh, okay. Shuffle the uh, Read the scenario entry. I did that already, I guess, out of order. Uh, deal and select battle goals. And we're doing it where I'll look away for yours and you look away for mine. So they are aware of our battle goals, but you are not. And they can help pick, too. So uh, it can be like a one, two, three? Yes. Okay. So here. Oh, I guess you could even do a poll before. I'm going to do that. And it's going to be from left to right. Uh, yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, I put a poll in the chat preemptively uh, for Mel's battle goal. I'm going to give her three cards. And then I'm going to close my eyes. And I don't want to know what's going on. But you guys can vote for which one she should take. 
She could still veto you if she's like, no, no, you guys are crazy. They're already voting. Stop trying to wreck my game. Yeah, stop You're voting already voting, you and I haven't even looked at my cards yet. You losers, stop doing it. <laughs> oh, Vince says, I was watching before COVID. Most games I get because of you, I didn't watch on Twitch. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Awesome. Well, we appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Yeah, for those that don't know, we've been doing this for over 10 years. Uh, FYI, <laughs> streaming and recording playthroughs on YouTube's end slash Twitch. Uh, we stopped doing Twitch, so don't go over there and start following it. I don't think I'll ever go back, but you never know. You guys are tanking me with these early votes. Okay, here we go. We shouldn't have made it live until... One, two, three. Okay. You can reveal them however you want, but try to keep them, like, from left to right here. Hold on, maybe I can even do a little zoom in oh, thing okay. for you. Yep. So you can, like, hold them up one at a time, but try to keep them from left to right. Mm -hmm. Um, And, yeah, I will... I don't know, I'll just do this. Okay. And you let me know when I can look when you're done. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hide it again? Yep. I'll put the poll thing here. Oh, I guess I can close it after. But yeah. yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. Please, no spoilers. Don't say any words that will... But but you can also see uh, what they're voting for. You guys can get involved and explain why you're choosing something, but try to be no spoilers so I don't look up and see it in the chat later. And then I kind of know what it is. But I don't have all these memorized. I haven't seen half of them, so... Um, but Mel can see who's voting on which ones are in the lead, so she can be like, are you guys for sure on this one? You know, and I, I like, you know, and any tips you want to give her based on that, go nuts. Mel, you just let me know when you feel like the decision's been made. And then I'll... Okay, uh... so just for a second, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, you can talk like that, like, well, not the middle is like, yeah, you, we can talk yeah, like yeah. that. Be, 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 just do, follow generic. The, yeah, follow like the Gloomhaven, uh, <laughs> you know, non-specific lingo talk, like we were choosing cards, you know, like uh, on a player's turn or whatever. Middle isn't too bad. I mean, it <laughs> it depends. It's possible, definitely, but definitely not middle, left, or right. Okay. <laughs> Middle's not awful. Okay. Yeah, it's not awful. <laughs> so Mel's not getting a perk check or whatever this, uh, um, this playthrough probably. <laughs> they, I have to work towards all of them. Yeah, yeah. I guess. They're not easy. That's fine. Yeah, see, yes, um, Minion is right, yeah, so there's alternatives, so... Uh, let's we'll give it another second or two. I'll flip these over, so then Rob can look. Okay, you can look now, Rob. They're just voting. Ah, why are all these lights on? Ah, burning! <laughs> burning! <laughs> yeah, see, I'm thinking the same thing. Yep. Okay, I think... Hold close time? He, I think we have... <laughs> I was going to... Belko, I thought the same thing. I need to grab a sleeping mask for this thing, so I don't, oh. I don't have to sit there pushing my hands against my eyes. It like... Oh. Okay, I think we're good. Everything I think we have blurry. a clear winner in the... Okay, closing the poll. Done. Okay, so 55% say the right. Okay, so you take that. These go... We'll keep these Remind for the me. end of the stream to talk about, maybe? If we have time. I think this is... The right is doable. It's easier for me. I think I can control it more. Yeah, you don't have to close your eyes yet. So I'll make the switch back. I think I can do that. Go for Rob. Left, middle, and right. Thank you so much for everyone that voted. Okay, okay. So, so now I'll draw three more. Oh, I'm just going to also flip this side. over because I can see on there. One, two, three. Okay, I'll put these back. Left. Oh, I can probably put them on here, actually. Can you see those guys? Is that good enough? I, like, held them up, and then I flipped them all over. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So feel free to vote in the live chat if you're watching. Uh, based on the left, L, middle M, R for the right. And I'll go with whichever one you guys think I should try to get done here. And I'll see... Uh, hmm, interesting. So left. I could do left. I love the name on left. It's very trolly. Middle. Middle is interesting. I do have a uh a 
an item that might make that troublesome. Right? Like, with this, this kind of is annoying, but doable if I remember, but I might accidentally ruin this one because of this. Um, and the right one... Oh, the right one should be okay. The only problem is based on initiative, this might be hard for me to do because the other player I'm playing with, <laughs> trying to be generic, their initiative is, makes that hard. Okay. Always go last. <laughs> yeah, very last. You never know. Because you should sometimes be spawning a, a summon very late so that it doesn't get killed right away and then go early so your summons can do work before yeah. the enemies get them. I only have two early cards. Yeah, yeah. Again, Wadmander, that is one card. <laughs> one card, and I hope it lines up with a turn that I also somehow get that mind to work out, right? Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to close the poll and see what we're going with. Are they all flipped over? Uh, nope. Okay. I'm hiding them now. Uh, oops. Yes, okay. I have them. In the proper order, I'm closing the poll. Uh, Thank you, everyone that voted. You can look now. Okay. I'm going with the right 60%. Okay. Okay. And you guys can yell at me when it, when it gets done, or if I forget about it and you're like, oh, this is the time to do it, feel free to yell at me. Because uh, I do forget sometimes these are hiding here. Um, yeah. Let me just read it to make sure I'm... <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, next is place the token tray nearby. Done. Build the loot deck. Done. Select which enemy or items to bring. Done. Uh, select which ability cards to bring. Now we're doing that. Okay. So based on Peter's advice earlier. So if I want to build a deck here for the scenario, and this will be fun. I'll, I'll do mine first because I'm, I'm greedy like that. Mm -hmm. or I'm selfish. Uh, let's see. So this was the talk Temujin was mentioning earlier, right? At all costs. So I, I do like summoning this guy, but sometimes I don't want him in there, you know, based on what's happening in the amount of room around things. Um, but this top one, uh, Temujin was saying, don't forget this one. It's all allies, which includes the city guard. But the only problem is I suffer one damage for each ally whose hit point value is increased with the heal ability. So if they're already full health, I'm good. But does this need line of sight? He is heal a target ability? I forget which the errated one that was removed. The word targeted was removed. Because that was the other day. Let me check. Just need to remember which one's not a targeted ability. Oh, recover. Recover is not a targeted ability. That's when you pull cards out of your discard, right? Or lost pile or whatever. Okay. It needs line of sight, but can be any range, right? Because there's no range specified here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Good to know. So we probably should keep that in there. Okay. Now, the discussion on the first part of Peter's thing is talking about the range attacks. So there could be this. Um... One attack at range three, if the target suffers damage from this attack, the target and all enemies adjacent to the target gain wound, and I create fire. I don't think that matters here at all. Because you don't care about fire. I don't think I, I have don't. other cards yet that care about fire. I don't think any enemies use fire against us or anything, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peter, I know. I gotta be careful because it could really destroy my health if I heal with too many things close to me that are damaged. The only thing with Mel's allies is they're either, I find with their skeletons, they're either full health or they're dead. It's very rare they're in between. So uh, it's hard for me to actually get them healed. I was trying the heal thing on them before and it was hard to line up sometimes. 
Which, I mean, that's all cards, really, but... Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I really want to bring... So this is a probably. I really want to bring this card, I think. Um, because I want this banner of strength. I feel like it helps. If I can jam it in the right spot, this will help Mel's skeletons, her little flying summons, Mel herself. Mm -hmm. If she's in range two of this thing, myself, my little summons dude. You know? We all get the plus one on one of our attacks each turn. And then maybe I try to move this thing with me. It gets me to experience. The only problem is the card out of my hand that's kind of locked almost right away because we have enemies in the first room with us. So I kind of might want to slap this down like right away. But I feel like that's a must. Okay. Uh, let's just look through all the level one cards. And you yell at me if you think there's one that should not be in the deck. Well, I think they're saying this one. The chat is pretty concise saying that one should be cut. Should be cut? Okay. Yeah. There, like a lot of people are saying that. So, oh, okay. I mean, you can re look at this. No, nope. yeah, it's cut. If, like, I, sh I when I played this the first time, I just put all the ones in, and then I think I tried with, uh, I think I did this one, because you guys, if you know me playing Gloomhaven, anything that's like 10 or less on initiative, I, I don't even care what it says on the card. I just want it to yeah. be able to go early sometimes when it's like a desperate situation. I need to get a hit in, or I need to move away, or I need to get a heal in before I'm dead. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. This is a good card. Yeah, this I mean, one... even if it only hits one enemy, not yeah. the three. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. good. And I like it how my ally needs to be behind me. I do not like the ones. I think they're super funny and, and, and clever. And when you get them off, it's great. Yeah. But these these ones annoy me. Where it's like I need I need to be on the other side of the enemy than an ally is. And with Mel sometimes behind me and summoning and they're waiting for her skeletons to catch up. I might not be on the other side of an enemy because if I am, then all the other enemies' future in the scenario are now coming at me and I'm in the thick of it because I tried to get ahead of an enemy instead of using them as like kind of blocking a hex where I could get attacked from. Yeah. But I do like this five attack. It's like automatically I'm like, yeah, five attack, muddle, yeah. But I feel it's kind of a trap card. And anyone knows me, like I like looting in the game, but I don't usually put the loot cards in my decks when I want to win a scenario. If I think it's a challenge, or I'm a little worried, I don't put it, unless something with the scenario win condition is looting a chest, looting something to win. Like, it's a part of the scenario. I will then think of sneaking in my loot card. Now, though, do but, we need to look at loot differently with Frost? What, yeah, is that what you were going to say? Yes, like, exactly what I was going to say. Especially after Scenario Zero and seeing all the loot tokens that were everywhere, knowing we're drawing from this deck and sometimes there's random items in there, we're looking for as much materials and, and the herbs outpost and stuff phase and for the, the future, yep. right? We might not know what we need, but we just want to gather as much as we can. Maybe cards like these should be prioritized a little bit more than we would have in the past games. And is that a throwaway loot? No, so it's a re recurring, potentially recurring oh, loot one. It's fine. It's fine. It's not terrible. Yes, loot is more yeah, important. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Saving. We need to yeah, really yes. rethink our thoughts on, on looting. So these two cards probably should just go in. Uh, I'm going to keep this X here for a sec. Okay. The first one you showed, the Courage, one I definitely think is a very good card, yeah. even if it only hits one enemy. Okay, Resolve Courage is in there. This one is not. I'll also put that out of the way. Okay. Uh... So, pincer movement, you guys were good with. Uh, yeah, I think I, I agree with that one, too. Okay, pincer movement, yeah. The, mm -hmm. the one move, one loot. Yeah. Maybe I get on the other side of an enemy. Yeah. Because if that does end up happening even once in a scenario. Oh, you know what? It might happen more in this one if I am smarter with the uh, guard. Oh, like yeah. If the guard is the head of us, and I can, like, somehow here even, if I can get on the other side and the enemy gets pushed back or something... I just don't think that happens very often. And this is like a tight hallway too. So trying to get behind things, like I have the wing shoes, but getting an ally behind an enemy or the other way around might be tough. Okay, sure. Combined effort. I love this card just because this little symbol. This is one of my favorite little effects in the game offensively. I just love it. I also think that's one of the easiest formations to kind of set up. Yes. Two enemies that are adjacent. Yes. Or sorry, two. And this whole granting decide. allies can do be for my banner, my summons, and you. Yeah. Your whole little party. So I like this one a lot. I like that one. Unbreakable wall is also good because again, the ally is on the same side of the enemies as me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're... it's a push. And do we have traps in this one? Uh no, it was last one. No, right? no. Yeah. Not so. Oh, boo. No, I don't think so. Okay. But the bottom of this is kind of eh. Yeah, but if you're not yeah. using it for the bottom every time you every time it comes around. 
But this one, I, I was like, definitely could be cut. I mean, you can put it in the maybe pile, but I like it. You know it. what I'm 100% taking? We don't even have to debate. I love this little deflecting maneuver and javelin, okay? I like the range attack. I like creating wind and then going into this advantage, getting experience off it and giving uh, attacks against me disadvantage, especially if I go early. I can meet shield a few things, maybe not die. Uh, also, if I need to just tank up, I could use the bottom of this. And I kind of like this, but it's just one movement. It's kind of sad, but I'm, I'm almost always using it for the top. So I kind of... Oh, Unbreakable Wall. Wadmander says always use the bottom. Okay. Unbreakable Wall, always use the bottom. Yeah, because for but the it's... entire scenario, it's giving you oh, okay. uh, one shield on... So that's like a good defensive build, yeah, but like... So now I have so, that locked up. I have a summon locked up, possibly, and a banner locked up. Like, so that's three of your 10 cards? Yeah, that's kind of Yeah, nuts, so you're right? shortening your... I'm definitely not in the scenario for the long run if I'm playing these kind of locked up active card style. Which I think makes sense based on some of your cards being big hitters of five, and you really hope that those don't whiff. Yeah, I just I don't like this idea of leaving you alone at the end of the scenario sometimes, but it's, you know, because you're like kind of a squishy character, as, and, uh, but you don't get attacked much. Um, because of your uh, skellies and stuff. Yeah, they take the damage for me. Tip of the spear. Uh, this little, uh, this <laughs> little uh, symbol plus four uh, is an automatic yes, yes, yes for me because, again, if I don't l survive in the scenario long enough, at least I can have some very flexible movement to get a door opened early if I need to, to get enemies moving to us, which speeds up the scenario, gets enemies in our face faster so we can actually get our turns damaging them, but also just helps with positioning for these kind of effects, right? Uh, so I kind of almost always will take the move four. Yeah, uh, I like that Unless card. I have like an abundance of movement on other cards, because the 67 is kind of like, eh. But uh, it's not the worst. And then this whole Pierce thing, some, later in the campaign, like Pierce is like, the, you need it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, wound, Pierce, uh, just damage effects to get through stupid idiots that have like six shields and you can't even hurt them. Uh, some of the demons and stuff, I remember. Um, move four, card is good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're on the same page. <laughs> I, the top part I like to get try for, but it's again, it's all about the movement for me. Speaking of the four movement, I have this card. Now it has six initiative, so it's like N four move. I'm all about it. But the top effect, I did do this uh once or twice when I just didn't couldn't get a formation going, but I knew the enemies were gonna whack me and, and they were close to me and they were gonna move in and, and hit me, even just one. It gets right through uh, damage. It's not an attack. I don't have to be retaliated against. So I do like this one a lot. But definitely the bottom and being able to just go six when you need to. Yeah, exactly. Said for the charge is the top action. You see, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I know. mean, depending on the situation. Yeah, if I'm already in the last room of the scenario and I still have this card somehow and it's like, okay, I just know I'm going to get attacked or they're going to move to me at least. Um, yeah, because I should be up there with the enemies, you know? So if you put that in, that's your 10 cards, and those would be your three cards you're cutting, but I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about this one. Here's the thing. Uh, so we have this heal, and granting two allies movement. Is this that important? I don't know. Because I have this heal, but the cool part is, this heal can be on me. So if I'm having trouble, I could heal myself, and maybe throw this on myself, especially if like you're attacking your skeletons or something, or I can do this to you. The only problem is you damage yourself often, so this doesn't really stick around. But if you think you're unless I have my skeletons all in place, and then it yeah. gives me a couple turns to regen. Yeah, to build up, right? And then when they die, I'm able to then. So it's like I don't redeploy. know if I want two heal effects in, but then I'm thinking like, oh, I have the the bone shaper with me. She's damaging herself all over the place, but she has her own heal cards too, right? So it's mm -hmm. like. Uh, regroup. Yeah, it's good to heal Mel, right? Yeah. The only problem is as soon as she damages herself, she loses the regen. But again, if she has like two or three skeletons out already, just spends a couple turns getting to heal up, hiding in the back. I personally don't take a lot. Well, I mean, that was scenario zero. I, I don't take a lot of damage from hits because I'm not in the front. So there's always going to be a skeleton or you that is going to take a hit even from a range attack. So the only way I'm losing this is if I damage myself, which I could potentially wait on like we can make this work okay and then there's this card this x the banner of hope the bottom is another healy card it's another banner i don't know how many banners i want access to 
Because they're, they're lost cards. Once they're gone, they get killed. They're gone, right? Yeah. At the start of their turns, grant allies within three, heal oneself. Seems awesome. If we have a whole bunch of skeletons, we have uh, other banners. If I have another banner or my, uh, my summons, could be getting healed. But I'm more about the offense. But then again, if skeletons aren't dying, you don't have to spend your health to get them back on the board. Man, this, this is really cool. It could be, like, in potential, it seems awesome. Or is this just good for a two attack at range four attack with advantage? Should I, like, not even care about the bottom? And it's 18 initiative. I mean, should, should this be one of my attack cards and I get out of formation? Where it's like, I shouldn't have a formation in there that maybe is hard to do? And maybe has a mediocre bottom? Can you use the sun? For no, any of your no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. Can I? No, I don't think I No, would. obviously if we had a character in our class that needs a sun, no, yeah, I this goes up in darkness. value. Um, Wattmaner says, driving inspiration is bleh. Attack to top is meh. But the range? Heal banner is, range is neat, meh? but the attack is better than healing. Agreed. Driving inspiration is underwhelming. Okay, it's out. No problem. Easy peasy. Okay, so the problem is I need to cut a card then, right? Yep. And what, if you're putting both heals in, yes. And, and, and what would you guys cut? Just throw names of cards in because I'll put maybe a poll up and then whichever one wins are the two that should be cut. But I'll tell you what I would probably cut, knowing a bit more after playing a couple times with your character now, this scenario and these enemies we see. Um, I don't know. It'd be a formation probably. So Adam says, my vote is to cut at all costs. Oh, and Wadmander says, Pincer Movement is my normal cut. Yeah, that's, but again, that's very exactly. Depend, does not pincer play Movement, style. the loot and the, and the weird little pincer thing. The five attack makes you want to keep it, but the initiative, don't care. That pincer thing is way harder to get done than you think. Obviously, maybe not, but in this scenario, this tunnel and the, the tight movement and trying to get over guys, and I only have my jumping boots I can use once every long rest, you know? It's hard, and I'm not going to do all that just to get that done. Then I have to get back to the other side with the allies to try to get all my other formations possible. Mm -hmm. Like, this breaks this whole idea of being beside an ally. Yep. This one I have to separate. This one's not so bad. The rallying cry, I was able to get that done a few times. But, uh... uh yeah. and it just says, cut unbreakable wall. Yeah, breakable uh, wall. I, cu I cut that before. Yep. So, pincer and breakable wall, I feel like, are the two. Yeah, right? I feel like those are the two that are... Um, Adam does say at all costs, but, I mean... Will cost uh again, that's the heal, so I guess here's the problem. Those are your three, I, guess. I know this guy is key to my strategy. Depending who my, him. but depending who my party is. I do have Mel and her skeleton army. Do I really need this jackass that doesn't even attack? Well, I guess that's also a question is am I playing the summon build where I'm bringing three skeletons, one of my flying summons, and I'm just spamming summons? I think you should. If I'm spanning summons, I need additional heal to be able to, to do plus, that. Plus we have the city guards in this scenario. So this goes up in value, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you could do with just these three. Don't forget, you can move the guards. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah. that I, We did do that in the first time I played it. I did try to bring them into my position to help me with, with uh, formations. I did try to help, help get them to enemies. So, like, enemies that were ignoring them, they would hit them, and stuff like that. Yes, I'm very... <laughs> as soon as I saw them in the scenario, I was like, ooh, I know how to mess with these guys. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. You could do a pull with those three. Yes. I'll do a pull with these three cards to cut. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, this is kind of fun, like... I love this stuff. On the fly deck yeah. building. I love hearing other with people's chat like, comments uh, of like how cards combination together and yeah. how Rob's cards will influence the cards I bring in and vice versa. Instead of us just like sitting there before the stream, okay, I'm going to take these 10 or 12 cards in. I like that. Okay, I put a poll in there. It is which to cut. So pick the one card you would just not put in the deck. And then the other two go in, right? Yeah, it's going to get harder as we level up. But ideally, the cards that we pick from our level ups, we almost like auto-includes based on the scenario. Well, well I guess I, it's all based I, on the scenario. And based on what you put in your deck, yeah. what, what you're doing, what we, how we see we grow together, and what cards our play style leans to also, yeah. and what we feel just works better. 
But then again, you run into a couple enemy types that'll basically spank those playstyles down, and you're up to like rejig your cards to like beat those that type of enemies and stuff. Yeah. Or like a scenario that it says like you have to loot three chests at the back of the last room. It's like, well, having a loot action is going to make that easier. And quite a bit of movement, depending yeah. on how big the scenario is or how fast we have to get through the scenario. Mm-hmm. Yep. But out of all these, I would probably cut pincer myself. That would be what I would cut too if this was my hand. But I could cut and break the wall also. That's the stink. Um, but I I don't think I would set this up, but maybe I'd try it because you guys are talking about putting this up right away. It's like, man, maybe. But it's only against ranged attacks. No. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. It's all your ranged attacks. It's a punishment oh. against my ranged attacks, which I don't like. So then if you're setting this up, maybe you would change the cards you brought in. Yeah, well, I want to build a ranged version of this character with like maybe a couple formations. But like ranged attacks, I would love it. Oh, Dean Miller says it's a close vote. So if you haven't voted on what you would cut, yes. please get your vote in. Help yeah. Rob decide. But it's like the looting for stuff in Frosthaven, like getting materials. Yeah, like building ourselves up for yeah, the future. Yeah, based on everything I read about the, the, um, the outpost phase, it's like, man, resources, resources, resources everywhere. Yeah, we need as many as we can. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably cut Unbreakable Wall. I, that's probably what i lean towards out of these three. After thinking about how Frosthaven has changed my thoughts on cards like this. Mm -hmm. and, and, oh, also we're playing two-player, right? So, like, the, hitting three enemies like this, how, how often does that happen? I know we're going into a big couple open rooms next, but is am I going to have that position... Possible to at least hit two enemies in those exact positions. We have ranged enemies. I'm assuming, I think the priests have some ranged attacks. Uh, they also have some like uh, healing. And then there's the archers we know who are just jerk faces who like never get near you. So you have to like get to them, but it's like then you move away from the melee guys. Mm -hmm. So trying to line all this up is like a little, little iffy. So I'm going to close the poll. We'll walk it in. Oh, 44% say Unbreakable Wall. Okay. Awesome. But 40%. It was very close. It. At all costs. People are like, nope, 15% wanted out, but that means the majority wanted in. Yep. Okay. Unbreakable Wall. Gone. I'm in. All right. Now, are there any cards you need help with, or do you just know your build? Well, I guess if we're going with the... I get my, my question to you guys is, if I'm going with the summon build, I have four summons. I have three skeletons and one flying uh, summons with a shield. I can I can include all of them. I can I'm allowed to bring in twelve cards. It gives the variety of the summons. The ske uh, the flying summons is an auto include. I'm bringing that one in for sure. I think I like that idea. It's just how many skeletons I should bring in. I have access to three currently. Well, these three skeletons. They're all late initiative. They all have different bottom effects. Yeah, I like the bottom effects on two of them, the okay. 81 and 71. I haven't And really they're re-summonable. Re yeah. So she gets experience every time she drops one of these on the board. She can choose when they destroy. And then from her discard pile, she even has other cards that can bring them out of her discard pile. Okay, they're saying bring them all. So we're bringing all four yeah. skeletons. That's easy to... Or all four summons. Even this one? Yes, this that one's auto-include for sure. I oh, want to okay, bring okay. that one because it it's creates the, darkness too. It's the range. It has two shields. It is... It is... Flying? Flying. It is... Uh, experience. Weak, right? With only one health. It could get into a situation, but hopefully my uh, robes can be used when that skeleton... Or when this summons is in trouble. Um, but the, hopefully with the range, they're not getting hit as much as the skeletons are kind of like the protector. So that's four cards. Those are four Easy cards. Peasy. Those are included. And then I am going to bring in uh, definitely, sorry, uh, this one, I think. Uh, these, these two. Hey, you can put them down there. I can see. Okay, so these are my heal cards. I have uh, heal uh, X plus one self, where X is the number of my summons. So the more summons I have, the more heal I get. I like the bottom of it as well, which is granting movement. 18 initiative, my lowest initiative card I have. Uh, this one heals allies, which is still good for Rob, 
his summons, my summons. Uh, heals al one ally at range three. I can consume to make it a little bit better, but also here I can heal oneself. And if an enemy has died, I can perform an additional heal oneself. So these two are auto include as well. So that's half of my deck. Six out of 12. Yeah. And then I like the ones that grant my summons abilities. So grant one of your summons, uh, move zero, attack zero. And then I can use the darkness to make it uh, pierce. And then grant one of my allies a five attack. Good at the end if I need. Including me. Yeah. Or one of my summons or something. Yeah. The, uh, this one here I like as well, which is um, curse at range five. Grant one of your summons adjacent to the target of the curse ability uh, attack at zero. And it does the darkness. Um, also on the bottom is grant one of your summons the loot. I think we, we saw this in scenario one with me gaining the token. So my summons can loot if I'm a little bit farther behind. So I like those two. Uh, also this one, grant one of your summons attack plus one. If I consume the earth, we can also poison and it gains one experience. And then... And that's an X card. So this is your first X? Yeah, that's my first X. And then... The other ones I was thinking is also this one is grant one of your summons attack zero attack plus zero with curse. If I use darkness, I can again poison and that will give me um oh, sorry, this is grant three of my summons. This is a throwaway, but I like the bottom movement. It just does help me get into mm, get up closer. A little better initiative than usually you have to. Yeah. Then I bring this also just for initiative and the bottom. I don't really do that. I haven't done the top effects. It is a throwaway, but the bottom with just having three move. If I consume the earth, I can move two additional spaces. Uh, oh, I didn't see this one because I wasn't allowed to bring this last time. I have a 21 initiative. Oh, this is uh, the exploding one of your guys. Yeah, so I feel like... It will give you an experience. Late. It's like an end scenario kind of one. Like, yeah. get your guy up there and... Or, man, there's a play where you do this early you do the bottom, the bottom just goes away at the end of the round, right? When yep. the next enemy dies this round, all allies and enemies adjacent to the hex in which it died suffer two damage. Not bad, because if one of my summons is going to die, if I think that's going to happen, plop this out. Well, this is when the next enemy dies. Oh, enemy dies. So oh, an enemy sorry, dies, sorry. and then you want it to hurt other enemies Never that mind. are crowded around it. Never mind. So in like the mob kind of uh, like group control kind of scenarios... Where it's like tons of little rodents running around and they're all together or ooze. You got all the ooze in formation, kill one, and then it damages all the other oozes around it, right? So this, this one I guess I'm only bringing for the low initiative, but this is the other card that I would want to possibly bring. So, so people are saying cut, cut this, this, so not yeah. bring that yeah. one. Yeah. But I like this one because this is for me an attack at range five with poison. Add plus one to the target if it's adjacent to at least one of your summons. So that is definitely can happen. So it's an attack of two, which generates the earth, which I need for some of my are, other are cards. Are you ever in range to actually do that attack? Range five. Oh, range five. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, I feel I, like, woo. yes. Plus it gives the poison. And yes, generating the earth is good as well. So 46 is also a, for me, a decent uh, initiative. I don't really think I want to bring the last these last two cards, so I think I would cut the Exploding Corpse, which, corpse, which we already talked about. don't need it right now. So this is the cut of one of your number ones to get an X in. I think so. It just gives somebody a little bit of advantage. Yeah, it seems okay. Healing an ally at range three, but, but then, then I have to lose. Yourself, and this. I think until I have more health. And then you're cut, you don't want to take this X card, which is heal yeah. four. All allies at range two. Again, it hurts myself and it curses myself. It gives it's a one time. Ooh, gives bless out. Yeah. And your allies, you could heal the guards. But also, this only is all allies within range two I of know. me. Yeah, you and be near them. at the time I would play this, I'd likely be too far away. The granting the oh, you create summon air. Ooh, I like air. Three okay. is good, but I don't know. I just feel like none of these are for for right now. Yeah, approach oblivion. Cut, right? Yeah. yeah. It, and then cool, transfer of essence. I just feel like it doesn't do enough for okay. me at the time. So there you go. Yeah. So I feel like, okay. So here's your, that's half. This is your other six, right? Yep. And then these are the three that I am not playing with, oh. which I will put back in my box. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Yeah, I feel like for me, it's deciding between if I'm going with the summon build or the not summon build. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll try to make that work. Okay. I do, so the transfer of essence is good. Strengthen is very good. And yes, it, it is rare, but I, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather be letting my summons do extra work or healing or doing something than just being like, oh, you get a strengthen. Maybe because there's some other things if I had the right uh, elements. I don't know. But maybe I'll think about that one for a future one. We need to set our dials to maximum hit points. I'm at 10. I'm at Zero six. experience. And then apply any event and scenario effects. We didn't draw a road event or anything, so we don't have that. Scenario effects didn't hurt us anyway, I don't think. Okay. Um, okay. Card selection, first turn. I don't know. Do you need to take a break? I do need to use the washroom. So yeah, I'd love I to like quickly go before we actually start or I'll <laughs> be right. distracted. Uh, we will be right back in like two minutes. All right, we're back. Okay. So, positioning. Hmm. Oh, yeah, starting. Big, big hitting. So, we have the Algox guard. He's here. He has seven health. Seven health, three move, three attack by default. I'm sure it's a lot of moving, smashing. Slow moving though, I bet. Big dude, if I remember correctly. And I think there's a card where they retaliate, like some of them do who are melee. They'll block and retaliate. Um, we have the priests, who are usually some kind of healing or summoning or something like that, I believe. This one uh, is a regular, has six health, two movement, two attack, and has a built-in defense of one, unfortunately. So dealing damage, retaliating against it, 
All that kind of stuff gets through that stupid shield. Otherwise, we're going to have to attack over top of that. And with the starting modifier deck and our low attack values on some cards beginning the game, it can be a little rough. Uh, and then we got the Algot's Archer, which is over here. Five health, two movement, three attack. We know archers, they get tons of range added on and all that. Pulling from an archer deck, we've seen this before. You know, so that three damage will be buffed, I'm sure, and flying all the way across the map. If they can get into position, which they usually do, and have good line of sight, they'll like always be hitting somebody, as opposed to a melee character, which might not be able to reach you and stuff like that. And then our oh, guards, our city our guards. Friends. These are our neutral little friends. Uh, they're allies to us or whatever. They don't take a turn, but for focusing their 50, they also have a shield, which is nice. Five health each. Move two, attack two, but we they don't move at or attack, but we could move them uh, with our grant abilities. And uh, based on the scenario rules, they have a built-in retaliate two and an extra shield. So they have two shields. And retaliate two. And retaliate two. Okay. All right. So based on this, okay. and based on cards that I might open with, Maybe I start with, uh, it was uh, the opening turn, what Peter was saying was like the javelin plus, uh, what was the other one? Dropping my summon, right? I want to see that comment again. Again, my keeping all the card names straight. Place the reinforcement, yes. So you need to be where you can put him behind you, is that correct? Yeah. So I could go like... I could go like this. Here. That does put us in range that that guy can definitely probably move up and hit us. I'm thinking I go at my earliest. But then he'll hit you. Summon a skeleton. Oh, that Give my ske skeleton an action. Ooh. Then my skeleton's in front. If I lose one skeleton right off the bat to this guy, this guy's probably like the hardest to hit. But if we can get a couple of hits on him before he goes, that's the best probably, right? I also am talking out loud about my cards. I know someone's going to say, ah, you're not supposed <laughs> to say this kind of stuff. But again, we have an audience watching, and I do love when I play games to kind of like openly discuss my thought process because there are people that are new to this kind of game and it's overwhelming. So to understand where how I'm trying to work my way through the puzzle, um, but ultimately cards I select, I'll try to keep private from Mel, but it's like, at oh. this point, she's seen all my cards, she knows my hand, and like, we'll talk about stuff as generically as possible, but just like when we play all other board games, sometimes we have to add our own house rule to like, play openly because there's a whole audience watching over our shoulder, right? So it's yeah. like, we want you guys to understand what's happening because it'd be a super boring stream if I'm just like sitting there quiet, maybe a little discussion and then just like, surprise. But it is a lot of the fun of, uh, uh, is still there of choosing what to do with those cards that I flip. But I also like, feel like everyone else has helped out. So it's like, I still want to make sure I'm at least in the first few scenarios that we're like playing things the right way and stuff too. I'm not misunderstanding things. So I can't actually summon and grant my summons to do anything fun on the first turn together because they're both top. So oh. <laughs> maybe I'm going to go later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Summon. Go then, late so and the, then the I can... summon doesn't get crushed. Yeah. And also, then you I... being behind me counts as an ally behind me. Yeah, but I so need to I be one more. Do. Oh, yeah. But, but I, I want to save my peers for trying to get this guy, maybe. Okay. But again, lining that up is maybe rough. And maybe I'll just go ham on this first guy, javelin him, and then next round try to use my deflecting maneuver to try to uh, do a advantage three air attack on him. And he is a total of seven health. So maybe with your help too, maybe if we don't flip bad cards, we can... Well, I can only do personally an attack one myself. Yeah, it's fine. But if I summon, I can't do any of that. Yeah, just worry so about I... building up for the scenario. Like, you having skeletons on the board helps all, all of us, so get, that, get it built up, right? Okay, I'm going to go late. Uh... Uh... Rob Silent is laughable. I know. Remember, <laughs> I'm running like a presentation here, basically. So I can't just be quiet or it gets awkward. Yeah, five hour stream in silence. Oh, that'd be funny. You know what I mean? The priest should focus on the guard. The priest should, yes. It should. It should. Yeah, it will, because I don't think anybody will be up that close. The only problem is, we won't, hopefully the priest moves to the guard, but it probably won't. But if it does, and it hits the guard, 
It will get retaliated on, which would be nice. Ideally, we want the priest to get early heal card when there's nothing to heal, so they're kind of just wasted. Also, I want that archer dead ASAP. And this big city guard, because I feel like it's going to pound us. Yeah. Like, big hits. I was I worried this guy might end up attacking this guy if we're not in close enough to get in the thick of it. And not getting the retaliate back, which is going to be annoying. Yeah. Angie, hello. You did not miss the town stuff. The town stuff is after this scenario, and you're just on time because we're just taking our first turn here. Yeah, we're still traveling the wilderness trying to get into Frosthaven. We're outside of Frosthaven. They have a giant bunch of Algox attacking. We're trying to help the people of the city before we even can get in. All right, good? I'm good. 21. 91. Okay, guard, 35, archer, 29, priest, 8. Oh. This so hold on, what's the order here? Uh, priest is 8. Priest, what number are you? Uh, 21. Then you, then archer, then guard, then me. Okay, so I see uh, later the... Uh, guard, when he goes, the one that's right up in our business, has only a move of two. Is he has not... range of two, so he doesn't oh, even need to so move, he's not unfortunately. Even moving. He's just going to do an attack of three with range, throwing axe. He's throwing yeah. axes at us. Yeah. Yes. The archer is has a range of five, and he's going to immobilize somebody. And the priest who's going first is move of zero, of plus zero, so he can move of two. Oh, he's actually going to attack. So he's, okay. He's just going after the city guard. Which is actually not the worst. And disarming the city guard is, doesn't do anything because yeah. they don't even take a turn or attack, right? And his attack is minus one, so it's only going to oh, be one. but they can probably attack, right? Could the city guards attack if Mel would have grant... Oh, you only grant I your summons. I can only summons. grant my own summons. Never mind. Yeah. Forget what I said. Uh, okay. Okay. So... That's kind of good, right? This, this is the best case scenario. Yeah, Hopefully I, this whips. But... So he's going to move towards well, our... Well, he has defense too, right? They block two. Yeah, but he's going to retaliate back. We're hoping that this attack misses and doesn't actually hit. But it's okay if it hits, because he has defense of two. Yeah, I and, guess. And this is already minus one, and by default his attack's only two. So it's already a one it's a starting. One. It's a one, and if you... So... Oh, it's range. Oh, oh it's range. Ooh. Sorry, so he doesn't need to move. Sorry, sorry. All right, here we go. Yep. Minus one. So nothing. Zero. Disarms him, but whatever. We're not going to care. Okay. So this one is done. Yeah, so no retaliate. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I don't think he'll ever retaliate on him because I bet he's all range attacks. Yeah. Boo. Okay. Okay. Uh, bo uh, banner Spear. Banner Spear. All right. I guess I'll just summon my little buddy behind. That'll oh, get, yes, that'll for sure. That'll get me an Sorry. experience. Move this over slightly. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. can see the initiative. Yes, yes. Oh, look at that. All right. Uh, so I'm going to summon blue banner, please. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Behind. Uh, okay. I got my XP for it. That's up there. Then I'm going to do the javelin. Uh, creating air at the end of my turn. I'll attack for three at range three. Minus one. So it hits the big boy for two on number six. So five left and he's dead, right? That's all. Mm -hmm. I mean, the priest's not going to heal him next turn, which probably will happen. Okay. Uh, hmm. Here, yes, we'll answer your question in just one second. Here just wants to quickly know what our personal goals was. I guess if someone didn't watch yesterday, and just tune in for today. There's mine. You can pause the screen and then scrub back forward to live. Uh, where did I put so you mine? can see. Okay. One second. Mine is right here. Yeah, we just wanted the table space, but... Um, you have that there? Yeah, we'll definitely bring it up if and it matters, but... Uh, there's Mel's. Oh, yeah, I'm looking to loot lumber. Yeah. Okay. But again, like, you're going to loot anyway, and it's all luck, right? But yeah, that, I guess that's good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good call. Yeah, not everyone watched yesterday, that's for sure. Yeah. And I don't expect everyone to watch yesterday. Okay. Uh, Archer. Archer has a range of five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't think you can actually see around the wall here to get to you. Yes, but you'd have to draw a line from the bottom here. I'm just going to move this guy out of the way for a second. So at the line of sight definitely hits. Oh, yeah, it hits the corner. If it goes corner to corner, it hits the corner of this wall, right? Yep. Um, but anyways, just yeah, for right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because you're both six away. But I'm not in line of sight. This guy so is. He's right? in line of sight. So he needs to move. One and again, one, yellow two, does three, four, four, five. Wrong. Okay. So then he's now in range five. Yeah, this sucks. Attack is minus one, so its attack is two. So it's three minus one. Will you flip a card there? Three minus one. Yep. Uh, plus one. So it's three. Ooh. So he has two. He takes one, and that's on guard number six. City guard number six takes a one dice. white mm -hmm. die. Uh, and then he's immobilized. But he's not really moving anyways. I guess we could put that on there in case we meant to move him, but... Well, he can't move, but he can be moved by force movement. Even with immobilized? Yeah. Okay, I'm then it doesn't sure. matter. doesn't matter. Uh, oh, Adam, uh, it's... Uh, I don't remember where I got it, but local games. Anywhere that you can buy Army Painter... Uh, hello? Army Painter Paints uh, or Army Painter Products. Just go find that. Or the Army Painter website, maybe it'll tell you where. But it's called the target lock. They make different ones of these. The one I'm using is called the target lock. Uh, oh, Timogen says, yeah. attacks Rob. Uh, both possible targets were the same distance away, and Rob had the faster initiative. Okay, so it doesn't matter that he can't see Rob. I thought to find focus at the very beginning, there has to be some line of sight happening. But maybe we're just counting the distance. And then it would focus this guy and this position right here to attack Rob. Or is it trying to focus for the position where it can attack from, not the actual character? Let's find out. Welcome to Gloomhaven, aka Frosthaven, and the monster movement rules and attacking. You don't need line of sight to find focus. You need a straight line for the final attack. Finding focus doesn't care about line of sight. They know you're there. Okay. You just move to get into line of sight if you can. Okay. So then... 40, page 41. At the start of its turn, a monster finds a focus. This focus is the enemy it can perform its attack on using the fewest movement points. Determining the shortest path bubble takes into consideration the effects of difficult and icy terrain. Mm. Oh, I guess it's, yeah, it, it does kind of say it in that. Uh, talks about for melee attacks and then for range attacks, the monster identifies the shortest possible path to a hex from which it can perform the range attack within the specified range. Oh, okay. If the monster cannot attack this turn either because it doesn't have, okay. Okay, man, okay. I'm holy confused. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So it's basically choosing based on distance. Oh, okay. Okay. That's easy fix. Okay. Yeah. So then we'll remove this. So he would have attacked you. Great. For three. So probably moved a little different then, right? No, I still would have moved the same because now he's in, within. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. And attack for three? Yeah. I guess I'll block and reduce it to a two. Okay. Okay. And then the guard, this guy, he does have a range of two. He is attacking Rob as well, unfortunately. Yay. His attack is zero. So his attack is three or plus zero. So it's at range three. two. Yeah. Minus so one. Two. Ooh. Down to six. Oh, and I'm so sorry. You would be immobilized from this archer attack. That... Oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, it's very bad. Uh, okay, and then me. I'm going to summon a skeleton, which will give me one XP to one and reduce my health by two to four. Uh, 
that adjacent to me. And then I will heal myself for one, going back to five. And then if an enemy has died this round, perform a heal oneself. No enemy has died, so I don't get that heal. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. So I'm at five health, one experience. I got a skeleton on the board. Alrighty. That's that. Uh, Sam's mentioning the monster AI quiz. Oh, uh, I think we took that many, we, many we years did that, ago. We did that many years ago when we were streaming Gloomhaven or playing Gloomhaven on YouTube. And Mel, Justin, who played the scenarios with us, uh, played a bunch of scenarios. And I, after playing so many episodes, so many scenarios off stream, on video, whatever, we played hundreds of hours of spent in the game. We found that quiz and we took it. Man, we bombed it so hard. Mm -hmm. Even rereading rules and trying to like look up and understand like the basics we thought we knew still would fail it. Then I tried it again and I still was even trying to just stare at one situation, understand and then have the rule book right beside me, I still couldn't put it together. It just was so confusing and so weird. And it, it made me, that's why like the digital game made so much money and why people now will not touch physical Gloomhaven because there's a digital that exists. Literally monster AI movement has ruined me ever wanting to play physical Gloomhaven ever again. And the only reason I'm playing physical Frosthaven is because there's no digital Frosthaven because of monster movement. So it's a very touchy subject with me. It's why I will tell people, like, warn them away from the game sometimes and why to play Jaws of the Lion first to see if, like, you're okay with it. But, yeah, it's a mess. But then again, some people, they don't care. They just have fun. Do it how you want. Play it how you want. It's your game. You paid for it. Just move it how you feel is right. Play it how you feel is right. As long as you're having a good time, do whatever. Don't get too hung up on those rules. But they are kind of weird. Like, they're, yeah, I don't know. But maybe with us playing now and the chat helping yeah. to determine if we have made a wrong movement, we yeah. will start to learn those rules better. Yeah, even though we've spent hundreds of hours in this universe playing these games, it's in digitally and physically, it's still... And we're just getting back into this, and that's why I want to play a whole bunch this week, so we can maybe build that foundation, and I appreciate the help. But again, at some point during this campaign, if I still don't have it, I'm going to stop caring, because it'll ruin the game for me, and I'll just not want to play it if I can't get it right. Because then I get frustrated on YouTube, but people keep saying like, oh, you're not even playing the game right and all this. And it's like, ah, yeah, true. If I'm not playing it right and I can't get it right, why not play another game that isn't so confusing? I find it's only more of an issue with the range guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah like yeah. melee guys, you kind of yeah. have an idea there. Who's closest? And okay. the weird stuff of like, oh, a uh, priest wants to heal. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you have to move them like they have a melee attack first and like they're going to hit somebody with a sword. But then after that, you get to their heal. Then they do their heal, but it's not like how an enemy would move logically, right? Like, I, that's why I like Sword and Sorcery AI and those kind of games that have like a kind of a little flow. Like, the enemy wants to do these logical things, which makes sense. Like, this guy would want to move in the direction to go heal somebody who needs the heal. Instead, he's going to move to somebody who, if he were melee attacking, that's where he would move. And it's like, why would he do that? It's just like, doesn't make sense, you know, just thematically. And that's where my brain breaks, is the thematic disconnect from the actual, you know, nerdy game mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm not in, in the, I'm not in the minority uh, being annoyed by the monster movement in this game. I see it all the time online, in our chats, and our comments. Well, some of the most asked questions yeah. on BGG. Yeah, oh yeah. It's the reason like why they're trying to understand how yeah. monsters work. The fact that there even exists... A quiz? courses you can take on monster movement followed by final exams university run courses on gloomhaven monster ai is a big red flag already so those who say ah it's basically so easy you'll get the hang of it uh, uh, the other way to look at it for us is know. is we may move <laughs> one wrong to our benefit in some cases, but then in the opposite in other cases where we, yeah. you know, it should have moved to somewhere else, but then it hit us instead. So I feel like it balances out the incorrect movements over the course of the whole game. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Right? It's not like we're always like trying to break the game in our no, favor by no. doing it wrong. And sometimes we're like six hours deep into a stream and like my brain is fried and I'm just trying to play my cards straight. And it's yeah. like, oh, I just want to get through the monster movements so we can get to my turn. Let's just do it. Figure it out. Go quick. 
So yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's only a real problem when you stream the game yeah, and people yeah. pointed out the mistakes. Exactly. And my Other people might be doing it wrong and they don't even know. Happens all the time with <laughs> games where we have like experts come in and tell us we're doing it wrong and then somebody's like, uh, actually, you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh crap, I've been playing this wrong for five years. Whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because you didn't have a camera and a whole bunch of people watching you play over your shoulder and you just assumed you were doing it right. Sometimes you don't catch your own mistakes. That's the human brain, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next round. There's your rant. Are we good? Are we good on the Rob rant in the stream? Done? Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, so I think I wait on my flying summon a little bit longer. I don't want... I got to mobilize, so now I can't do my whole attack on an adjacent guy. Maybe if I go late enough and he moves to us. But now that I see this guy's got range attacks, these guards... And I know they have a, I'm going to stand here and do retaliate with the shield attacks. Yeah, my thought is possibly going as early as I possibly can, let my skeleton hit, then give my skeleton a second action. I don't think it'll do five damage. It only hits for two. I'd have to be very lucky. But... Oh, this maybe could help. And, and where that... Where that guy is standing it totally messes totally messes this up like he is not in a straight line i have allies all around me but yet somehow i can't even hit this guy <laughs> he knows He's not in your straight line my spear like i obviously had a little too much uh mead before wandering through the the wilderness here and some for some reason my tip of my spear only goes a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right it's definitely not straight if you catch my drift so, uh, yeah, yeah. What is that all about? But anyways. <laughs> Serenity now. Serenity now. Alrighty. We're going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Whoa. <laughs> Crooked spear. Yeah. What is that all about? Tell me. <laughs> Serenity now. Serenity now. Yeah, I need more ranged attacks. Immobilize kills me. So I could I could just do this. Oh yeah, thank you. Would this be a bad play? Just me yet. healing right now? I just lost four health. I could just heal. Yeah, if you can't move. But like, what if this Algox goes early, comes to me, and then he's right beside me, and then I could have used the air, which yes, is waning. Well, I'm going, let me tell you, I'm going as early as I possibly can, and my skeleton will move up there. So if he, unless he goes before, as early as I can go. <laughs> yeah, Jacko says, I didn't know or care how many mistakes I made until I played digital. <laughs> I remember when Digital Gloomhaven came out, uh, so many posts online in the Steam forums and stuff. People were like, uh, or in the Gloomhaven Reddit and stuff, I remember people are just like, yeah, guys, I've been playing Gloomhaven for like years now with my whole party, and we all supposedly thought we knew what we were doing. And yeah, we all just learned we've been doing this wrong and this wrong and this wrong. Like Gloomhaven Digital brought out so many, so many things people thought they were doing right with the game. It's so funny. I remember that. Jack, let me in. Did you miss a rant? It was just a very, very quick one. Maybe like was it very quick? three to five still minutes ago. Going. It's still kind of going. <laughs> just about monster movement. Sam, okay. A policy on advice and back back seating this is only scenario one oh. for us we're getting back into the game i am okay you throwing out suggestions play along with us we are not experts i'm not going to claim i'm an expert i'm not here to show you how to play the game i'm here to have fun and hang out for this game some games i feel like i know very well and i'm here to teach and show but this is a legacy game we're playing blind through it i have no idea about all the characters i'm not opening up the whole box and studying every card and coming here to tell you how to play it right i don't consider myself an expert on gloomhaven frosthaven any of that stuff Yes, I played hundreds of hours, but I play many, many games and like to dabble in tons of video games and media and and uh, stories and and different board games and board game types and stuff. So I just love the the management action system. But yes, feel free to chime in, give suggestions. If I read it, sometimes I might just ignore it. Sometimes I might read it out. Sometimes we might follow it. Sometimes I might shake my head and be like, you're crazy, man. That's not the way I want to play. But by all means, people watching this later or right now might love to hear your suggestions and stuff. So I guess backseat all day, and I'll just sometimes I'll just ignore it. 
Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. we're, we're all taken into consideration, but I can't read everything in the chat or else... Oh, it, we wouldn't play. It'd be super awkward. I'm not playing and I'm just in here going... I try to read as much as I can, yeah. especially when it's not my turn. When it's my turn, yeah. I can't pay attention to it. So sometimes we miss it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free to throw those suggestions in, especially now we're new. We're trying to learn. I appreciate the help. I, I do. That's why I'm asking. I'm showing cards like, what would you do? You guys helped me pick my hand. Like the whole chat voted on cards that were my hand and stuff. So you get involved. Like, feel like you're invested, you know? Uh, Sam says, in that case, I advise Banish to go slow this round no matter what. If you attack, he needs to walk up. If you heal, you want to save the regen so it doesn't break if the guard hits you. Unless you want a range attack, but the guard probably won't die. So I think waiting on that I'm, But yeah. now I'm going to go as early as I can, hopefully, hoping the skeleton can hit twice, break him down a little bit more. So then maybe if Rob does do a range attack, he is gone. I don't really have a range attack anymore. Then we don't even worry I about think it. I used it already. Um, now there's the crazy play that I use something like this. That if the enemy does move up on me, but if your skeleton's in the way, he won't do that. It just depends on how fast the guard goes. Like, if he, if his, yeah, I don't know what his, um, his deck is like. If it's, like, earlier or later. Like, some of these big dudes usually go a little bit, like, mid to late, but mm -hmm. they hit hard. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Good? Yep. 10. 18. 10, 10, 10. Okay. Guard, 70. Yeah, he's going late. Okay. Archer, 31. 9 for the priest. Woo! Okay. Archer was 31? Yes. And 70. Guard is going late. Is that right? Late. Priest at 9. I'm at 10. You're at 18? Yep. And then 31 and 70. 31 and 70. Yep. Okay. Okay, the priest is going first. Can move plus one. And then he's attacking with minus one. Targeting two. Range three with curse. This guy. I don't think even with three movement, he can target. That is range three, you know? Because he could just see his move three movement points. So you go like one, two, three. And then one and... Two targeting. He could even just use two and stop on the difficult and still have one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Right? Yep. That's annoying. Okay. His attack is minus one. So his attack is only for one. He's going to attack whoever's initiative first is you. Plus zero. So just one. One. And he's going to curse you. Great. Down to five. Curse. Yep. This one. Shuffle into said deck. Okay, then he's going to do the same thing on the skeleton, which is just one. One on the skeleton, and then curse uh, me. He will throw me a curse as well. Demogen says, Priest will stomp on the log, attack the guard, and banner spear. Okay, I think I did the right, right then? Oh, the guard and banner spear, not my skeleton. Oh, the guard! I keep forgetting him. But... But it's still me first, right? Okay, I see, I see, I see, yeah. I see, I see, I yeah. see. The guard first, I think, right? Because the guard is one. Yeah. That makes I sense. See. I forgot about this guy back here. Yeah. I okay, so then the guy. guard blocks it all and then doesn't take any curse, doesn't have a deck. Okay. I see. It wasn't on me. That's better. Okay. He's done. Banner Spear. So my thought was to add plus one to the next attack ability performed by you. Or an adjacent ally this round. So if you're a skelly or somebody goes up there and hits, I can give him plus one attack. Okay, that's good. I don't know. It... That's my theory. Is it only on the first one, sorry? So the next attack the next. ability okay. performed by you or an adjacent ally. And then uh, I will do the top of this, which just heals myself for two. Going to seven and gets a regen, if you could, please. Mm -hmm. At the end of my turn, I'll lose a mobilize. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, this, that sounds this here. good, because potentially with the pluses, the skeleton can get an additional yeah. attacks through. Yep, yep. Well, one plus one. Yeah, and then I've given him plus one on another one. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, bone Shaper. Skeleton is first. I'm going to move one to be adjacent to the guard. Mm -hmm. He's going to attack for two, but Rob is saying he gets a plus one. Yep. 
So he's attacking for three. Yes, five. That's enough. Mm. That kind of sucks because now my other card's wasted, but that's fine. Oh, that's man. Fine. That's totally good. That's fine. So this guy's dead. You need to remove his die. Remove him. Okay. Okay. Uh, drop a loot token you got. Done. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So then... Grant one of your summons attack plus one. Okay. Uh, oh, no, it's not wasted. Not wasted. Not wasted. We can do the bottom of this, which is move two for me. I'll just move to one. And then I can grant one of your summons and move two. Let's put him here with the move two. And then grant one of your summons and attack plus one. There is no earth, so I'm not doing the poison. So it's attack plus one. So attack of three. Minus one, so two here on the priest. Block, block one. one, so one is going to get through on number four. Okay. At least it wasn't wasted. All right. Algox Archer. Archer has a range of four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Skeleton is already within range. Doesn't need to move. His attack is four, three. Oh, God. If you will. Plus zero. Okay, that will kill my skeleton. I will use my mm. robes to give two defense, so it only takes one hit. Defense. I need something. Oh yeah, the guard's gone. Oh yeah, I need something that later lets me. Um, lets me ready that easier. Okay, new turn. New turn. Mm. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. This guy goes right. Oh, yeah, on your turn. But I can control his movement. Oh, I forgot all about that. So what, who was, uh, you hadn't moved yet, right? No. Well, I probably would have moved him up here to, like, kind of protect me, maybe. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because my skeleton moved Yeah, I forgot there. about yep. my summons. Holy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about my summons going before me. I got greedy and went ahead. Or excited, eager. Okay. Yeah, I agree, Adam. If my skeleton can tank two or three hits, it's a good day. I know. Yes. If, if he can do something a couple times and take some damage, that's fine. But I'm going to try to go early so that my skeleton can do something. But... Also, I'd hope my skeleton is also in a position that maybe you can... Get in there and do something fun. I mm -hmm. don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. The priest is so tanky for a priest. Yeah, I know, right? Brett with the super chat. Had to reinstall again. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Brett. Thank Brett, you. Thank, thank you. For you. The support. Sorry that's a pain in the butt. Sam, thank you so much. The paint jobs for both minis look really good. Love the bone shaper's hair. Thank you. Speed paint, army painter speed paint. Thank you. Is there a play now where you get up here? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> no. I don't even know if you have that card. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Going as early as I can, but this priest seems to go like super fast. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, hopefully, it goes. All right. Good. Time. Good. Six. Twenty-six. Okay, Archer, 16, Priest, 74. Okay, Whoa. but this guy's probably going to kill him. Ah. Okay, so you're first. Okay, so based on this... I mean, the Archer is terrible. If he's minus one, what's his attack? Three. Three. So it's a two, mm -hmm. which At range could four. get blocked. 
I think he's going to go for the skeleton. Oh, the skeleton. No, yeah. but I, I'll probably move into position. So I tried to go early. The purpose was so that I could just be on initiative. I don't need a four movement, but I was thinking of just getting in position for a, a wound on this guy, trying to get some damage past his defense. So maybe we can get rid of him. Summon first. But, oh, summon oh, yeah, first. Summon Thank first. you. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, and regen. Oh, regen, yes. Whoa, so many things. <laughs> oh, my. I'm, I'm getting He's ahead so of myself. He's so excited about his cards. I'm used to Gloomhaven. <laughs> Slap cards down, do things. I don't normally play summons characters or anything like that. Or have regen tokens. What is this game? This is like these other dungeon crawlers we play. Weird. Uh, okay. So your summon can move of only one each turn? Two. Two. Two movement, one health, and they can't attack. Okay. But I can position him. On member for four months, drop any super chat. Good luck saving Frosthaven. I'm gonna go play the game you got me and my partner into Arkham Horror. I'm assuming the living card game. Yes. Because we is. don't play, we haven't oh or third edition we've played. No, I think it was Arkham Horror the card game. You have to be more specific, Han. <laughs> I need you to read super chat. No, I'm just joking. Uh thank you for all the great videos. No problem, Han. You thank have you fun. so much. Have fun. Have fun. Thank you for hanging out and being an awesome member of the community. All right. Uh, yeah, so summons. I mean, it could just tank a hit. Yeah. So one, two. I could just throw him there. Oh, that. how much health does he have? Only one, though. Eh? Yeah, only one. So he, he just died, but whatever. Is it recurring summon, this one? Yeah. Okay. I could bring him back if I want, but I could also use that heal. Maybe help city guards later or something. Ah, right, whatever. I think I'll put him there. Again, I should probably look at my other cards I have in hand, because maybe... Maybe that could help determine what I'm trying to line up here. I could also keep him out of harm's way, but I think I'll just use him. I want to I keep him going. Um, and then that's where I'll put him. So now my movement, I'll just go one, two onto this loot token uh, using only two of my four points of movement because I'm trying to line up this little thing where I need to be beside an ally, which I am in both of these situations, to try to attack for three on the priest. Plus zero. Priest blocks one, so I hit the priest for two. So this goes to a three. And wound him, please. I end up getting an XP because I did a formation. Look at me. And that is... And it, sorry, is one of your masteries to do three different formations? My masteries, they're like, I'll never do them. Is it that? I think because we determined attack yesterday. Three attack at least three oh, enemies with three enemies. each of three different area of effect attack abil abilities. Okay, so then, yeah, it doesn't matter then. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mine, think, I'm not I need wearing future cards either. for that, I think, to really get that happening. And I didn't even put the wall in, which I think is needed. Oh, I should really keep an eye, though, on this because I have started doing it. Mine is play a summon action on your first turn, which I've done. Have the summon kill at least six enemies and keep it alive for the entire scenario. So, so far it's killed one. I should use something to track this. Uh, this, I'll use these. Here, take a... Or a die or something. I don't know. Yeah, use this like purple die. Here. Okay, so my purple die is tracking how many this guy has killed. How many summons. He's killed one and he's still alive. So now actually you keeping him there is actually... Uh, masteries are like more... Uh, we talked about yesterday's stream... But it's just another way to earn uh, perk marks. So the normal way, like you know from Gloomhaven, is you earn like these little check marks from battle goals and things. And every three you get, you earn a perk mark, which you can cross off something down here and modify your deck. But now in Frosthaven, they even have abilities, and you can get reminder cards for them. Even some you need two checks to unlock the ability. But the masteries are just another way to get a perk mark over here. And they're pretty challenging. Yeah. They're like super achievements. Not like we'll battle celebrate goals. if we get one. <laughs> yeah, battle goals are like regular level achievements. They're like, okay, do something cute in the scenario. But yeah. those are like, okay, do something Next extraordinary. Level. They're like battle goals on steroids. Yeah. Think of it that way. Yeah, raw, I'm with you. Raw masteries don't exist. Yeah. I'm not even worried about them. I'm not going to stress about those yet. No. When we get but I mean, I am going to track it sure. because if it does happen, I would like to know. Yep, yep. But I'm on my way to success with this one. <laughs> No, you don't get a special card for the mastery. You just get an extra perk. It's just another way to get a perk. Yeah. Which, okay. I feel like it should give you I mean, something awesome, special. But yeah, yeah. it does. Because you can get more awesomeness for your deck. I guess. More awesome for your character. Yeah, yeah. I guess. 
So it's another interesting thing to spice up the game for like experienced players. Yeah. Which is cool. All right. Anything I don't remember what was do? happening. I did my turn. You did your turn? Yeah. Okay, Archer. Archer's gonna go at a range of four. So he already has, as you said, your banner is in range. Its attack is minus one. So its attack is only two. Maybe you could miss. So attack of two on your banner if you were or I can move those closer so I can reach them. Sorry, attack of two on who? Your banner. I mean we can put the monster deck here. I just didn't want it close to your deck because I think I'll just... sometimes you flip the wrong deck and that happens often. So yeah. you had it like over here on setup, but I was like, no 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 no. I'm keeping it away from you. Yeah. But yeah, we can do something like this. Okay, so two. <laughs> oh yes. Your spear is still alive or your banner is still alive. Okay. Woo! That was good. That was best case scenario right he... there. Dodged and dived. Okay, let's actually do it like this. Yeah, no, we can do it like that. You just slide it down. Okay. Me, I'm next. Skeleton is going to attack the um, priest with two. You don't give any buffs, right? Just two? I would let you know. Two minus one. The so one blocked by its armor. Womp womp. Okay. Did you uh, remember to wound this guy when he went? He hasn't gone yet. Oh, okay. But I will. Who was hitting? Oh, the archer was this hitting. Guy, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My bad, my bad. I was not paying attention, obviously. I was distracted <laughs> by the chat, of course. I was blaming on you guys. <laughs> no uh, so I'm going to do Decaying Will, which is a, for myself a one attack at range five with poison. One, two, three. We're going to do it on this guy. We're going to poison him. And then it, add plus one if the target is adjacent to at least one of your summons, which it is. So it's an attack of two. And now, I'm so sorry, I forget, does this go on now or after my attack? Like, I don't know if this is calculated after. after. Okay. So it's an attack of two on and the even priest. Even if you miss, you'll still apply the poison. Okay. So future attacks will be better. Two. I'm going to get one. Going to four. Just need six. And poison. So if we can... Okay. And poison and you did only buffs earth. attack damage. It won't buff like wound or dealing damage or whatever. And I, I created earth element. Okay, so now I can move up to three. And I'll just move two because I can't get it over anybody. I could use the earth, but I don't want to be on this side. And maybe we can use earth for something else next turn. Okay. Done. Priest is going to take a damage from the wound going to five. So close. And then he has range of three. So he wants to back up. And then, oh, his movement is still one. Yep, that was fair. And then he's attacking. It would have been whoever's closer, but like whoever's earliest on initiative, which would be my guy is earlier summon. than me. So my okay. summon, right? So he's attacking for three yep. on your summon. Null number two. No. Ah. Summon is dead. No. You're Jimmy, playing, no. You're playing. <laughs> his name is Bimmy. I mean, that was Billy good because Jimmy. he definitely saved. No. Okay. <gasps> If this guy goes early, he's just going to kill himself, which is awesome. Okay, that's the end of the yeah, turn. Yeah, so we can ignore the priest. Yeah. Because even before he would do any kind of healing, right? Yeah. He'd be dead. Exactly. Unless, yeah, I don't Nothing think anything can heal he him. Unless the archer can heal him. I don't think the archer But I don't think so. And it would just heal. Yeah, no. I don't I think, think they have good. healing arrows. Hopefully not. Okay, so this is going to get shuffled. Again, it's a new These game. I don't good. think we've seen every card, so. Uh, shuffle this up. I'm sure there's many things sprinkled in Frosthaven that will mess with assumptions from Gloomhaven players. Yeah, that's true. I'm expecting that to be a common theme. Okay. I mean, ideally, though, maybe I would want the skeleton to go before the priest and do some damage to him just to get another tick on my thing. But I think we're going to summon again. I think the archer is obviously the priority because that guy could cause trouble. So. Okay, so we're going to do. Oh, sorry, you would also have gotten a loot at the end of your turn. Oh, yeah, end of turn looting. 
Ooh, look at them. So this, I think, means if we're playing two to three players, I gain two hide. Nice. But we'll worry about that later. I'll just hold the card, right? Yep. And I'll hold it here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, at least the loot tokens this time are ginormous and stick out more. Doesn't <laughs> mean I won't forget them. Hook under yeah, they don't base. get stuck under the mini like the old gold uh gold pieces or whatever it did, silver or whatever. That's funny. Uh, all right. Hmm. I don't know. I have all these like uh, formations in hand and none of them seem juicy and I don't have bottom effects that can help me move allies into play and I just lost my little buddy who could have helped me get one of them to work. But... I'm summoning. You're summoning. If that matters for oh, anything. Oh, okay. Okay. That, if... Thank you. That's the information I needed. <laughs> thank you. But it is... I'm going to go to as late as I can. Okay. Thank you. Yep. But then this guy will probably move anyway. No, he's an archer. archer. But my, but my yeah, summon but will my summon won't move this turn. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he'll he still might do some shenanigans. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's too many variables out of my control. Yeah, that's all the information I can give you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Summoning. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, the archer cards are pretty early as well. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Good? Yep. 71. 46? 43. I don't feel good about this. 43. I don't feel good at all. Archer is going 44. Yes, I'm going before it. And 8. Priest first. What's a priest doing? But the priest is going to just wound itself and die. Bye. So. Bye, priest. I need his purse. I need to drop his purse. purse. Uh, Was he here? Nope. Oh, sorry. He was not on the log. Sorry. Was he? I don't. I, I think he was back here. Oh, yeah. He stepped back. He stepped yeah, back. Yeah. You're right. Okay. So he will just put his cards here now. And then me. Okay. Oh, actually, it's fine. Do whatever. No, it's still fine. It's you still can fine. hit this guy or to keep him busy, stop him from hitting me, do whatever you want. Because I'll keep my regen and I'll be happy. But And I, I have a move forward backup just in case I need to carry forward with the scenario. I can't because... What do you got? Well, he's debating. going Explain first, so he, my oh, yeah. so my summon is gonna go like this. One, two, yep, done. And then he's done. No, and you then it blocks your summoning spot. Well, so I had he had to go you. behind me, which is fine. But I can still... you move first? Absolutely, you can. You can just do some nice, big, juicy four movement. Get over here somewhere, maybe, and drop it going forward in the scenario. I could. Yep. I could. What is happening here? Yeah, I guess I could. And you could even drop it probably closer so I that move he would four. focus on that one and not kill your skeleton who's trying to achieve the high score on the arcade machine. One, two, three, four. Mm. Yeah, so I could go... Oh, if I move here, I put him here, he's still... I get to choose in that case, right? If I drop a skeleton here, and they're both one away, or I guess two away, sorry, I can choose which one he hits. So then I will go one, two, three, four, and get some loot. And then I'll drop a skeleton, gaining one XP to two, losing two health to three. Dropping skeleton number if two. Any, if anyone can answer Joe's question in the chat, anyone who's played a lot more than us of Frosthaven, uh, we're only on scenario one, so I don't want to make some assumptions. I have some thoughts, but I feel like I've addressed those already multiple times today and yesterday's streams. 
But if anyone can answer Joe, Joe needs some help. If you guys can answer with whatever you know, it would be appreciated. I know you guys are more experts than we are. Go for the loot spot, says Janet. Oh, you know what? No, I am worried. Sorry. I don't think I choose because this summon... Yeah, they're in the order of yeah. you so summoning them. I need them. to go like this. So that this guy's adjacent. Then he moves back one, fires on this one. I don't want to take out this one who... I mean... Unless I do and I don't worry about the mastery, like, that's not going to happen. I don't even know if there's six enemies to take out in this scenario. I don't know. I yeah, don't remember. No, no, we're going for loot uh, instead. We'll keep I, the I, We played it alive. a few days ago. I feel like there's like four-ish enemies in this room, but there could be like six. And I, then that means I, that I, I, I this remember. one skeleton has to kill them all. No, we're not going yeah, for the yeah. mastery. We're going for the loot. We're going to try to, yeah, let's yeah, not let's worry. The mastery's up. dumb. We yeah, already mastery's you could probably, you'll see cards you upgrade to and you're like, oh, this summons is stronger. I have ways yeah. of keeping them alive easier. And, yeah. Moving them more away from enemies and things. Okay. So then that's the end of my turn. So his turn, he's focusing on this one because that's my number one. And then he's attacking for plus one. So attack of four. Well, I mean, maybe it can miss. But no, it doesn't. Summon dead. Okay. And then you. Regen? Nope. Yeah, I know summon, so I'm regening one to nine. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. And then just to be, we're just going to replace it with number one so that I always have number one. On yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Super. Oh, yeah, and then the loot. Thank you, thank you. That's the end of my turn. I get the loot. End of turn looting. That's you. Next card in the deck and is. Oh, roughly. Some good old ginger. Okay. Ginger root, or as known up here in the frozen wastes, a uh, rock root. No loot left behind. Let's try that. Like this one right here, well, and the and second, the second one, one that will is going to drop, drop on, on there. And look at your imperfect, perfect way to come and around the corner and grab him. Out of five. <laughs> come on now, one plus two, and you got it. <laughs> yeah, right. That's two. That's three. What are you talking about? Oh, but aren't you doing an attack of like what? Three maybe? Plus two. Oh, one plus two card. Yeah, I see yeah. What you're Sorry. Okay. But now your allies are all messed up here. Except for your spear, if you can get here. Which you can't. No, you messed it all up. Huh? Your summons didn't go in the positions they were, you said they would, and they moved, and certain ones died, so it all fell apart. Because I only had a two movement, so I could get against this guy, and you were supposed to have a guy behind me who you were supposed to summon here, which you did. You had even a summon move there, which I was like, oh, this is perfect, and you're going to summon, so your allies are everywhere. But now in the positions, it's all in. Do you want me to rewind which summon no, died? No. Oh, I just yeah. want to have got the loot, then. It's, it's your choice. But, yeah, if we were looking at my cards and we discussed it before your turn... Because here's my options, right? I played it so I assumed I could just do two movement from here, line up this, and whack them. Yeah, because then if I summon like this, he would have died. The other one would still be there with one health on it. Was one damage on it, Or right? one damage on it, excuse me. It's your call. Yeah, I can just do that. The other option is a move four. So then this one. Look at The other option is a move four. But I can't get this little attack going, so it would just be a basic two attack. That's fine, we can do this. But it's only one point of attack difference and an experience difference. So it's like, what would you rather see? I mean, we can get this loot in a minute. Yeah, maybe. Fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fine. We assume. Yeah, so then this skeleton would have been Jason. He then, oh, but then he's going to move like this because he's got range. Yeah, that's the thing. So, so just leave it the way you did oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. This is what this is my theme of playing the banner spear and going late in the turn is too much changes. So pass me that rock. So that was me being silly. I was trying to go later than you so you could get into position, but it's yeah. still, it was too late. It's still late. with the range. So if you yeah. pass me that rock route back. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, here you go. <laughs> Thanks. Many, many problems. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I, I'll, I'll just use my four movement and just do like a regular... To attack, right? Yeah. So one, two, three, probably just go here using this and then just do an attack of two. Right. Yeah. Plus one is three. Three on archer four. Yeah. So he just needs two more damage. He's done. Okay. 
End of turn, nothing. This is done at the end of the round. Okay. Good? Yep. 15. 81. 29. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, Banner Spear. Regen. Back to full health. Nice. I wish you could pass that on when you're full. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he'll remove it in a sec. Don't worry. Uh, okay. So I'm going to attack for two. There's no air to get advantage. Uh, so I'm just doing a melee attack of two. Zero. He dead? Yep. Bam. Okay, this will go up here. All attacks for the rest of the round targeting me will gain disadvantage. Aha! Aha! But how about that? Then this bottom little juicy one. Uh, so this guy's gone. Oh, yeah. He sorry. drops a, a he second drops a loot, loot please. Bag. Second loot. And then I'm going to choose to move not. Not move. Then the next ability on the line of this action, I am going to loot at range one. All See, so loot. good. So good, that card. <laughs> the, my vacuum, <laughs> loot vacuum goes... Shroom. Not the official loot vacuum uh, from Locator, uh, who made it for us, but uh, just just a, a small little one, a hand vac, uh, to get all the loots. Yeah, one you clean your car with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. So, better hide, I got some metal. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, then end of the round, nope, Archer, dead, Archer. Mm -hmm. Get out. And Bone Shaper. Okay. So my Bone Shaper is already adjacent to me, so I don't think I can have it move to me. So I think it just stays there. My skeleton, sorry. Yeah. So that's fine. We're going to summon a Angry Spirit before we go into the room. Um, We're going to put it right here. Actually, no. Let's do something else first. Let's do something else first. Let's move forward. Are you fine if I open the door and step back? Yeah. Okay. I'm all about opening doors One, earlier than two, I should because three. I always think, and I know sometimes I do it out of fault. Kanji can confirm uh, from our digital playthroughs. But I always think it's a it's like we only have so many rounds in a game of Gloomhaven. It's about endurance, right? Because yeah. you run out of cards, you keep resting, you lose cards. If we all run out of cards, we're exhausted, right? Yep. So if you can open a door, the enemy AI will start moving towards you. So then you have to waste less turns and actions trying to move to them. So it can actually shorten the amount of rounds in the scenario and get them to do some of the work for you. That's how I look at it. Sometimes I can turn wrong and you open a door and all the enemies are like, they never move or they rush you and they attack you earlier than you need. And some players aren't ready for it and need to rest and all that. But I'm always about opening doors if it just... Do it and whatever, take a couple hits. That's the way I think. But the reason it's not I'm, always the right assumption, that's for sure. The reason I'm thinking about that is I have two summon possibilities. I'm going to step back. I still have one more. Oh, no, I don't. I only have this summon, which I can then summon behind me. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. I, well, you move there. So we're doing the door, right? Yeah. Right now. Door number one. I got to read some stuff. Uh, this was not. Oh, it's now open. Oh, I put on the wrong You side. had Sorry. it on. Sorry. Oh, I, my God. Mel it was had open it on the, the whole time. Side. Oh, we got to redo the whole scenario. <laughs> uh, so it's now open. Whole scenario, redo. If I couldn't move back one, then I would probably say, like, I'm not doing this yet. But All right. we'll see what happens. So, something up here says, when door one's open, read 5.3, which is probably down here. Section 5.3. You run inside the gate. And... Uh, you run inside the gate and the breath of destruction becomes quickly apparent. The town has been sacked. Smoke burns your eyes. What structures still stand are bright with fire and the rest smolder. They're framed like black, torched skeletons. And all about the wreckage howl. Algox celebrating their victory in an unrecognizable language. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, okay, so here's our tiles we need to set up. Okay. Boom. All right. Let's do it. Again, call us out if you see anything a little wonky. And we assume this is correct, but again, after yesterday's with this app, it this was... This one looks more correct. <laughs> at first glance, based okay. on the tokens um, I have out. Four. 
Uh, oh, we need to put the middle ones in first. Right the here. things go on top of them. Uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Also, is anyone else's frost even tiles all like curved and bent because of the ink and the or however they dried them? All ours are like bent. They don't line up. They're a little, a little annoying. Some of the tiles are like hovering. Also, our our this little board is like curved, so the middle is like a point and it spins a lot. So I have to like put it against the board in the card holder here to keep it straight, <laughs> so it doesn't move when I pull these as much. Yeah. And then enemies. This one is. These two decks are going to get shuffled, or uh, not shuffled, but flip a new card. But the archer was already. How did I have this? Like this, I think. Okay. Okay, can I have the enemies? Yep, getting there, sorry. So we need one. Get all the loot for sure. You can check it. Do, do, do. One of Most these important things. Regular in the bottom. We need one regular bloop number six. Yeah, okay. We need one of these guys elite. Archer number three elite going. Uh, oh, right in there in front of this. Okay, we need one. Oh no, that's a nun. Oh, one of those, one of these guys is regular. Two guards in the back. So you gotta, you gave me a regular shaman, which goes... Which goes the bottom uh, Oh, on right the, here, I see, I see. Yeah, and then these two guards. City guards. Looks like they're giving us one down here to guard this loot. And one up here, not doing jack all, get in the fight, buddy. What are you doing back there? Taking your lunch. Okay. Did okay. we get a big dude here? It looks like we need. Uh, oh, nope. I missed that one. Looks like there's a regular big guard. And another regular big guard. I see one up here too. Right? Oh, yep. Right? Yep. Sorry. Yeah, just look for like the big gray bars. And then that's well, what I, we need. I see by just I guess the way, way I was reading through the page. Yeah. And then ver verify this with the uh, actual um, scenario book just quickly. Make sure that it's not messing us up here, like the wrong player count stuff. I did see on BGG, people were pointing out that some of the character count stuff was incorrect. Okay. This in is some scenarios, but. Five points. Hopefully they update this app and make it really solid. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's right. That's right. No one up there. Elite guy here. One guy there. One guy there. Two. Yep. Looks right. So we have five enemies and two city guards in this room, is what I see for two uh, players. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. Is there anything else in this section? I don't see anything else. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. There's our room. Okay. And then I'm still moving back one. I know that the archer... Oh, as range oh, yeah, five order. and a What was the order of their cards? I don't know yet. Only twenty. I only know this one because I haven't. I guess we can flip them now. Yep. Uh, Eighty-nine for the priest, and fifty for the guard. Two, three, one, two. And the three, archer three, was twenty-nine, three. so he'll go before that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the order they'll go after you. Scary. Oh, and when I go here, what are they doing though? Uh, nothing special. <laughs> so just three attack, three move. I love the title of this card. They're just doing nothing special. Move and attack, nothing special. Yeah, boring. How many times we probably say that when we play Gloomhaven on stream? Uh, what are they doing? Nothing special. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. then we have uh, this guy doing the shoot foot thing, so we mobilize. And then here's a divine energy for the priest. The healing, yeah, healing self, like whatever. We're not even hitting him yet. Healing allies, we're not hitting him. But he'll still move towards somebody at like one movement point towards like a melee thing closer to the door, which is fine. Um, and these guys just move for three. Yeah, but he'll be on the one, door. One, two, three. And then the guard. One, uh, which one goes first? This one. One, two, three. Yeah. So he'll be right behind him. But they'll hit the one. guard because the guard is fifty and I'm eighty-one. Oh, and then a little retaliate action. Yeah. I like what I hear. Okay. 
had this set up differently. Like, what did I do here? Yeah, I keep the cards closer to them so we know who it is. Yeah. And then I flip those around. Yeah. So it's like always kind of above. Yeah. Okay. You're like bringing it towards you. Okay. So then I had one move, I move back. That's my four movement. Then I'm going to summon my angry spirit. And I'm going to summon that one behind me. She has range of three. Uh, this is going to create darkness. That's this me. one is going to give me two experience. And when she dies, she no is cards coming soon. off the board. I mean, I only have four, but. <laughs> what did we even need? Uh, oh, I had nine for 45, the last one. 45 to get to level two to if see a card. If we get like 10 or, or more each. I can't wait. I need, a, I need a new card already. I need one. I need to get that, that, that first hit it's free kind of thing and get hooked. It's one little level up. That's all I need. Oh, little, can't see the little archer. Little thank you, thank you. Sorry, 29. Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't Mel, remember. Mel's a mess over there. No, I. You know why? I moved them, and I had We had them in, good, it. in a good set. There we go. I apologize. <laughs> when I moved them off, I don't remember I how we had it. Yeah, just keep them tight to their little board. That's okay. all. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Keep it. Thanks, bro. Guys, is away from this guy, and yeah, yeah. Okay. And this one, I did not draw a new card for because we did have an archer on the board at the beginning of the round. These two, I did. I drew new cards. Okay. No problem, Ra. No problem. Okay. No problem. That's the end of my turn. So the archer is now going to go, which I think the archer is in straight line to me. Uh, range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah, but he can see both. Oh, then he will yeah, you're hit. You're both the same distance. Okay, then he'll hit and the guard. His line of sight or whatever is needed. I, I don't know. Okay, so hit the guard because the guard is 50. Does he need to move? No, right? No. Range five. Okay, so his attack is minus one, so his attack is two on the guard. It's going to mobilize the guard, too. But the guard doesn't move, so we're not even going to bother. Attack of two, minus one, is one, blocked by shield. Two shields, yes. Beautiful. Okay. Cling. Then we have the guard up here. It's going to move number one first for three movement. Guard up here. Yep. Uh, one, two, three. Yep. And then... Guard. Nada. Oh, guard number four. One... Two, three. Oh, look at this lineup. That's yeah, happening. but I don't, I don't have a hit three guys in a line thing. Oh, and then this one is just going to move into this position. One, two, three. And he hits guard, flip card, monster. Yeah, for three. Minus, Minus two. two is one, block by block shield. Block over tally, tally two. two. So two damage on guard number six. Okay, look at that. Oh, hold on. Technically, attack two, elite archer has base attack four. Oh, doesn't... sorry. He does. No, he doesn't. Yeah, it's elite. It's elite. Oh, it's elite. It's now. elite. I forgot. We, we're playing with elite. I forgot. Yellow base means better character. Okay. That's, that's then it was minus one, so it was Gloom three. Basics one hundred one. Okay, it doesn't count in this. It doesn't matter in this. It was yeah, four yeah. That, minus yeah, one minus the, one yeah, and yeah, two. Okay. Technically, yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize it was. Elite. is on it, man. You guys yeah. are like, oh, I love it. I love it on it. Yeah, I didn't even realize he was elite. Yeah, even we're sloppy. I we're super base. sloppy here. <laughs> oh, okay, that is. Oh, and then the priest. The priest is right here. He has uh, move minus one, heal one, all allies within range one, and then bless self. So his movement is one. He's trying to move to get into... None of them will take him closer to his target. Like, so he's trying to move like he's going to do a melee attack. Uh, so he wants to get into the... Like, but there's but no can't. position to do it there. But there is positions back here. So No, but he's still moving toward... Like, he's, I don't think he's moving at all. I don't, oh, yeah, I don't, those I guys. I see those guys back there. First, we deal with one ability at a time. Not, not, you don't take into account the next abilities. No, you I have get it. No attack ability. I've, those guys are our are, yeah. are allies. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Closer via range, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven. So, he's going for this one. Sorry, it's this guy. He's just moving up. Oh, one. this guy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm counting from the wrong guy. That's okay. He's just moving up one. Yeah, either way he's going that way, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then he is going to heal plus one all allies within range one, but there is only this guy's damage. And then he's gonna they're gonna bless himself. Bless you. Yeah. I had the right idea. I was just totally counting from the wrong. No, no, guy. no. That's I don't it. know who we were even resolving. I was that's not paying all attention. Good, all good. Oh, was this guy closer to uh, this guy, right? Uh, he started. Yeah, where did he start? Uh, oh, he started here. There. One, two, three, four, right? Oh, yeah, we're range five. 
Oh no. You're Wait. way further. Yeah, yeah. I moved I forgot about this guy. Yeah. One, two, three. Nice catch. Oops. Yeah, having allies first in the game too. Yeah, that's rare. I, I said that when we were playing it off stream. Again, I'm like, this is technically like the first ish scenario. Like, yeah, they gave us a tutorial. But again, like they didn't learn anything from all the complaints about the first frost our first Gloomhaven scenario being annoying and people having trouble with it, and new players getting their head around it and being tough. But like to add in allies and not even like normal scenario allies is like these guys also have special rules like mm -hmm. ignore this and they don't do that and you know you have to know like a lot of the rules to get straight and like it's good to kind of build the foundation so you could argue the other side that like giving allies right now kind of like teaches the player to kind of look it up and start thinking about it and learning them but yeah I, it's weird to me that these are in the first scenario yeah but, like even forget that they're there yeah i like how they're there to help us i understand they're making it easier for a new player because they're there to like retaliate do some damage for you but yeah just that there's like man i i forget for targeting and stuff but it's cool it's cool <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Sam knows. Uh, Sam says, I know when I'm playing, I make a billion mistakes, but when I'm watching, I'm not thinking about my choices. It's a lot easier. And you have the bird's yeah, eye view. the bird's eye view for sure. I, I, I'm like zoomed in, right? I'm right here. I have this in my view. This is way off in my peripheral, right? All what Mel's doing, I, I, you know, I don't pay attention to Mel. Um, I'm just joking. Most of the time. But yeah, when you are a bird's eye looking from the camera view and you see everything equally, it's like kind of easier sometimes to puzzle it than when you're sitting up close, hunched in, you know, buried in your cards and stuff and the table definitely helps. The other thing, too, is oh, when we're playing, we're also thinking like I'm already thinking, like, what yeah. am I doing next turn and how am I going to position and all that stuff? When you're watching, you're just kind of overall, like Rob saying, like yeah, the bird's yeah. eye view, you, ha you don't you have the bandwidth to remember. And I have default like husband ears, which uh, don't hear everything my wife says. I actually lost that frequency of hearing. And she has the same wife ears. Yeah. And she, uh, wife hearing, and she, do, my voice, uh, some frequencies and words I say don't hit her eardrums correctly and they don't register. Sorry, what? Just kidding. What? What are we doing? <laughs> What'd you say? Wait, when did you get here? <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that happens also, which you guys probably don't have, and you're hearing us and you're catching every one of our words. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Except for Brian W. and Bob, who completely ignore everything I say. Uh, they're, they're the exception. Mm. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Yeah. And that was the pre... So we're done. I need to get out. Priest movement. Priest should have moved southeast for move versus... Don't they want to avoid the obstacles if they can? You only have one movement point. Yeah, so they're saying you should have went down here instead. Oh. But that's not but a, that's not a path to get to that point. What this is what is this obstacle or difficult? Uh, that one is I don't remember. I think it's an obstacle. Five points. He's not flying or anything. Uh... Oh, it's difficult. Oh, it is. It's difficult. Sorry, I thought it was obstacle oh, as well. This is the obstacle. That's the obstacle. Okay, so then yeah, he can go. But okay. So this is the space he was targeting. Yeah. Oh wow. I see. So he's going to just move down one. Yep. Like this? Yeah, because he started here. Wow. I thought it was... Um, That's crazy. I thought it was an, uh, an obstacle. Okay. Which, I wish they gave, like, I know. something we could put underneath them. Especially if they're using, like, the same tokens for different things. Yep. That's the thing nowadays. People just get a hold of a 3D printer or go to their library and just print whatever tokens they need to correct these kind of things. Yeah. I like thematically how it looks, but yeah, it's like it gets confusing when they use the same tiles for different purposes, even in the same, uh, like, th basically like the same kind of tile in the same environment in like the next scenario. Like, we're still just traveling through the mountains, and now it's like, let's use this tile instead for a different thing. It's, it's different. It's just all to fit enough stuff in the box and to spice up like the scenarios to look a little different, but I don't like that they mechanically switch what tiles do. But yeah, that's me. Plants value greater than art. I agree. Yeah, the exactly. Art, art over time wears out, and then it's like, you just need the function. Again, digital. <laughs> digital for the win. Um, but yeah. All right, back around to us. You know, we need like little tokens that we can like put on that just yeah, like, like little, little green exclamation marks or something. Or whatever. Or like the little poker are. chips that we can put underneath that are green and yeah, purple. Poker chips are too big for these tiles anyway. Yeah. It's okay. 
Yeah, maybe I can make something. Uh, I probably have something. Okay. If I go, I'm just trying to think of my situation here. If I go late, the guard will hit. I mean, oh, those could work. Or something, yeah. Something. Yeah, from Hexplore it. The little, uh, little glass gems, maybe. I mean, if we just put it on the ones that are... Um, so the green are obstacle, right? Yeah, which and, are... Yeah, so we just need to care about obstacles. If we just define one of them... We know the other one is yeah. difficult. And then the one in the top... Yeah, yeah. Visual aids. Helps with falling out on YouTube, too. Although when somebody gets to fly and land on them, those get in the way and then that's... Then fine. there's one more behind these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. We don't need to do that every time, but maybe just to get used to this this game. Yeah. It's just, yes, I will it's just once we get into a flying player and they go to land on. Uh, but anyways, Priest okay. is done. Priest is done. So end of turn. End of turn. This gets shuffled. Uh, I think those are good. And then picking our cards. Now I'm kind of thinking through my turn. If I go late, I'm in a bad position, but if I go late, then the guard would be before me for targeting. Should I short rest or long rests? I could get my shield back for a long rest. I don't need to heal. It would let me pick the card I lose. But I also just chill on a turn. And should I be just kind of like being aggressive? I feel like a long rest play might be all. Hmm. I should have used my boots already. Short rest, Temujin? Yeah. I was thinking so, because all I'm getting back is a shield and picking the card. But then I say that, and then I discard the worst card ever. And if I choose to take a damage to um, pick a different card, then I lose this, which is not the worst thing. I would lose it anyway when I get hit, so. Yeah, I'm going to go as late as I can. But why am I going? What am I trying to do? One, two, three, four. I can't even get into a good position to do anything based on what is happening here. I'm going to move back, but it's going to be late. Yeah. The guard will take the attack from anybody that can hit us. I'm blocking my summon. But if you're, oh, you're moving late. Yeah. And I'm just going to move but back. But he'll to still here. hit the city guard if he's 50 and he's higher yeah, than you. Yeah, he will. He will. So you can long rest if you want because you're not going to take any attacks or anything. Yeah, and like, what am I doing? Like, I don't want to get in the turn. way and clog it up. I kind of want to wait till there's some positional uh, openings. I could just, just short rest and like summon my dude. But again, we're in this clogged hallway here. And I'm thinking I want to summon the banner at some point. But I don't want to summon it in here and we get stuck in here. But maybe that's a good play. Like funnel them? Yeah, but this guy's not going to move to us. He's going to sit up here beating this guy and never get in the fight. So we need to probably go get him unless... This guy can win. This guy, if he's playing this dance up in this area, we'll need to get him because he's range attack guy. And the archer. Obviously, the archer's going to be super annoying, and we need to, like, get in and get him eventually. Yeah. Um, so we can't just huddle down here. But yes, I can move my banner, though. Um, but I'm just trying to think a little more long term. Oh, plus we have all these loot tokens in here. We gotta yeah, get which, a few of yeah them. we'll get a few of them. And so. hopefully the guards will whittle down the guys in that far room. So, like, just because I kind of don't know what to do right now, maybe a long rest to just chill, let some things shuffle around, and then I can pick the card I get rid of. Yeah, I'm long resting next turn, so uh, I'm going to move back and then long rest, and then you can move. I also get my shield back, which could be the one point difference to keep me in the game one turn longer. Who knows? Who knows? And no, the, nobody took damage ally-wise for me to heal yet. Oh, that... I need heal. I'm at three. Oh. But no, I don't need it right this minute. Yeah, no, but I like I, I want to wait till like a city guard needs it, and some of your allies maybe need it, and then I can slap it down and heal all allies. Hmm. Darkness. What are you guys saying? Yeah. If Mel, oh, if Mel's going late, then long rest is probably the play. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, because I won't be able to go after her. That's the problem. So she won't be out of my way. So then I'm stuck. I remember trying that. I kept playing my late cards with you off stream, and every single time I play like a 60-something or a 70-something, you're like 80-something, 90-something. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to long rest. Long rest. Long rest, okay. 
So I'm going at 83. Oh, Janice says I bought some translucent colored bingo disc. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, the little, yeah. little chips. And they're small. Yes. Yeah, Do those are good. Uh, we I feel like don't I should. own bingo. Can we? No, but I might have for a previous game. I know I've bought many little weird things for helping visual aids in, in games. I don't remember. Like I have bag just here and I have like a full bag of stuff. I have like components saved from other games just for marking things and like just in case we need to like make something obvious that's not in the game happens happens every now and then. Yeah. But I want to buy those. Yeah, we'll I bet get those, those are a dollar store thing, right? Oh yeah, we probably get them from dollar store. Yeah, because that would be even better because you can put them flat and then uh, we can actually put things on top of it. Mm -hmm. I am in. Janet. Janet. For the win. Janet wins the chat today. Called it. Janet wins the chat. I'm sorry, everyone else. Well, the dollar store after the game. I'm sorry, all those with the amazing strategy that might help us win the scenario. <laughs> Janet just won the chat. I today. wish we had some sort of a like trophy? comment, like some something. Uh, I don't know. I need to make a chat winner emoji yeah. trophy. Yeah. Uh, where do I write this down? Um, I always forget these things. You have a little right there on your little paper. Do you have a pen? Mm, no. You keep playing, and I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna flip all the I'll flip all these cards. <laughs> Fourteen. You see, yeah, you can. Okay. Fifteen. Holy and 62. Okay. So we got 14 first, which is Archer. Then guard. Then 62. Yep. Then this guy. Then me. Then Rob. All right. Okay. Noted. Okay. Noted. Nice. We Noted. Can... Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, there's probably just a trophy emoji I see Temujin using. So yeah, but well, we need to make it specific, like chat winner or something. But if you can at Janet Williams and throw a trophy in the chat right now, that would be yeah, uh, yeah. You guys can uh, hand her trophies and uh, for that awesome yeah. re recommendation. But I want it so that chat can then uh, also give out trophies. To oh other yes, people. give chat trophies. That, yeah, that would be awesome. Somehow, somehow to do that, and yeah, it'd be fun. Or oh. member members can assign trophies to people in the chat. Yeah, that is how it should be. Yeah, yeah, that would be fun. Okay, so the archer's gonna go first. The archer <laughs> is moving with minus one movement, so only can move of one. They're within range of five. So this is the only archer within range of five. Was already one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So he is doing an attack of minus one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone can just give them out. It'll crash the trophy, <laughs> crash the chat trophy market. Yeah, exactly. I love that there's different trophies. What is this other trophy? I like that one better with a face on it. What is this? Where are you guys pulling these from? I didn't is that know. Is that the this. YouTube ones? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, there is one. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay. <sighs> So elite archer attacking guard minus one attack. So it's attacking for three. Four minus one is three. Flipping a card three plus two. Oh wow! So five has two shields. So three damage is coming through on guard number six. Wow! And then it's going to create one three damage trap on an adjacent empty hex closest to the enemy. I don't have any traps. Right there. Do I? Right there. Oh, those little pits. Yeah, we can just use those. Okay. Okay. So if we can pull Done. this guy into that trap, we're winning. Guard. Or push this guy into that trap, we're winning. Okay. The guard is going to not moving. They're attacking with poison at normal attack. So, so three, three damage. And Ooh. then they're shielding up for one. Ooh, okay. Venom shiv. Three damage. I don't like the guards in this game. Guard one can't move, can't attack. Guard four can't move, can't attack. And guard six, or sorry, yeah, guard six is going to attack this guard for three times two is oh, six. That's a blast, right? Yeah. Out of the deck. So four are going to get through. That's going to kill it. So he doesn't even get to retaliate. No. Oh, man. Oh, man. So this guard, we've lost the guard. <laughs> Oh wow. no. Wow. Yeah, he doesn't get to so retaliate. I should have short rested and tried to heal or something. I think it's not That's crazy, the right? worst. I think it's not the worst because they've gone now. The priest, I think, is already going that way. I think we're good. I was just worried that. But it does open up a space, which is trouble. Okay. So mm. the priest is going to go. The priest has range of three. One, two, three. Already within range of three of its target. Mm hmm. 
Attacking for plus zero, so just two. Times two. Oh, so four. Four so damage. Two are going to get through. Yeah, two on number one. Two on number one. Ease that with the super chat. Congrats, Janet. Thank you Thank so you. much for the support. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and Vindrail says, can't wait for the German version. What's the ETA on that for the language versions for this game? I'm assuming they've announced all that stuff. I know I haven't been paying attention, obviously, but uh, interesting. Alrighty, Priest is done. My turn, I think. Yep, my turn. Okay. Bone Shaper. So, Skeleton actually can only move. This is from room one. I gotta remember, what is that? Can same. It'll be the same. It's the same for the whole scenario. Okay. But I can't I feel like it. Or does it just do this? No, it can't go there. It's obstacle. Oh, obstacle, not difficult. Okay, so it just moves there. Can't move its two. Yeah. Then my summon will attack here. Annoying because he just got a shield, but we'll see. So, thanks. So summon is attacking for one on guard number six. Plus one is two. Okay, so one gets through. Um, Three. Okay. So if they said language versions end of 2023 in... Uh, Cephalofair timing and their special calendar, uh, that sounds like it'll be mid-2025 then, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hopefully that's right. Hopefully that's right. Yeah, that, yeah, Dominic knows, yeah, yeah. Push, push it back just a little bit from the estima estimations. Okay, so summons are done. We got one damage estimates. through on there. We're gonna do a command. And we're gonna grant one of our summons, plus zero move, plus zero attack. I'm gonna actually choose this one, one, two. I wanna get a, a skeleton in there just to... Yeah, remember he's got block up. Yes, but, but it block I'm up. gonna consume that darkness I put up last time to give pierce two. Oh, spicy. Okay, so attack of two, minus one, one. But it doesn't get through six. on number six, we're at four. We're getting we're there. Three more to kill we're one. Getting there. So that was top of this one. Bottom, I'm going to actually just use the basic two move to get to here so that I can long rest next time. Okay, and then your long rest. So this would heal one, ready this up. No more heals. I'm just gonna shuffle this while we do that. Uh, which card should I toss? That's the question. I should've been thinking about this. But I do wanna see all information, so. Definitely not going to be a move card, that's for sure. Not tossing that, not tossing that. Uh, with the position these guys are in, I could definitely get some ally help doing something sneaky in here. Yeah, or the. I want my banner. I want my banner still. I have a feeling I can maybe plop that down to get some help here. I probably should have did that already, but I don't know if we'll need it for sure. But maybe I should have used it already. Because where could I even... Put, I can't even summon it here if I get in here. And if I summon it here... Oh, I get the plus one. This one gets plus one. Hmm. If you summon it where? Like here. It's range of the Two. person or of the... The banner. Oh, yeah, it, so my... my yeah, this yeah, guy, this guy, it. and whatever. But are we in that kind of desperate situation? Maybe. I don't know. If we keep funneling them this way, the problem is those guys in the back. I know. If they just take out those guards. Yeah, and this archer who keeps hitting us without us being near it. Yeah. Oh my! Now that we don't have the guard there with the with the. Yeah, shield. that sucks. This range three pull and the javelin attacks, I think, might be important for this guy. Because uh, again, I can pull onto that trap, maybe. Oh yeah. Maybe could be uh, uh, something to go for. So that's a uh, potential. Uh, with the ranged enemy uh, elite range guy, this bottom kind of sounds important, but this also goes with the wind and the early. I kind of want to keep this one. The loot in the room, there is a position if I could ever get to it that I could loot a whole bunch, but even with enemies dying, I might be able to get to positions where this loot could matter. I just know about pincer movement. The healing allies and my little buddy probably are still relevant. Yeah, I'm at three, but I'm going to long rest. So I'm going to go to five. Mm. And then I'll summon again because I'm likely to lose a skeleton. Yeah. This turn. I don't know. This one.
No, Jane, if you don't have a space adjacent to you, like an open hex, you can't summon. Uh, I feel like cutting one of these two. Maybe the pincer movement, if our plan is to keep them funneling through until... Yeah, you know, but the only space. thing is later, like, I could loot a whole bunch of loot that dropped yeah. from all the enemies, and we come out with tons of resources. Yeah. But then do you need this movement, maybe? Or does this heal still need to be a thing? Maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But I am keeping my other heal. That's the plus three. I don't know. This is tough. I still plan I to summon more. I could also cut this. So I, I could know. cut this. Because it's like the plus one on the bottom, though. If I am beside an enemy, giving myself plus one on the next attack I do on the top could be huge. Even if it's just making a basic into a three. Yeah. Or an ally. Yeah, Dominic says I keep the loot. I think the same. Well, then maybe ditch the heal. Yeah, I'll ditch regroup, I think. Okay. Good. Dunzo. I'm long resting. You're long resting next turn. Okay. And then I'm going to need to get into here, I think. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four. I want to save my boots, maybe. Or one, two, three. I need five to get here, but this character does not have that kind of movement. Not yet. So I probably just want to do a classical move four in there. But two. That would be playing one of these cards. Like if you want to go early, oh, I'm not supposed to know what you're This doing. one is flying. It could get behind me. It could. Then this could have been a thing. But I have to have movement, which I have to get from my cards. Like I don't or have I any cards. That, or if you can grant it movement, yeah. But yeah. Hmm. I don't see that happening though. So I think I just probably try to line up a little. Where's that wound one? Something like this, maybe. Where I can be in here. And then I got an ally beside me. And then I go with uh, early so I can get in there before things change, maybe. And I just go with this. Nope, that's not early. This one's early. Yeah, because you don't want the other guard to be able to jump over the other one and get in that space. But then I'm also in trouble being in that position maybe for range attacks. If I go too early and I'm before... Oh, but I will be before no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, this is tricky. I think I'll just go with that. Six. Six? Okay, Archer is going at 31. Guard, 55. Priest, 23. So 23, 31. All right, banner spear, uh, regen don't need, uh, move up four, one, two, three, four. And then we go for this little shenanigan, which I'm getting an XP for. And I'm going for a three attack on this guy. Only needs three. Yep. Plus yeah. zero. It's dead, so dead. no wound. It's just gone. And... Drop the loot. I did. Okay, priest. Sorry, priest is this one? Yep. So um movement is two. So it will step on this um and then difficult. it's going to heal at range three. Nobody even needs to heal. Okay. Done. All good. Uh next is Archer. Yeah. Archer can move of two and it's going to attack at range four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so okay. it's us up here. And it can move definitely for Definitely me. Move for two. Uh, definitely wants to avoid this, though. Okay. And one, two, three, four. That's right. Yep. And then it's attacking for four. Okay. The archer. I mean, the On elite. Me. Yep. 
Minus one is three. So I lose this regen. Uh, I'll defend. So I take two. Okay. Guard. Uh, who got guard number one first. Move is minus, minus one. So I can move for two. It is doing melee. So it's going to take that spot there. It's going to attack for three. And then it's going to strengthen itself. Minus two. So, so it's just one. one. Okay, I'm down to seven. The number one. And then the guard in the back. Again, he's moving for two, Ken. Attacking for three. For two, gets blocked by this guy, but retaliate, retaliate hits guard number four for two damage. And he okay, strengthens. And he strengthens. Okay. And then. Bone Shaper. Bone Shaper. Long rest. Uh, okay, so summon is going to attack here for two. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes. I have the archer step on. The, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. So three on this guy. He doesn't have any defense. Okay. Flying summons next is going to also attack on here for one. No defense. This goes to four. Okay, not the worst. Then I'm going to long rest. So this will ready. I'll gain two health going to five. And then I just need one quick second, I think. At this point. I think I might get rid of a skeleton at this point. I don't think I'm going to summon both. Plus the ones I already have on the board. So let's get rid of this one. Okay. Nope. All right. This is going to get shuffled at the end of the round, and that one up there is going to get shuffled. I still haven't drawn my, no. Alrighty, our turn. I don't think I'm going to summon. I think I just want to give my summons extra stuff. Uh, 15. 83. Or 10, sorry, 10, 10, 10. 10? Yep, okay. Yep. Archer. Play that card. 16. Guard. 50. Priest. 9. What were you? Uh, 83. Oh. This is always pretty. So 10. <laughs> priest is. Oh, uh, 9 is priest. Oh, priest is first. Okay. Archer. Archer 16, 16. Then 50. Then 83. Yep. Okay. Oops. Okay, so the priest is moving plus one, so can move of three, attack. Oh, his attack is range of three, and it wants to target two. But I don't think with three range it can even target those two guards, can it, with movement of three? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, no. Okay, so I guess it'll stay where it is. It's going to attack for minus one, so its attack is now only one. Plus one is two. Blocked by its shield, and then it doesn't have a deck to curse. Good. You. Okay. Uh, I am going to just use this one as a two movement. Uh, I'm going to use my winged shoes to step on this guy. Go over top of him, land here, so I have some jump. And then it's just a two move. And then uh, the top part of this, now I'm in position with an ally on the other side, right? For some pincer, pincer action. 
and which I'll try to do a five attack with Muddle, but with these big attacks, we all know the next card I'm gonna draw. Uh, calling don't say it, it now. Don't say it. Calling it now. Uh, I'm gonna take an XP though, just so I don't forget. Uh, here we go. Five attack with some muddle, maybe. Oh, that's enough. He dead. He's dead. Bing. Drop a second loot, please. That's good. I'm glad I did what I did then. Hey, no one to muddle. That was gonna happen. Uh, yep. Okay. Done. I think. Yep. Done. Archer. So this guy. Has a range of four, so he doesn't need to move. He's already within range four of you. His attack is minus one. Yep. So his attack is only three. Four minus one is three. Minus one is two. Two. Down to five. Okay. Guard. That guard back there is the only guard that's left. He doesn't need to move, and he's going to attack for three with advantage. He's going to take plus one, so he's attacking for four. So two are going to get through on guard number two. And then he's going to retaliate back, doing two more on this guy to four. four yeah. and then did you remember the strength in? I did. Okay. Okay. Me. Skeleton summon. One, two. Can attack. Uh, she can only move for one. One, two, three. Still not in range. Okay. I'm going to the archer. Okay, I'm going to gr uh mm -hmm. no, I need to do this first. <laughs> I'm gonna move two, one, two, and then I'm gonna grant one of your summons, move two. Put him there. And then I'm going to grant one of your summons. Uh did I even need to do that then? Doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It does matter. It does matter. Okay, sorry. Rewind. Let's do this first. Grant one of your summons. Move zero. Move plus zero. Attack plus zero. So he can just move to here. He's attacking for three. Two, two, two. Okay, he doesn't have any defense. That's on the archer. Yep. Two out of eight. Two out of eight. Oh, man. On archer number three. Yeah. Okay. Six more damage. Kill this then, elite archer. Then I can move for two. One, two. And then I can grant one of your summons a move two. One, two. Okay. Because I want her to get closer. She only moves for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm done. Okay. Okay. End of round. Shuffling of any decks. No, I don't see. Okay, what this one had, but you, I think you already shuffled. I already shuffled it. Yeah, it was when you were picking your card from your long, yeah, okay. long rest. Okay, so I think. Hmm. I'm gonna start trying to use some of my lost cards for their XP as well. I think. I'm gonna do that on the archer. I think we have this semi under control, right? No, that's too lost. Uh, you're going like early ish, yeah. mid ish, late ish. What are you doing? Early ish. Yeah. Mm, all right. Yeah, do these two. Good? Yeah, 60. 26. Nobody is fully gone. Okay. Archer, 64. Guard, 50. Priest, 8. And I'm going 26. So it would be guard, or sorry, priest, me. You're going 60. Guard, you, archer. Okay. The priest is first. Where is the priest there? Oh, sorry. Okay. Priest is range, so it doesn't need to move. Its attack is minus one, so its attack is only one. Plus, Plus one, one. Two gets fully blocked. blocked, but it's going to disarm the guard, which doesn't matter doesn't because matter. they don't attack. We're not make we could make an attack with some of your but you only summons. I don't think I have a way to grant attacks. I don't think I do. Not my Yeah, yeah. But it's okay. We'll okay. Just, whatever. So then my turn. 
Skeleton Summon is going to attack for two. Minus two, so nothing. Ooh, that uh, hurts. Spirit is going to attack for one. One. Close to three. Okay. Mm, I have to do this first. This is probably not even going to work, but we're going to try. I'm going to do... Uh, Oh, this is me. Oh, wrong, wrong card, wrong card. Yeah, you need to be beside somebody. Oh, man, not me. You can sense. change it if you want. No, it's fine, because it put my... It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Well, if your other card's a 30, that doesn't really change your initiative, which order you're in. I thought that let my um, summon attack. Yeah, no. That's the one where you need to actually be in the position. It's tough for you, because you're always, like, behind. But the bottom still moved done three, so it's juicy. Okay, so then I'll do this one because I was just trying to do it for yeah, the. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So we'll just. It's like it's scenario one, man. We're all good. Okay, Learn. So we're we're learning. That. Okay, so then I'm going to grant three of my summons, attack plus zero, cursing, and I'm not spending the darkness. Okay, so I'm gonna use my uh, spirit first to do attack of one. Plus one is two. Spicy. That goes to five, yeah. and it's going to curse this one. Then my skeleton is going to attack for two. Times two is four, which is enough to kill it. No! You didn't want that? Go ahead. I'm so sorry. I didn't I know. know you didn't like, want that. I cannot get things to line up. It's very frustrating. Oh, are you trying to do something for Obviously. Oh, Obviously, no, some God, unknown so information. What would that be? Hmm. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, so that gives me one XP to five and lose a card. Oh, and then this. I don't want to do this, actually. So I'm going to move to here to collect these at the end of my turn. Loot for you. Two of them. Two coins and a loot for you. Uh, two lumber. Okay. A little bit of everything we're getting. Yeah, man. Okay. Done. Okay. Bone I'll shaper done. Guards. Guards Top are doing guards. nothing special, so just a pack of three. So zero. One gets through on guard number two. And then he hits back and does two damage to six. He's one shy. Okay. <laughs> no. I didn't know. I Damn. didn't know that's what you were trying to do. You should have like said like maybe shouldn't. don't do that. Yeah, maybe don't kill this thing yet. I was just trying Let to get the, I'm just it. trying to get XP so I can level I'm not, up. I'm okay, too man. Quick. Not getting one check off a of battle goal is not the end of the world for me. It, I do love it as part of the game of getting my this deck fixed, but uh it's fine. Oh, if we're getting loot and killing yeah, enemies and mine. all that's great. Okay. Uh, uh you banner spear. So this is kind of weird. Uh, I think I'm going to do the... Uh, I still have that card. Yeah, can't, I can't get in range to throw a javelin in anyone's head. Not that I was planning on that. I was planning on just doing the heal three allies. And it's anyone in line of sight, I think, right? So it's like all these guys way over here too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, target all allies. Uh, oh, I, I don't want any. I know, but <laughs> like... I want it's to fine. keep these guys I can, alive. I can... And... I can... It's fine. I mean, I don't have to if you don't no. want me to do it. It's fine. But I do, would get an XP for Oh, where it. are you doing it from? You're moving first, right? No, I don't have oh. to. Oh. But Who it are you heals trying to everybody heal? everywhere. Oh. Because I can see all of you no matter where I go. Oh, I thought there was a range on it. Oh, I can choose to skip? No oh, way. Oh, then choose to skip me. Yes. I did not know that was a thing. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, choose to skip me. I don't need any health. Thank you. All right. So I'll heal these two guys healed, right? Yep. So then, yeah, because then you only take and two. And you don't have these guys didn't get damaged. That's why I tried no. to go later in the turn, too, because I thought maybe they'd get some damage on them and stuff. And I was trying to go late. So oh, yeah, this I archer's could... gone. So I'm just going to remove the card. So I'll gain so an that... XP, though. So I'm yeah. at five. And on the bottom here, uh, I can move one. Do a little pull onto a trap, but that didn't matter at all. Sorry. So <laughs> I just didn't want the archer to keep going while I had the summons there. I think uh, this guy's going to be handled. I think so. But for loot purposes... I think we still need to go after this guy, so I, I definitely... Yeah, my summon can get the two loot that are right beside me. I'm just going to move up this way. Okay. I Maybe I'll just do two basic moves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because then you're closer. Yeah, I'll just do a two basic move like that. 
Okay. Done. End of the round. Mine can, is going to get shuffled. Cohen, hello. It has been some time. Cohen, how you oh, doing? Oh, you lose two health, yes, because you lose oh, health yeah. for everybody you heal. Yes, that's 100%. That's why I was thinking of not doing the heal, because I was like, I'm going so low. Uh, so I have three health left. Jeez. I'm hurting myself here. Okay. Take and remember, cards. we can try to troll this scenario. If this guy does die up here, we could just leave this guy alone and just loot and waste time, because we have, like, I've only lost one card. So we literally I've could, lost two, but I'm doing that on purpose. We play with our food, but you got to be careful that these guys don't accidentally kill him. It's going to take a while. This one is, yes, it's range three, but... you but can choose at any time to go get out of here. I can, except, uh, yeah. Yes, you can. I can. Um, okay. But don't worry about those ones. My skeleton can get those. Yep, yep. I'm down. And then maybe you go for those ones, I go for these, and then yep. I'll try to finish this guy off. But, yeah. I mean, your guys will still take a while to get over to this guy anyway, Definitely. so... Definitely. I can't remember... this guy's my... never going to be hitting this guy back. But we can't let this guy kill this guy is what I don't want to do. I think is probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. But I've just healed him up, so it'll be a while. And the priest needs to... Oh, some... I see what you're saying. Sorry, sorry. The, the message for getting held on here, but I can see them on here. The tally, the uh, the lumber for my... um Something. I think my quest, right? Yeah. Loot eight, eight total, total lumber. lumber cards. So, I've so you just got one. two. No, it's two. But it's cards. Does it say that? Yeah. Damn it. I think it has cards with S. Oh, I think lumber with, cards. Yeah. Okay, it says so, cards. Damn it. Thank you. Thank you. I saw, <laughs> I don't know why it's not, I wasn't trying, but I was getting held here. Yeah, so. Oh, weird. Okay, oh, so I'm just going to do. Uh, no, have it on live, not on the top chat. I don't know. YouTube's weird. Okay, I've noted that down here that I have one lumber. I totally forgot about that. Thank you. That was a good pull then. I'm ready whenever you are, but take your time. Yeah, just a two move gets me here. And it doesn't matter. I think I some... Oh, they're okay movement, I guess. Yeah, if you can just get some XP too by like doing that's weird what things. I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. I can also set up cards that will give me. Oh no, that probably won't give me XP. Done. Uh, good to go. Good to go. Yep. Seventy. Fifty-one or seventy-one. Sorry, seventy-one. 70. Wow. Okay. Oh, you're going after me. Yeah. Thirty-five. Seventy-four. So thirty-five. Then me. Then you. Uh, you say numbers, but I don't know who those numbers were. Oh, you gotta say names. Sorry, I was doing that before. Guard is thirty-five. Priest is seventy-four. Guard Priest is last. Priest is last. Yeah. So but I'm seventy-one. Guard so after me. Wow. Me. Then yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. and priest. Okay. okay, sorry. So the guard is first. The guard actually has range, so he's going to move back one. Ooh. And then he's going to attack at range for three. Times two. So six. So four get through. Wow. Ooh. You just healed him, too. I just saved his life. You did. Wow. He should be thankful. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Bone shaper. Bone shaper. So skeleton... So is I think closest to this one. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, four, definitely. Five. Yeah. Yep. So move one, two. And then can't do anything. This one is just going to move one. Okay. I'm going to summon. Uh do I move first? Oh, I didn't. Oh, Benjamin oh yeah. doesn't even have frost saving yet. It already wants to know what the next one is. Frost haven, stone haven, water haven, wind haven, dark haven, light haven. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm gonna summon. <laughs> Gaining one experience, losing two health, going to three. I see a Kickstarter oh, come up know, while we're still playing this, like oh. for the next game. I don't even want to hear about it. No. Can I have moved these? Well, people in a didn't even way. finish Gloomhaven. We don't need a third one yet. I don't think so. I couldn't have moved her like this, right? Can I choose if as it... long as it gets closer to his target, yes. Okay. And I'll do that. Then I'll put summon this one there. And then I will grant one of your summons a loot one. 
So we'll loot these two. Yeah. With you get uh, gaining all the loot rewards. So you got a Give single coin lumber. and another coin. Aww. Spirit only has one movement. Oh, two movement. Oh. <gasps> I was playing the summon wrong. You've been doing that. You were doing that the other day too, I think. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was only one. Oh no, we got to restart the whole thing. No, it's fine. It's fine. But I don't think I get these. Yeah, because it would be here. Yeah. Or okay. something. So then these are still here. Okay, that's fine. Bring those back. That's fine. I'll just shuffle. So then I'll just use this to be a move two for me going to here. Shoot, sorry. Wow. Thank you, Edgar. I don't know what I was doing. Yeah, we need Frost Save and Digital before we even think of another freaking Bloomhaven board game. No, we need, right. need Frost Haven, Jaws the Lion. You're right. She's flying, so she can go there and then she can still get those. Ah, uh, no trap. Yeah, Damn because you. she's flying. So sorry, it was one gold and two yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah, I know what it was. Sorry. Thank you, thank you. I was like, how can I make Yeah, that I work? looked at the trap, I was like, oh, you can't go there, but yes, you're flying. Flying. That I knew, but I, yeah. Yeah, the, wow. Okay. Wow, I don't know why I thought she only had one movement. Woo! Sorry. Are you done your turn yet? Yeah. Banner Spear. Sorry about that. Um... Yeah. I will just... Uh, what's this guy doing? He's attacking? Yeah. I'm going to move to with the bottom of this. And then I'm pretty sure I don't need to do this for this ability to fire off, right? I think I can just get this ability. Those are two separate abilities. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty I sure I, I don't have to do all of them and I can pass on some. And But yeah, I don't think I need to do the attack to get that bonus. I think I would only need to do the attack to get and like air to get this bonus. I don't know. But I would if it needed uh, FP, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't matter because I'm further away, but I'm just thinking for your future too. Okay. So setting that up and then, um, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, this was my move. And then, yeah. All right. Uh, so end of turn looting. I get a coin. Here you go. All right, Priest is going to attack at range three. This is this guy, right? Uh, yeah, because what were you? Oh, that's true. Uh, you were 71 because you were after me and I was 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it yeah. is, yeah, so he's attacking for plus one, so attacking for three. Three, so one gets through. Is that five? No, uh, that's, yeah, oh, that's a different one. Oh, it just gets one on number one. Yeah. Okay. Back around to us. Picking cards. They seem to be shuffled and around. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get up there, but I'll do my best. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's play my We probably have like would you say like three rounds maybe? I have no idea. Or less. I don't know what these guys I mean will if do. I get exhausted, I get exhausted. I'm gonna play my, other... our tax might all miss and this guy may never attack him. I don't, I don't know. Uh, so I should probably short rest, I'm thinking, at the end of the turn. I could just long rest. But I don't need to. But it does get my boots and shield. Don't really care, though. Uh, so I'll just short rest, I think. Yep. Short rest. No. I will long rest. Okay. Wait. I'm gonna. He's gonna move, and then I'm gonna next round. I'm gonna pull him out. You want him in? It's okay. It's he can okay. be in if you want him in. It's okay. I'm just gonna pull one out to get XP, so I can play one more. You tell me what you want. I can pull the other one. Ah, oh, it's so stupid. Tell me where can I be so that you, I it's can. It's not about where you can be. Where do you want me to not be? No, it's all good. Uh, short rest and heal the guards again. But then I'll die. <laughs> I might kill myself, no thanks. But I could. If I don't lose that card. Just don't die. Well, if I do oh, I lose think that then card, I hurt myself. Then I try to play the card and I kill myself. And, and we don't know how many... I can choose, though. I'm not going to heal any... Don't worry about any of these guys. But this guard up here being so close to death, it's, that sucks. Yeah, this is a long rest, you have time. 
push. One HP is still alive. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can still throw cards away. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just trying if to I milk long, it for XP, so... so. But that might... Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm going to short rest. I'm going to regret it, I'm sure. Here, pick a card, any card. Okay, that's a four move, six card, whatever. I'll, I'll let it go. All right. Oh, yeah, then I don't my boots. That was another problem to get this loot. But if I kill and then move, I can get some loot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Uh, Cohen says, is there a way to transition over from Patreon to YouTube? I think if you, yeah, you, yeah, you can you just can, cancel yeah, on people, Patreon. Yeah, a lot of people do it. Yeah, you just go cancel on Patreon. It's all you. And then just click the join button down below on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Cohen, only you can do it. But yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. And then it's all automatic how it pulls you into the Discord and stuff like that. It'll The YouTube bot will pull you in instead of the Patreon bot. It, it's all good. Long rest is an option here, but he doesn't want to. I know it's an option. <laughs> maybe maybe he cannot it long rest. It would heal me, but what my fear is, if I do the long rest, that leaves a turn for this guy to hit this guy one more time. And then my next turn, if this guy goes earlier, he hits the guard again, and the guard could be dead. And I'm like, I, I don't know, but like, everyone keeps trying, trying to save the guards. So, like, maybe there's a bonus to saving more than you lose based on all the other games I've played in my life. Like, I don't know. And that's what Mel was saying, too. So, it's like... Yeah, uh, like, why did they give them to us? I don't know well, if they have... Help new yeah, players, but I, I think. didn't know if they have some sort of significance as well. Yeah. So, it's like... Like, they're in our debt after we save them. So, it's like, I try to be quick, because last time I took too long, and then we lost this guy. When I should have just short rest and then done the heal thing earlier. Yeah. So, that's what I'm thinking. That's early enough, but I'll try. All right, here we go. 60. 26. Right. Okay, guard yep. is going at 55. I'm going at 26. Priest is going at 8. Okay, what's the priest doing? Priest is attacking at range 3 mm -hmm. uh, for 2 with immobilize. Yep. Plus 2 is 4. So two get blocked. So this guy, number one, takes two damage? Yep. Go, two more, sorry. Goes to three. He had one. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. That's okay. Okay, and he's mobilized. He doesn't move anyways. Okay. Me? Mm-hmm. Summon number one is going to move for two. And then do nothing. Flying spirit is going to move for two. Oh, she can have a range, but the guy has no damage, so. And she hits for one. Yeah, and fine. has a shield. Okay. So then attack of one, minus one, so nothing. And then summon number two is going to move for two, I guess. One, two. Okay. Then let's do, we're going to prep this one up here. All your summons attacks are unaffected by retaliate. This is going to give me one experience. For five. And then. I'm just going to put it up like that. Okay. And that's going to stay up there. That was the bottom. So the top of this, I am doing nothing. Okay. Guard. Guard is two. going to uh, move. Yeah, move Attack two. Attack for three. Okay, nothing. Curse. But he still gets retaliated on, right? Because he didn't attack. Mm -hmm. It just cancels the damage. Oh, so that kills him. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Drops a loot. Hmm. All right. One more guy. Banner Spear. Okay. Do I need to heal allies still? Should I? I uh, no. You don't need to do number two anymore because it's yeah. not in harm's way. Number... I think you're fine. 
Okay. But it's up to you, really. Mm-hmm. This guy. Uh, can we say he moved here? Yeah, we can, yeah. right? Okay, uh, I'm gonna slap down my banner of strength for the XP's. Uh, can I have a blue uh, base? Do we have more blue bases or just what's in here? Just what's in there. I have one over oh, here still. So. Okay. No, we don't. Need I know any. they don't have that many. Yeah, like but I. We're only playing two, but that four-player game, you'll run out so fast. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. are you supposed to use? But again, it's because the scenario has allies, but I'm assuming that's a common thing in Frosthaven, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so that's done. That goes up here. I get two experience for such things. Right, right. Oh, this was one of the Kickstarter previous scenarios, and yeah. having a guard survive was one of the win conditions. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. And yeah, chat, we don't want to know if like what the situation yeah. is. We played this off stream to practice with our cards and stuff, but we purposely didn't like read any ending things we just set this up and like played it till we killed everything we didn't even draw like loot cards or nope. anything we were just like nope we're just gonna play it like we're just learning our cards and stuff trying to remember how the enemies kind of flow and things but all the rest after this is all blind like 100 percent blind um yeah so your banner gives plus two right on the attacks uh plus one to allies of the banner within range two so your okay. skeleton this guy maybe me so we can like really pummel this guy when we want and maybe it's a bad idea because it'd probably kill him faster. Then we can get the loot, but I mean, we. I don't, I'm I don't happy know. with the amount of loot we got. I know, but there's more. Can, yeah, there's no. much more. I know. <laughs> you could like get a guy up there, but I don't One, think it's two, it's three. only you, right? Yeah. Do you have like big move cards? Six. You need like at least six moves to get one. Yeah, more I can loot. pull this skeleton back. That'll give me a move oh, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have a move three. And then I have other ones where I can... Like, the priest does have a shield one, so he's going to be annoying to try to kill. I do have some grant movement, and then I can give my summons loots. So, we'll see. Okay, it then can I'm take gonna, a couple. I'm going to heal all allies. Uh, and I get an XP for that, so I'm up to eight. And I'm going to only choose to heal this one. Uh, number one, healed. Yep, so then you lose. And then I lose one health. Down to two. Okay. And that's me. Done. End of round. Any shuffles? Yeah, no. Because this guy's done. Yep. Guard's dead. So we'll cover that up. Cohen figured it out. Nice. Thank you so much, Cohen. <laughs> thank you, thank that you. That was easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once the red die. Thank you for supporting us, of course. Yes. Thank you. And yeah, I'll see you in our member-only streams in the future, for sure, <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, if you can't be there, understood. At least you get to watch them later. Okay. And when I do member only chat sometimes, I gotta do that sometimes if it gets bad, but uh, <laughs> you'll still be able to join the chat. Do you need any skeletons anywhere? Or which ones can I remove? I don't need skeletons anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna pull back number both of them, one and two. Unless you need them up here for loot purposes. No, because I'm gonna deploy them near me when I move. Yoink, yoink. Yep. And, and then I'm gonna. Experience for dropping them yeah. again, right? Well, I can only drop die. one more. I'm going to short rest. I'm lose one of them. It's fine because I can only really deploy one of them. Okay, that's fine. Then, one, two. Oh, was that my four movement? No, okay. Uh, no, I might long rest, I think. One, two, three, four. I probably shouldn't because I still have so many cards in my hand. But I was thinking of a long rest and just get my jump boots back so I can get over in front of this guy. But then I'm not in range two of this, so I don't know. Sorry, I'm going to take one damage and keep this skeleton. Okay. Going down to two. But then when you lose another oh, card, yeah. so that's it could fine. be your move card, right? Uh, that was this one. Uh oh, I don't like this. It's my other skeleton, that's going to be bad. No, that's fine. Move three, though. Yeah, but I need... Oh, ouch. Okay. Oh. Okay, so... Move four. And then I just need to heal one. Okay. You're going early, late? What are you thinking? I'm going to go... I don't know yet. I'm going to go early, I think. Mm 
21. I need. Going what early? Mm -hmm. We smoke like like two, or, two or three more rounds. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. To maximize. Okay. Eight. Seven sixty-seven. Eighteen and priest, priest is going at twenty-three. So me priest you. Okay. Oh, the priest. So your summons. Heal. Summons. Okay, so I only have one summons. Already within range. Going to attack for one. Plus one. Plus one, uh, so just one, just one, but, but blocked, blocked by the shield. That's why she can stay because she doesn't really do anything, anyways. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to heal X plus one self, where X is the number of summons. So I have uh, so one plus one is two, going to four. Okay, it's on the top bottom is move four. Uh, one, two, three, four, done. Please don't kill it this turn, please, please. I don't want to, and I'm not. I'm trying not to, but I need it weaker, and I need you to go early again and do that what you just did again next round. But uh... um, okay. Like what did early, I just do? Earlier oh. than mid, you know, like yeah. Okay, but hopefully I don't draw times two or this thing's dead. That's the only problem. Okay, please don't. It. But I need to soften round. it up, I think. Yeah. So I can do a move two on the bottom of this card. And, uh, grant two allies within range two. Move two. Oh, no, wait. He's range three, wasn't he? Yeah, he's range three. Damn it. I was trying to pinch him in for fun, but it's okay. This one, though, uh, I could move you. Yeah, sure. You go there. It's move too. She can go on the trap. On the trap? Oh, it's, oh never mind. It's, what's behind? Banner? You can't go there. No, what's this? That, Just not... uh, difficult. Oh, okay. She can go on there. But I don't I don't need her adjacent so she gets killed or anything. I know, but then potentially can I pick up the loot? A loot one? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. This might be one actual loot piece. What's her health? It's one, but I have shields. Two shields. Yeah, but what's this guy doing? And I also have a block. Okay, I just don't need her dying. I need her to do an attack next turn before me. That's okay. what I need, okay? Okay. Right. Oh, priest goes before. Yeah, sorry. I've gone. Hey, what the hell? And then the priest. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm rushing. Oh, you're, yeah, sorry. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry. Rewind that. So yeah, she's yeah. here. Get back. Stop cheating. Uh, you are here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, priest, sorry. Priest is going to go. Wow. Oh, priest is going to heal. So it's just going to move. But it's moving like it's a melee, too. It's going to move. Who's closer? Uh, These two things. Yeah. But I'm going 67, so it's this guy oh, at 50, right? Yeah. So it's going to move out one. Moves here. Okay. Then does, then does heal. a heal. Okay, now. But rewind. nobody needs to heal, right? No. Okay. Now rewind back. But does that change your formation? No, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so now I go... Move here. Yeah, I think I still do it. All right, so I'll move two. Oh yeah, because it's all the tip, right? And then I'll move this. But now she won't be in range to loot anything anyway, but it's fine. She's there in case I need for ally support later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that move's done. Then I'm going to do this, uh, get an experience from doing this tip of the spear. Which, based on an ally being behind, I'm next to it, straight line here, and then this space, so I can hit him here. Uh, but it's with freaking Pierce. That's the problem. Yeah, just don't get a times two. Minus okay. two. Okay, we're yes. good. We're good. First yes. time that we're like, yes. Being a minus is what I want. You did yes. not kill it. The only game where you want to see your attacks nerfed because of things. All right, so uh, it's still one, though, that does get through his shield, so he does take one damage. Right? One. Oh, plus one. He plus takes one. two damage. So takes two damage, two damage on number six. Yeah, he does. It's plus one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I got the XP. That's kind of what I was going for there. 
Yeah, plus one from the banner. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's it. Our turn again? Yeah. Any shuffles? Oh, this one's got to get shuffled. Okay, that's good. So my, even if I got, even if I got a times two on my, um, oops, summon, I still wouldn't kill it. I need to summon again. And you need me to go early, you said. So I'll do these two. What about okay. killing it now? Yeah. But I'm going late. Yeah, go late and then it's fine. Because I can get one more loot for sure. And I can get another XP and I can get my battle goal. I probably won't <laughs> kill it. I probably won't because it still has so much health. Well, she's going to do an attack too. We'll but see. She does nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. It's plus one because oh, you're yeah, banner. Oh, yeah, So yeah. it's two. All right. <laughs> Man. All my two negatives are already out. All right. This might be silly. Okay. 30. 69. Priest is going at 89. Whoa. Okay. So I'm going first. You know, some healing and blessing. Okay. If he's still there. All right. Summon is going to attack for two. Minus one. Is one, which gets blocked by his shields. <laughs> Don't even say. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to summon yeah. a skeleton. <laughs> yes, 100%, Mark. We are playing with our food, for sure. Yeah, we are. Yep, we're doing what we do in Gloomhaven is try to get as much loot as possible, especially when we feel like we're going to win. We want to get as many resources as possible to help us succeed on the tougher scenarios later when we're struggling. Okay. And now that with loot, now that loot has even more value of building up Froth Haven and walls and crafting items and all this stuff, repairing buildings and things, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want all the loot tokens. It's not just boring old gold anymore to buy some shiny shoes. Okay. It's, uh, it's the people of Froth Haven's lives depend on us. Yeah. To find as much hide and wool and lumber, whatever these flowers are in the game and whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I summoned a skeleton right there. It doesn't really matter where, I guess. I got one XP. I lost two health, so I'm down to two. Okay, then I'm going to move. Just use a move two <laughs> to go to here. And at the end of my turn, I will collect the loot. And I'm hoping for lumber. Uh, money. coin. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Done. Yes. Anytime we can end the scenario, I am good. Okay. Banner spear. Can I get any more XP? Maybe. Okay. Uh... I'm just going to do a range attack of three plus one for my banner is four on this guy plus zero. So three gets through. He's at five, one away from death, unfortunately. Oh, so we do have to go one more round. Yeah, okay. I know, I know. So then I can collect I didn't think I would kill him unless I got like a positive of some kind. Okay. Uh, I, I generate air. Because what I was trying to do was maybe kill him and then move in and do a loot one and scoop it all up. But I still could just scoop up what's there and and we still go another round and i can get it after maybe or or i could have wiped him now i was thinking of the pincer thing because i have an ally there oh if you moved first and that would have killed him but, but then i'm not doing get, it then you can't get the loot that's correct yeah then i i drop him but yeah then i wouldn't be able to move in for any loot that's right. exactly right but i was thinking of it if i needed to kill him but can any of these give me xp uh but that's that did i do a experience of any kind no and no and i'll loot uh so i move on and then i loot at range one so i get this loot which is whatever this is uh iron or metal or metal whatever? oh it does say metal right on it uh here uh this token okay i am going to i really want to go later than you again why do you long rest and i won't get to do what but i need to do oh. on that same turn because i'd be snoozing so i'm going to short rest okay yep I don't know what you need to do. I'm still. Yeah. It... Oh, difficult terrain. D did you have two move? Oh, difficult terrain is there. Why did I not even see that? <laughs> okay. No, it was one move. So then I would just. Yeah, I just won't get the loot. Put the loot token back. Which was underneath. I'll just use the regular two movement. I'll just use the regular two movement. And this will just shuffle this back in. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. 
Why did I not see that? I don't know. Weird. We need to get does. those purple yeah. and uh, green. I don't have the flying open. boots yet. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, I'll so short I'm gonna rest. I'm going to do this. And. And did this guy still go and do his thing? No. Then Are do you done? It. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry. So then he is. Can't move. Can't move. And he's going to heal all allies. Yep, which for, won't happen. Uh, within range one. And he's not an ally and to himself. he's not an ally to himself. And he's going to bless. Bless. Okay. Short resting. Okay. Hmm. Think for one quick second. No, I don't have any more heals. But so I'm going the same initiative as last time. I can't. Which go was the funny that. number. You can't. No. <laughs> then short rest and make it happen. Okay. Okay. Short Do rest. It. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I didn't say the number. It's just the funny number. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutters. Get your okay. mind out of the gutters. It's a family show. Oh, drop my banner to reduce Mel's damage? Yeah, that's probably a smart idea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I can drop my... Thank I can you. drop this one, but you need... No, no, I need it. Just do what you've been doing. Attack <laughs> this guy before me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is so funny. Can't wait to see what it says. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. One, two, so that doesn't matter. I just need to go before you. Um, let's do this one in case we go one more round, I guess. No, not that one, not that one. This one. Ready? 18. 69. <laughs> <laughs> and eight. All right. Eight on the priest. Yeah. Before you. You're yeah. on 18. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to disarm my. No. Oh, the guard. The guard is beside. Yes, it's closest, right? Oh, but then you. What number are you? You're, oh, yeah. I'm 69. So 50. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. So I think it's still the closest. And, yeah. And the and then the tie is between us, and this is the earliest. Yeah. Then it wants to move away to get disadvantage gone, but it doesn't it's have dark. the movement points as there's obstacles here. Okay, right? I was worried about the disarm, but we're good. It's going to no, disarm no. the guard. Yeah, we don't care. Okay, so then it's not going to do anything there. It's going to attack for one with disadvantage. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, stupid monster deck. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. So then the guard is good. Uh, the guard retali- Oh, the guard retaliates. No. 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 <laughs> that, no. Does that ruin everything? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Can I throw a card away to save it from taking damage? That's nah, uh... okay. I tried, I tried. Oh, right, so no. oh no! Oh no! Yeah, there's well, nothing we can do. There's a loot there. Drop a loot. Oh, after but we still all get of to that. Go on the round, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. All right. Uh, bone shaper. Uh. I can get this loot. I have the card on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, my summons can't do anything. But it can move closer to you. <laughs> uh, my other one can as well, I guess. Okay. So then. Can I still? No, I want to. I want to move to get loot, so it doesn't matter. So yes. let's move. Loot is greater than battle gold check mark. That one, I want to be clear. I'll take this. But I was one. trying to get it all. <laughs> okay, I'll take one more. Uh, another card for you. Yep. Lumber. Yes. Note that down. <laughs> Two lumbers. Okay. Actually, I should write the number because I'm gonna forget what ticks and numbers. We got two lumber. Anything else on your turn uh, to get XP or anything? 
That was the bottom of this. Top of this doesn't do anything, so no. And I regret healing that card. No, I'm just joking. Uh, okay, then I'll just move one and then do a loot one, whatever. Okay, two loot cards for me. Coin and Snow Thistle. Sweet. That's gone. Okay. Uh, I don't have... Yeah, I can't do any kind of attack. I was trying to get one more XP too, but that didn't work. Okay. Boom. All right, where's my... End of scenario says... I get all my stuff together. Give me one second here. Okay. Rules. Yeah. So we'll go through the end of round stuff and then we'll uh, take a quick. Uh, I need to take a wash oh, yeah, break. Wash break yeah. And then we'll go through the outpost phase. So stay tuned. It's not over. Definitely not over. Still have a bunch of stuff to go through. Uh, okay. Let's see here. End of scenario. Recover discarded cards and lost items, ability cards. Reset your dials to full health. So I'm assuming probably matters in like outpost phase or something, maybe. Uh, okay. Remove all conditions. All cursed. Uh, cards and blessed cards and minus one cards in your deck. I think I had. Oh, I have a added. curse. I have a curse. No. Definitely okay. All right. Do this one too. Well, uh, here. gain experience from your dials. So transfer. I got nine XP. Oh, so I, I got, got twenty-four six. total. Twenty-four now. Actually, I'm gonna add I'm the 15. bonus XP too. Which is, I might as well just do it now. Which, Which is another is, six. So I'm at 30. I'm at 21. Wow, you're okay, right, crushing right, it. Right. Okay, then uh, it says gain gold from loot cards, which currently is gold is two per coin. Okay. It's two, four. I get four gold. Two, Taking four, me to 10. six, eight, 10, 12. I get 12. Plus I had two, so I have 14. Okay. And it says if scenario is completed, we didn't lose. Gain resources from loot cards. Gain resources from loot cards. We need to write it on our little thing here. What, what am I doing? So I get one of this symbol. So I have four hide. Oh, these are all done. Right? And then for this, this is three lumber, right? I get two for this yep. and one for this, so three Pretty lumber. Sure. Two metal, one snow thistle. I got resources, everybody. I do. That's mine. Three lumber, one of this rock root. Okay. Then it says. Uh, gain check marks for achieving battle goals. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill an enemy attacked by any of your allies earlier in the same round. My ally, oh. does, none of my allies attack, like my I own summons. See. So I need your guys to do it. But every time you went after me, so, so you were always attacking yeah, first. Yeah. Oh. Or I was resting on the turns, it would have worked. Every time I kept thinking about it, or I didn't have the card that could do the killing blow, or like something weird was going on. I'm trying to heal uh, guards and stuff. It was very frustrating. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm so, sorry. Yeah, and that's the one I was saying when you had your eyes covered that I was like, you guys know, like, her initiative, she's always going after me. Most of the time, it's very hard, but then they're like, oh, you should have, uh, like, yeah, an early... 18, 26, and 30 are my lowest cards. Yeah, but still, but I, I, even to counter those, I have, like, 10s and 6s and 25s and stuff, so, like, I still go earlier, on, even on some of those turns. Um, so it's like trying to get the one time, and then the guards in this scenario, they don't attack either, the city guards, so, like, I'm sitting here like the only attacks that will happen really are Mel's skeletons and her flying little crazy person here, whatever this one is. Angry spirit. Angry spirit. And then there it started to line up. So I was like, yeah, perfect. She's attacking, not killing. But like, I need to do this sweet spot of like, you're not doing any damage. So I still need to get enough damage in there and, and not accidentally kill it um, so that I can do it properly. But yeah, I, the city guard messed me up. I should have, I had a move to pull. I was debating on pulling the ranged uh, the the priest away from the guard, so the priest would attack me. But my health was so low that I was worried, and I was worried it would kill your summons. 
And then your summons wouldn't be there to attack, so oh, I could attack. Oh, yeah, I see. But I was like, man, all this stuff was going through my head. Every single turn, I'm trying to puzzle out how to get this battle goal. And, like, it was just driving me crazy. Sorry, I'm just going to answer. Sorry, this one. So there was a question about this. It's this one is, this card is worth two lumber because we're two player. And then this one is one. So I got three, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Okay. So then this one was mine. Uh, end the scenario with a hit point value of three or less. So I ended with two. <laughs> Which is why I knew it's something with you. So that when I, yeah, yeah, having half your health or something. So you're like, Don't heal me. I'm like, oh, I see. <laughs> so I now have three, two from last one, one from this time. So I get to. I don't know if you want to put that on the. If somebody has what? Because I, I have a. Oh, already. Yeah, because so I got you, two you last time on this one. So. So these, the these ones on the bottom are new. They're special. You need two check marks to even get this one. So, but if you want to build for it already. So now there's these new ones that are abilities, and she has little reminder cards that you'll put beside your character map to remind you of these abilities. So take a look. It's not just about upgrading your modifier deck anymore. She could do this, like, if she's going to put on armor that, or scenario effects, actually. Yeah. That's always, like, it was a go-to in Gloomhaven. I'm assuming in Frosthaven there's lots of scenarios that automatically you're, everyone starts with minus one, whatever. Or everyone starts with a wound. Everyone starts with poison. Like, those are so annoying, and you could just say, I ignore it, and then you put a couple plus ones in there. But when you put those plus ones in there, that could mean you see some of your other cards less often, like your plus two or anything you put in later, because you're just making your deck larger. I see this interesting one where I can do it three times. Replace one zero with a plus one. Kill attacking summon to instead add plus four. Oh, there's your kill thing for That's your mastery. My, yeah, yeah. But... Look at this. Adding, two, adding three, a uh, heal. Targeting two... I don't know what that is. Two summons, you? I think. Is that the summons? Sum that's oh, two. Symbol. Yeah, that's my symbol. So two of my summons, and it's a, it's a. Um, what do they call those? Uh, rolling rolling modifier. modifier. Um, immediately before each of your rests, you may kill one of your summons to perform a. Is that bless? I think it's a bless. Yeah. Bless self. Looks like a bless. Might not be a bless. <laughs> Looks like a bless, but. Uh, once each scenario, when a character ally would become exhausted by suffering damage, you may suffer two damage to reduce their hit point value to one instead. So this would save a summon. I think I need to replace cards. I need to make my deck better. My angry spirit only hits for one. So the more positive abilities I have, the more chances that those actually get through. You could throw uh, like a plus two in there that also could generate plant or darkness, whichever one you need to make your other abilities more interesting too. Or... Crazy, lots of cool stuff here. So I'm I'm kind of even looking at the first three lines. So replace a minus one with a zero, because even zeros are make a hit potentially if there's no shield. Place a minus one with a zero, adding a curse, replace a minus one with a zero, adding a poison, or replace a minus two with a zero. Hmm. I think I would probably replace where's my deck? Replace a minus two. Uh and the worst it can be is minus one. Get rid of the minus two. Okay, that's what I'm kind of thinking. So I'm going to replace a minus two with a zero. So the It would help towards this thing too, that keeping a, a summon alive to kill at least six enemies and then keep it alive. So like if you have better cards that are helping summons kill, yeah. then it'll do it quicker, but... Yeah. Okay. Looks so like which one are you doing? I'm Sorry, I'm removing... Here, check it. Uh... Re replace a minus two with a zero. Boring. I'm I know. Joking. I know. Fine. It's fine. It's efficient. It's but good. more successful attacks are. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I Even know. if it's only one damage. Yep. Oh, I get to open the open the deck for the first time. Okay, replacing that with that. So I don't know where we're putting these. Do we have somewhere that we're putting the? Back in the box somewhere. I, I don't okay. know. I'll put it here for now. Yeah, it'll, it won't go back in your deck ever, so... Yeah, I don't want to keep it near here because it's, like, pointless, so... We need, like, a remove from game bag. Yeah, you're right. I should get that. But then the again, one. we'll need to reset it after anyway, so... It just goes in the box of the tray I have upstairs. Okay. Still, but yeah. Okay, that part's done. Thank you, everyone. Okay. All right. Uh, what's next? Um... Gain perk marks from achieving masteries? No. Nope. Read the scenario conclusion. <coughs> I 
plus. Oh man. Uh, nine point one. Okay, that was it. Conclusion: You lower your weapon and breathe as the remaining Algox retreat, scurrying from Frosthaven like giant white mice. They'll be back. You're certain of it, but for now, you can rest. You wipe the soot from your face and take stock. Frosthaven is almost exactly what you imagined. A knot of gray stone and timber surrounded by a sharpened palisade walls. Sh sharpened palisade walls. A place where mere survival is an everyday concern and where only, des the, only the desperate could feel at home. Thankfully, though, the townsfolk are tough. They all they're already on their feet, dousing fires and picking through the rubble. In fact, one of those townspeople is marching right for you. A sharp-featured woman, human woman with a fighter's muscular build, cl close-cropped hair and dark skin, approaches and offers a gaunt gauntleted hand in greeting. The sea be praised, she says, crushing your fingers with enthusiasm. We wouldn't have held out much longer uh, without you. You nod and ask what happened. Oh, just life, life up north is all, she chuckles. I'm Thatha, mayor of this fort now that my predecessor and his lieutenant have fallen. As for the Algox, they've been at us all winter. It took them months to break through, but they finally did. Killed a dozen or so of my people, and would have done worse if you hadn't shown up. You explain who you are, and that you've been sent from White Oak. At the mention of the capital, her face scrunches up in displeasure. It's, all, it's about time they sent someone to help fix this mess they made, she says, then tries to lighten her mood. I don't mean to be ungrateful. I am overjoyed to still be among the living. But a lot more people would be alive if your employers, the Merchants Guild, never stuck their noses in our business. I've spent my whole life here in what was once a fishing village, living and letting live with the Algox, until last summer, that is, when the Merchants Guild sent some garrison and bureaucratic types up here to see how Frosthaven could be more of more use to the Empire. One of their expeditions proceeded to muck about in an Algox burial site, and the next thing we know, righteously angry Algox are attacking us. The Inkstains immediately hightailed it out of here, leaving just a handful of soldiers behind to keep us safe. Statha clenches her gauntlet tighter and tighter as she tells the story, but now releases her grip. I've had to learn a lot of things in the last year. The hard truth is that the Algox refuse to be reasoned with, and the only way to stay alive and keep this place I call home is to win the fight regardless of who started it. Her face softens as she claps her shoulder hard. There's not many of you, but I'll take what I can. What I can get, especially now that our garrison's been thinned. And as it happens, I have an idea. She turns and gestures to the town's smoldering walls. We took a beating in that fight, so if we're going to survive much longer, we, uh, we'll have to do more than just sit around and wait for the next attack. She sizes you up carefully. I've already sent a scout to track the Elgox back home to the mountains. Drop your gear at any longhouse that's still standing and rest up. As soon as you're ready, I want you to get over there and find a way to slow these attacks. The bunks in the remaining longhouses are all occupied by the injured, but you find a dry stretch of floor to lay your heads on uh, your packs. You doubt you can sleep after the horror that greeted, uh, greeted you in this little post, but before you know it, a young Valrath, Valrath man is nudging you awake. Staff the scout has returned with his report. He tracked the attackers to the foothills of Cop Copperneck Mountains, where they entered the cave at the base of the snow scorn mountain, location three. Interestingly, a smaller band split from the main group before they reached the cave and hiked around to the mountain's deadly eastern face, location number two. The scout didn't see where they went, but he suspects a secret entrance to the Algok stronghold. One last thing. The Valrath says you wipe, as you wipe the final dregs of sleep from your eyes, another group is moving towards snow scorn. They were Algoks, no doubt but they're dressed differently than the ones who attacked us. They carry long sticks and have some wild animals with them. I don't know if they're going to attack the mountain or reinforce it, but either way, you'd better be get there quick. Rewards. Gain 2 plus X morale and X soldiers, where X is the number of city guards still on the map. Ah, I see. Okay. So Damn it. four morale we Damn get. Damn it. So four morale. You're putting that on our on our scenario sheet. Yep, I can show and you. And then that's fine. It doesn't matter. And then uh X soldiers. So do we have a soldiers count there? Yep, right here. So we're gaining two soldiers. Two soldiers. On our soldier count. 
which will matter later in the um, if we get attacked for defense and stuff like that um, in the Frost Haven outpost phase. Okay, and then new scenarios I'm marking on our sheet is two and three. Yeah, Algox, Algox scouting and Algox offensive, and we need stickers for such things, and the board again. Okay. Hold on. Gotta move some stuff. So when we unlock and we get the sticker off now, right? Two and three? Yep. So two is Algox scouting. And it says if we go there, uh, I believe it's linked, but not force linked, right? Yeah, a linked scenario must be played next without returning to Frosthaven. So if we do go out of scouting, it's on those linked scenarios like we saw at the beginning of Gloomhaven, um, where you kind of like have to without going to town. And this will go on to... We have not finished the end of the whole round stuff, so there is still more after reading. Like, we still have like inspiration yeah, uh, and all that. We did get bonus experience, but we still need to get experience. Exp uh, yeah, yeah. Inspiration. We're just going in order based on the back of the rule book, uh, sort of following it kind yeah, of. Yeah, so kind we're of not fully done yet. Yeah, yeah. So let's just finish it in order so we don't get confused. What the hell is happening here? It's like tearing the cut or something. Oh, because it's the middle of a board, probably, like on a board edge. Where is it? Number two, Copper Neck Mountain somewhere. Right here. Is that a bend in the board? Yeah. Can you hold like that? Is that better? I don't know. It's a mess. Like such a big clunky component. I know. Like it's cool and an idea, but I'm not a fan. Yeah, I don't even know. It's fine. I know. I like. <laughs> It's just annoying. I'm not a fan. Okay, uh, but it's whatever. Sure, it's Ben's. Great. Okay, uh, number three. Yep. Where is it? Uh, I don't think you pulled it off yet. Oh yeah. Eh. Algox offensive. Oh, so no matter which way we're forced. Which links to the next one, no matter what. Okay. okay. Hmm. Interesting. We'll do a poll. Uh, before the end of the episode to figure out what which one we're going to something they don't note linked ones on here do they i don't know no no i can write it Oh, wow, we didn't. We didn't name our party ever. Where right. do we even write that? Is it on uh, the campaign? We, we do write it somewhere on here, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, our party name. It's fine. <laughs> Not worry about it. I only care about it in my digital save file, which will eventually <laughs> happen. Are you going to play that solo or with me? Or about... I don't even know if they're even going to make it. I know, I guess. And it could be four years from now, and I'm like <laughs> sick of this stuff. I like want to play something different. Not more Gloomhaven. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. And then back to the rule book. We did just did scenario awards. Now we need to gain inspiration. So two more inspiration added to our sheet. All right. So four inspiration total. It now says to update the map. Okay, cool. Oh, it is a separate thing. Okay, good. But it no. still was part of the reward box. So, like, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Like, come on, man. But anyways, it's fine. And we did gain our um, 6 XP for the scenario. Yeah, which isn't in this list, but yeah. sure. We'll, we'll try to remember it every time. Okay. Uh, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take a two-minute break so we can go do the washroom thing. Stretch. And then we're going to come back and do the outpost phase. But in the meantime, do we choose this scenario now or do, does it matter? It doesn't matter. But if we do choose it now, we kind of can get some of the stuff set up ahead of the No, team. no. But choosing it before we see what happens in the outpost phase. Oh, I don't know. Is there anything that would happen in the outpost phase, like an event or something, that would change our mind and scare us from going to two versus three? I don't think I so. I don't think so, but... But who knows? I have no idea. 
Because normally you'd pick the scenario when you come to sit down for your next session. So we should do it before the end of the stream. We can just have a running. But I want to put it now so they can vote while we're kind of multitasking here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which scenario should we play next episode? Which ep next episode's already scheduled. You can set a notification for it. It's in the playlist down below. Actually, the next like three episodes are scheduled. If I do end up moving them, you'll still get a notification if you subscribe, turn on notifications, or if you hit the notify me button on that stream. Um, so I'm going to put up a poll. We'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, we're back. Party name, Lost Causes. <laughs> I'm down if you want to write it on there. Sure. Right, sounds good. Thanks, Darius. Yeah, I would love when I finish this to have this put on the wall after it looked awesome. Yeah, I would definitely want to do it. We didn't do it with Gloomhaven, but I definitely would like to do it with this one for sure. Yeah, I think we stopped stickering, that's why. But yeah, because it just was, became annoying and was just like, ah, it's easier to just use the paper. But uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, outpost phase? Yep. The outpost phase has five steps you see here on the left. Passage of time, outpost event, building operations, downtime, and construction. So if we go to 59, this is our first time doing it ever. Read the rules a couple times, uh, so we should be okay. But again, it should be pretty light the first time doing it, I think, mm -hmm. too, based on only the stuff we have unlocked. So we weren't wasn't lost. We're not going to replay anything. Okay, passage of time. So it's as simple as marking a check on the calendar, I believe. Uh, let's go to this, actually. Time for the Euro Worker Placing Game. Uh, okay. 
One time. Checked. Oh, uh, sorry. The scenarios, I should have put the names. Oh, sorry. Uh, two is scouting. Three is uh, offense. Algox offensive. Yeah, sorry. Three is offensive. Two was scouting. Sorry, guys. Those who are voting or want to know. My bad, my bad. I should have put it in the actual name of the of the option. All right, passage of time done. And there was no 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 section to read for the no, first time. No, not right? until we get to so five. So we're in summer, right? Yep. Okay. And again, once you fill up, like here, here, let me show. So it it's just like uh each each check is a week. Uh, eventually, you check off. Sometimes you'll hit things that fire. We saw this in uh, Old Sworn. It's very similar to the Old Sworn mechanic. Uh, eventually, you'll finish your 10, right? 10 weeks yep. of summer, and it'll go into winter. Then you do like 10 weeks of winter, then it goes back to summer, and that will determine uh, which event decks you're drawing from. So, summer, it's obviously nicer. I'm assuming winter is more rough. So, we're probably preparing, preparing for the winter in the summer. A little more should be the theme, I assume. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Now, the second step is an outpost event, which you will uh, make sure you're drawn from the summer outpost, which you just pulled a road. Oh, outpost, sorry. I'm, I'm trying so to... Outposts are on the right of that card tray, and the available ones are in front of the banner, and okay. make sure it's summer, which you'll be able to tell by the bottom here. It says right here. What's that say? S. Mm -hmm. So S. Oh, these just, are summer. I think they're already shuffled. I think from setup. These are all. Okay, these are all summer. And are they uh, not in numerical order? Oh, and then the right? winter's pie. I'm just trying to understand how these are kind of. Yeah, they're shuffled. Okay. So, so 15 is our first summer outpost. Yeah, I see. And then the winter ones are back. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's always tiny writing on these things. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if I can. All right. Damn White Oak, they gave us half a budget and still expect us to stay alive. Captain Olmstead is stomping around angrily. He punches his frustration by knocking a weapon rack to the floor. Punctuates, sorry, punctuates. Upgrades to the barracks could mean the difference of lives in this town, and we stuck filing requests. We're stuck filing requests that take months to get through the pass and back, just to have their stupid red rejected stamps. He grabs a training sword and stabs it into the straw belly of a practice dummy. Arg! This seems like a bad time to ask if there are any new jobs posted. Option A, offer to cover the cost of upgrading the barracks yourself or leave and come back later. Oh, I wish we had any idea of how well, much grab things the cost. Building. We know that, grab the building cards that are in the front of that deck. I, again, it doesn't know what the barracks is. We could see this card later in the scenario, in the campaign, I'm sure. But the barracks, just for fun, I don't think these are all the right way, but... That's how they were, I just grabbed them. Oh yeah, maybe they are. Yeah, this is the barracks, right? So the barracks, for example, you know, it's probably just going to say, pay some resources. Maybe it's any mix of any two resources. Maybe, maybe four. You know what I mean? Okay, you guys are going to vote on the option in a second. I'll just put the poll. Uh, actually, I'll put it right now, maybe that's good. So for the scenario, I'm going to end the poll. And it's 50 50 oh, for two no. and three. No, it's easy. We just roll a die then. Okay. Like, whatever. Unless you would rather. No, Mel gets to vote. Uh, do you want to scout or deal with their offensive? Scout? Scout? Yeah. Okay, which was two. two. Okay. okay. We're playing scenario, playing scenario two, two on Tuesday in a couple days. Okay. You can, again, it's in the playlist down below already. You can set notify me. All right. And now you're doing a, now I'm doing a new poll because I can only do one poll at a time. Okay, uh, A, oops. <laughs> yes, the Mel, my, the Mel is right member emojis are being spammed in the chat. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we do need a Rob is right for those rare occurrences. It's a, no, it's got to be a Rob is right question mark. <laughs> or Rob is right sometimes, or rarely, or something like that. Okay. So based on this, uh, are we going A or B? You guys vote. Offer to cover the cost upgrading the barracks yourself or leave and come back later. Which I'm assuming will do something mess with us and then we have to shuffle this card back in the deck or we spend some resources maybe. 
Yeah, which would be okay if yeah. it gives I, I would, us a bonus. Yeah, I'd probably vote A, I, I guess, just assuming. I don't know. All right, I'm going to close the poll. That was just a quick one. Oh, a Rob's rant emoji. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true, too. Okay, putting that on the list. Yeah. How do we... Hmm. <laughs> Okay, looks like we're going with <laughs> option A. 87% said option A. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Screw you, Mike. <laughs> All right, option A. Um, do we cover? Do we want to do that? Yeah, I got oh, it. Whatever. Okay, got it. Uh, loose, oh, 10 collective gold. Oh, oh, we can do that. Okay. Can we? I have 14. Have oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I have 10. So, so you want to use I'll five and five? Five and five? Sure. Pencil. Okay, so I'm at nine. Five, okay. Hello? Hello? Card, camera, anybody? All right. Uh, you offer to make up the budget deficit to upgrade the barracks uh, out of your own pocket. Captain Olmstead, eyes widen. Your mercenaries are not nearly the scum Santa thinks you are. I'm going to tell her right now. Upgrade the barracks to the next level, or if the barracks is already level four, gain one morale instead. Okay, now we know the barracks can only go to level four. Okay. Otherwise, read outcome B. Oh, so we okay. can afford it. So I think... So this gets removed from game unless it had this symbol from it, so they purposely didn't want to use the tear up, tear up card symbol. Remember in Gloomhaven? Oh, that, that yeah. From the game symbol, like, caused people to actually destroy their game. So that's level one, right? The barracks was level one? Yeah, so of course. Even, so then here's yeah, level yeah. two. Okay. This is out of the game. We do need a out of the game bag. So, uh... And then level one is... This is gone. I, I don't know you do whatever. I guess I'll put it out of the game, yeah, too. Yeah, out of the game, I'm assuming. Unless the level can I'll drop put it down. With, yeah, I'll put it back with this in the same way it was. Okay. We'll see. So now our barracks is level two. Collectively train up to... Oh! Oh, did we do... We forgot to do the barrier... The, the When we got the buildings in setup, right? I don't know, because you, you did that stuff, which we didn't do. So yeah. let's do that one first. Should we have, or we should have done this, right? When I made the decks or something, or is this not going to happen? Is the free four soldiers not going to happen now? Because this is happening before the, the phase it would? I'm now confused, because I thought we were going to get to where we get to do this these bonuses. Yeah, so the bottom left bonus should have been when we built the initial deck, right? No, that's the bottom right bonus. Or the yeah, sorry, the bottom right. I'm okay. reading the comment. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you get them. Okay. You got them? Did I? Can no, back to the I didn't. I didn't. No, nothing was written yeah. on here. So we should have four more soldiers. So we're actually. Well, we can only get a max of because oh. we're level one. We can only have a max of so four. Those soldiers, we got at the end of the first scenario were wasted. Well, the yes, ideally. Oh, that sucks. So who cares about keeping any of those guys alive? Useless. Okay. So that one gave us four soldiers. Then that's going to go back out. Sorry. Then. Okay. So this is upgraded. Okay. So now that we built this, right now this happens. Yeah. One plus prosperity and two useless soldiers we can't even gain. Yeah. We can't carry them over. Oh, no. We can now because we're at level two. Now okay, we open two. this. Hold on one second. Prosperity. Right. Is it barracks that gives us a soldier level? What is the level? What is the level? I assumed it was our level. No. Level is tied to the level of the building. Oh. Yeah, we now can hold six soldiers, so okay. now we're full now at we're six. Now we're full at six. Sorry, that gives Still, us one prosperity. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And two soldiers. Okay, we're getting there slowly. We are new. I was like, we, the barracks We've never played a game before. All right. <laughs> I thought it was our level. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the, us stumbling through the outpost phase. All right. Collectively train up to... Uh, this is an action we can do later. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, now it still has capacity of six. Effect. Advantage. Oh, that's when we use a soldier, we get an advantage and minus 15 attack. Oh, wow. And before they were only like minus five, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Cool. So did you get one prosperity? You Okay, sorry. Uh, I did that, yeah. You gain morale from the soldier. Sorry, from the scenario instead of soldiers. Oh, did it say that in the yeah? Oh, okay, so we would have already been so. full. Sorry, 
Oh my god. We're lost. No, I didn't know that that wasn't done. Sorry, I didn't even realize. Where is this? Well, it said gain 2 plus X morale, comma, N2, and X soldiers, comma, where X is the number. So we still lost it on the soldiers, but it's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. That is what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's both. It's both, not or. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, no worries. Okay. No worries, no worries, no worries. We've done that. I have. You got the prosperity. I got the prosperity. Okay, I just need to got see that soldier. before we move on, because no that's worries. important. It, this is in our deck now. Yeah. Number 98. Okay. Now... That was the event done, right? Yeah, but do you want to do the rest of those bonuses on the bottom while we're doing it? Uh, yeah. Just in case it changes anything else. Uh, this, right? We should add from. Oh, we already did oh, that. Oh, you in already setup. did that in setup. Yeah, because I was. Yeah. Okay, so you did some of it. You know what? I probably marked it on the original campaign sheet during setting up the game. Oh, and then we we're not using that. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what probably happened. No I didn't transfer it. Okay, and is there anything on the other ones? Uh, this goes. No. No? Okay, so then we're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was just that mistake. Okay. So we're not damaging buildings. There was no fighting happening, so we won't get to see that today. That's fine. Now, step three, building operations. After the outpost event step, resolve effects of all buildings. Go through the building deck in sequential order, one card at a time, and for each building, resolve any normal or wrecked effect, which appears at the top of the card next to the sun icon. So in, in order number, right? 34, no effect. Alchemist, no effect. Workshop, each of the following is an upgrade that can be built in any order. Can we build any of those right now? Mm. We don't have any, do you have metal? Hey. Hey. What is this? I see a boat, I see a boat. I see Santa sled, and I see some random, uh, you know, Inuit sleds or whatever. Climbing gear? Would that be the rope that I'm thinking? It's probably the climbing gear. I think I, we need to do this for me to even think about retiring a character, right? I think that's what's happening here. I think this is what is going on. I think that's... Those are your scenario requirements. That's what I would put together based on that. Oh, sorry. We don't do this part until the construction, they're saying. Don't do the... Oh, okay. The sorry. Upgrade. Forget it. Oh, yeah, because these don't have a sun next to them. Only this one has Only a sun. Only that one. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Boo. Okay. okay. I see, I see. So right now, we could collectively train soldiers, we're but we're full. max. So, okay. Don't care. Ignore this. This is the bo most boring outpost phase <laughs> ever. No, I expect it to be boring. That's fine. <laughs> All right, uh, and we don't need to rebuild anything there. Downtime, right? Yep, but we can't level. Are we allowed to build there, or building is after? Building's after in the construction. Oh, it's building operations, which is using the buildings. Downtime, this is when you could... This is when you can level up. Retire a character, create a character, craft items, brew potions, sell items, and sticker 11 eventually and sticker 12 eventually. Whatever those let you do. Um, which we all know this kind of stuff, except for the crafting. I just want to look at... So this is the moon this... stuff, right? So if I look at... Um, Available craftable. I just want to see how many... So if I look at this... Oh, we can. This, this lets us craft items because it's in the moon, right? Yeah, we can so technically. So you're looking at available craftable items? Yeah. So let's see. I was just looking to see if there's anything that's like even so worth you're it. Looking at, there's things like this. So spyglass, we could use some metal to craft it, right? That's yeah. how the crafting system works. It's just instead of money, you spend other resources. Crude helmet, traveling cloaks, crude hide armor, crude boots. Flexible slippers, ooh, way better than the stiff ones. Crude bow, crude spear. Is that spear more straight than mine? Protective scepter. Some of these will be very obvious for who, which character class they should go with because they're like the starting craftable stuff. So. I don't have any metal. I only have. I have um, one. Okay. But am I allowed to like, use. Am I allowed to trade him? No, we can't trade can't... items. 
No, but am I allowed to give you? But I think I'm I think I'm allowed. Uh, we're allowed to move resources to Frosthaven, but not between each other. I think. But then, could you not just spend? No trading. Okay. Yeah, we know no trading. It's like Gloomhaven, right? Which is always. I weird. was just thinking more trading resources, not necessarily items that we've crafted, because I know you can't do that. I think I can give my resources to Frosthaven, but I think when you're crafting, you can only spend it from your personal supply. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Personal supply for crafting, unless, unless it's potions, right? Or something. So, during your attack ability, gain advantage on one attack. So I, I could get this as my helmet. Advantage on a single attack could be huge. I like that kind of stuff. A helmet. Oh, we know these kind of helmets. When you oh, yeah, are attacked, okay. treat any times two modifier the enemy draws as a plus one instead. And things are just not as good around here. Traveling cloak. At the start of the scenario, increase your maximum hit point value by one. Meh. You don't have any... Do you have hide? No. Okay, I don't either. I don't oh, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, you do. Okay, so we can't look at hide ones. I'm just looking at all of them so we know what to save for and yeah. look for and when to give away resources to frost save, when to store them for yourself if you're saving up for something. Crude hide armor. The next two attacks targeting you, the attacker gains disadvantage. That's going to make you put a minus one in your deck. Crude boots. During your move ability, add an extra move. Plus one. I prefer jump better, but I know there's some characters that just need that movement to stay up in the scenario or to get some ability if they've moved them on a turn. Flexible slippers. During your end of turn looting, loot an adjacent hex instead of the hex you occupy. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. But not over my wing boots. Crude bow. During your turn. Oh yeah, the other cool thing in this game, if you don't know, uh, based on the rulebook, it showed an example of a shield and a, an, a reinforced, like improved shield. And you need the original shield to be able to craft as one of the crafting ingredients so definitely i picture crude bow being a ingredient needed for a future not so crude bow i can picture that so getting some of these things now and then getting the more improved version later uh through crafting system is kind of neat um so i don't know we'll get see though yeah anytime a video game or anything says it's got the crude version there's a better version mm -hmm. and you need this version to make it better uh all right, during your turn, add a plus one range to one of your range attacks. Oh, yeah, I love but that you don't, stuff. Yeah, you don't have any wood, right? No, okay. I don't have wood, but I want wood now. Okay, now I know. I mean, I'm going to hoard wood. Crude Spear, during your turn, one of your single target melee attack abilities may target an enemy two hexes away. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Protective Scepter. Need some lumber and hide during your turn. Grant one ally with a range to a block. So this is for a supporting character to help the frontline tankers or your skeletons. Yeah. Your skeletons, your frontline fighters. And that's for the rest of the round. So if they're getting pummeled by multiple enemies. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is I go, oh. Uh, no, I like I this can, for yeah, you. Yeah, I can use this any time. I like this for you a lot. But it's oh, during, during your, your turn. turn. So I'd have to go early. Yeah, okay. I can see. Oh, hold on. But your summons go before you... Oh, yeah. As soon as you go early, you're protecting them from the enemies. You just want right, to go before the enemies. Right, from the, the hitbacks. Yeah. yeah. And here's the crude shield, that the example that they had, one of the ones in the thing. Uh, when an enemy would apply a negative condition to you, prevent the condition. Cool. But you have to take a minus one in your deck to hold this. But again, if you're about to get poisoned or wounded or something or immobilized and it's going to ruin your whole turn, yeah. stunned, you can just be like, Bow! not today, Junior. All right. Okay, nothing like super stands out for me, so I think I'll probably I use... I like the extra range on attacks or those ones are good. Yeah, I think I, I would want. donate my wood to Frosthaven. Okay, so that was crafting items. Then we go next. Brew two herb potions. I only have one herb, so I can't even do that I only yet. have one herb, too, so we're... Oh, what herb do you have? Oh, you have a different one than I do. 
So how would this work? We put them in Frost Haven. But when can you put them in Frost Haven? When was I don't that, know. That... I feel like you can just do it. Does anyone know? Is it super rigid? Or can I just right now say, I'm giving it to Frost Haven. And then Mel goes, oh, look what I found in Frost Haven. I'm crafting and brewing potions. I feel like this one's a little bit looser than the crafting. Is it looser? Ba based on what I read, but I don't Are we allowed if we each have a resource? I'll throw my resource into craft or yeah. to brew. Yeah, I would too. Like... You can combine her. Okay, so let's combine them. Done. Let's do that for fun so we can do something fun. Yeah, yeah, I want to see something. Where is that one? Do I have that? I don't know. It's one of those big sheets. It's oh, another advent calendar. Sheet. Okay, one sec, one sec. My books are on top of it. You cannot take from the outpost? Mm, yes, you can for this. Mm, is that true? Yeah. For I thought you could for, for the plants, you though. can. Not for... Let's um, find out. Let's find items. out. Items. Where is... Let's just double check. Because obviously there's some people misunderstanding, and it could be us. I don't have this one. Brew potions. Items can be brewed by interacting with the Alchemist building. Characters brew a potion by spending two herb resources taken from the Frost Haven supply or their personal supply. Okay. We were correct. I don't have... Chad, you're wrong. <laughs> you are not a Frost Haven expert. <laughs> Neither are we. I don't right. have that one. What's in this? Oh, it's in this one. Okay. Oh. So, where's my board? So I spent a uh, this symbol. And I spend a this symbol. So we're doing the bingo. Uh, right here. Yeah. B4. I'm losing mine. Spoilers if you really don't want to know yeah, yeah. what any of we're this getting is. Into the heavy spoiler potion <laughs> item territory. Right? Just double check. I spent this symbol. Yep. Yes. You spent this symbol. Correct. Group? Yeah. Right here. Okay. They should have given me like little like pull tabs or something. It's fine. <laughs> Chad says, indeed. I screwed that up for three games so far. <laughs> well, I'm glad you we figured that help. out. Hey, man, if we're all learning here, and if we can help people, and we're all helping each other. It's great. I love it. Uh, renewing potion. 92. 92. So, who crafted this? We'll say it doesn't matter, right? Because no, you we can, can give it away. Yeah, we can look at it and decide who get, yeah. who it's So technically, we'd say Mel crafted it, and right away when you craft a potion, you can give it to another player. So it's not truly you're not allowed to trade items and that kind of stuff, but it's like you're not allowed to trade items. So 92, right? Yep. Okay, so one copy, the player who crafts it gets it. Renewing potion. Oh. So eventually you can level up the alchemist. It says in the book, uh, and you can like, what is it? Di uh, Disenchant distill? or distill? Distill. And you can try to get resources back. You can get like one of those resources back if you want to distill. Um, so if you don't like it or don't use it. Uh, during your turn, but we need the alchemist, I think, on like level two or three to do that. During your turn. Oh, this is the good stuff. Yeah, this is the stuff that we want. This is the broken stuff from the first game that made me love Gloomhaven. Was getting extra cards back, which is extra turns, extra actions. Especially for a character who's like pitching cards like crazy or has like cards in the active slot and stuff. Do you get to recover? Oh, but this is items. This is items. No, this isn't this ready item. Yes. Yeah, ready. Not, to... not your action cards. Yeah. But I saw that symbol and I immediately thought <laughs> action cards. Ready. So this up is not as good. Of your this is not as good. Now, I love this. So yeah, because... still cards. It's just the wrong cards I was thinking of. Yeah. So I items. love this because this can help me with my robe. So if my skeleton can help anyone with anything. Yeah, but I don't my have jumping two. boots and shield. You know, I could get these back, right? Mm -hmm. So I can jump and block, and then I don't have the long rest again, and I can do it again and jump and block, right? Mm -hmm. I will so to fight craft you for this, this again, we would need only one of those symbols. No, we need both. Both of them still, you need both but we to can. craft. Okay. But now it's available in the available craftable Crafting. items. Okay. Right. Yes. Or is it its own potion thing now? No, brewing potions is creating craftable items, right? I don't know. Yes. Care. Are you sure? Because once you have revealed them, you know how to make them. Okay. And now it's part of the crafting system, not the yes. brewing system? Um, craftable. Yogi says yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm like, this is brewing. This is crafting, <laughs> even though it uses the same resources. Yeah, it's like we, we discovered a new potion that now we know how to make. My mind was just blown. Fine, you take it. 
Yeah, I was putting that so you put it in the card holder because I'm not letting go of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm allowed to hold uh, uh, two of them for now, right? These these small. Oh, pocket? two pockets. Or is it only um, one at this phase? Small items is one. Oh, that's fine. I'll just take it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll try to find you some resources. I'll loot my butt off. And, it's all good. And, and having this jump could help me get to that loot at the end of a scenario more often to try to earn you resources. It's all good. I'll I'll pay you back. Don't worry. All good. Let's remember that when we open our next potion and it says, like, heal or this. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> recover get, cards. Yeah, recover cards from your lock pile. <laughs> no, I'm mine. <laughs> it's my game. That's so funny. Uh, okay. Okay. So we've crafted. Okay, crafted oh, items. Crafted done. items. We've done our potions. Okay. Uh, we brewed potions. Done. Oh, that it even fun. says you're only allowed to do two herb ones, so there's higher herb ones? Yeah, once we get to the three herb here, once we um, upgrade, once we upgrade the alchemy. So this is telling me that it's you need this plus two others. Is that what this yeah. is? And this plus like this and this? Yeah, or like this plus this and this. And... Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a lot harder to get those, I think. Two or more the same. What is this little box? Oh, when you do two or more of the same? Two or more the same. I'm assuming yeah. I'm not supposed to know what that is or what it does now. Yeah, Rob's gonna fight me for any potion. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Anything that helps with allies, I'm like, man, I gotta keep my banners alive. <laughs> I gotta keep that guy that doesn't even attack anyone alive so I can do formations. Give me that. Give me that. No, keeping her allies alive are good too. Bottom right, two herbs of the same potion and another herb. Hmm. Okay. But you still have to unlock this part of it, Yeah, right? we're not on that far. Like, we're only, we're playing up here right now. Damn, this is crazy. Yeah, we need to unlock them all. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we're doing nothing here, or we're allowed to do this not stuff yet. now? No, we're not in that phase yet, the upgrading and all of that, right? That's in the construction. Where we're allowed to upgrade. Oh, those are considered building upgrades. Yeah. Oh, but it's the building making them. So I meant the alchemist producing potions. I'm not upgrading potions. I'm crafting items. This is not an item. These aren't items. No. This is the BS. Those are items. No, they're buildings, I believe. I'm building or a climbing gear building? You're building Get a storage unit for your bow. Okay, all right, we'll see. That'll make more sense later, I guess. It just seems weird. And then... The good old barracks. We're going to do the nun. Yep, let's choose the nun. I'm going to do nun twice, actually. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let's see. You guys are all laughing at me like, man, this guy just needs to play a couple more scenarios and he'll realize what's going on. But I'm Yeah, lost. we do need to stick with the upgrades. I thought about that. Stick the upgrades. Just the one. We got the level yeah, two the barracks, stickers? but I don't know where I'm supposed to find that. Oh, I know oh, where the I'm sticker sheet. I know where I'm supposed to find it. Never the sticker sheet. I thought always, it was in like an envelope. The or sticker something. sheets you're not supposed to look too closely at. Got it. Yeah, I'll look Everything at them over here. Everything else is all hidden in envelopes and behind closed doors, but the sticker sheets, for some reason, they're just open and loose. All right, not that one. Not that one. Oh, I get it. I see. I see. Oh, level two. I'm giving it to you to sticker. And it goes at oh, it'll 98. Show the barracks. Right here. Trying to look at these fence posts. And the mountain. Oh no, it started sticking early. Oh no. No. I mean, it Close still enough. looks good from far away. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. What am I zooming in for? Yeah. No, don't you zoom don't in. Need to see, see my there it looks perfect. Great. Yeah. See? Yeah. I got I to gotta also. Rob looks like he's a perfect sticker. I, I also got to unsharpen the, the focus, you know, make it a little blurry <laughs> so you have no idea what's going on. All right. Barrick stickered. Okay. Now we're into construction. After the downtime step, the party may build, upgrade, and rebuild buildings. Nothing was. Build. Nothing was. Oh, build we can do. Because there's a whole bunch of things on the board. Yeah. We can build a hunting Like we can lodge. build, but some of them... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some of them we can't do yet. Well, let's read more before we switch. 
And they may lose two morale to build or upgrade a second building. Nah. No, we won't have enough resources uh, We for need that. the defense. Uh, buildings cannot be upgraded while wrecked. The party may also rebuild any number of wrecked buildings, but not until after any builds and upgrades. And it just talks about getting the stickers. Rebuilding. Oh, definitely. We probably won't be able to build anything. Looking at some of the prices. Yeah, let's check. Okay, so here we have a logging camp that needs prosperity one. We have mm -hmm. needs two lumber. I have. And this, are we allowed to pull from personal? We, uh, you know what I mean. We would put them in frost even. So confusing. All right. Uh, so two lumber, three metal. I only have two, and two hide. So we're one metal short. You have no metal. I have right? no metal and no hide. Does frost even have anything? No. Nothing, right? I mean, I don't know. Oh, we have inspiration, which we can spend. Instead of a material resource. Yes. But then also inspiration, 15 of it can be spent to... When you retire. When you retire to do a second personal quest. So in my mind, I'm like, I want to save inspiration for that. Because that sounds pretty busted. Yeah. But I definitely would do it if we want to get something built. If we're like one shy, it might be good. But if waiting one more round, looting a little bit more and getting that lumber that way... Seems like inspiration is like really powerful. Mm -hmm. And so using it just to replace like one resource doesn't seem like a good spend, but maybe. This wall needs six inspiration. So, oh, we also need 10 money. You have nine. Oh, okay. A logging camp. I don't know what that does, but maybe this wall, would? this wall only needs, uh, oh, you guys can't see. There's a wall here that literally only needs uh, one inspiration level we have or lumber. I have three. And ten money. So that's soonish. Maybe we, can... we do that next round. If but we can, can find right... a lumber. We could do it right now with uh, one morale. Or uh, inspiration. Inspiration. I don't know. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Are we get... It's it's going to help with attacks, right? Yeah. It helps but build we... up your... Um, you get, uh, I think it's like... Defense. Five defense automatically on Frosthaven. Yeah. But I'm assuming walls get wrecked too, maybe? But see, I would wait. I would want to wait because if we get that next time and we wouldn't have to spend the inspiration, we can just build it next Here's time. Here's the problem, though. You are restricted to building one building every outpost phase. So if all of a sudden we have and we want to do two, I don't want to waste morale to get stuff done, like, quickly, you know? I feel like it would be a while before we'd ever be able to afford to be able to do two. Maybe next, but we're one away, technically. What if we get another loot? Now we're we're super close or to doing two next time. I don't want to spend the morale to do it. Then we got to wait again. But it's fine. It's fine. Then we might also want to use stuff to craft, right? So, yeah, yeah lots, of, lots of places to spend resources, which is really fun. Mining camp is one prosperity, four lumber, two metal, metal one hide, and ten money. So that one, again, we're one short in the lumber department. This wall, we don't care about, it's Prosperity 3. This wall is Prosperity 4. This wall is Prosperity 2. The Hunting Lodge is 1 Prosperity, 4 Lumber, 1 Metal, 2 High. Again, we're 1 Shy. We need more Lumber. So we probably or need... we just use an Inspiration. I'm putting that on you, you decide. Is it 1 Inspiration? Yeah, because it's only replaced the 1 missing resource. It's either we're missing an, a Metal, or we're missing a Lumber. Mm -hmm. And then, depending on what we want to build, so we could build a wall. We could... Oh, but are we allowed to pool our gold? I think we can, right? We're all chipping in on this phase, right? It's not as greedy and selfish as the item system, right? Where you're like trying to hoard your weapons and things, right? Yeah, like I don't know when we're supposed to put our... Check craftsman upgrade. Oh, and the upgrades, right? Upgrade. It's one building or upgrade, right? I think you can... One building or upgrade, I think. Build or upgrade one building. Ah, so we have even more options. So the craftsman. Oh, we can afford this. We can do that. Probably gives more items to craft. We can upgrade this, right? Yeah. Uh, we can do the we, sled and the well, sled. We could do climbing gear if we spend a, an inspiration. Yeah. We could do the boat if we spend inspiration. You have two hide? Obviously the boat, okay. Listen, we, we played enough games here, we know. So like obviously the boat, 
is going to connect some of the scenarios that are out in the water on the map that we can't get to. So they're going to have a boat restriction. There's going to be some, uh, I like a plane explorer, right? Mm -hmm. Some of the ones in the mountain range here, some of these scenarios in the mountain range are going to be inaccessible until we have climbing gear. Right. Like it's obvious. And the sled may be out further on the snow. That's kind of fun. It's a, it's a gatekeeping for scenarios we can't get to yet. I like that. That's cool. I'm assuming that's what it is. So do we care about opening up a whole bunch of side scenarios yet? No, not really, probably. I don't but. even think it would open the side scenario. I think it would just give us... I don't think we'll ever hit a roadblock where we can't, but I feel like it just reaches some of those. Or storylines, like side storylines that are maybe part of the main quest still, but there's, there's separate storylines. That's what I bet. Just guessing, though. Educated guessing. Like, oh. I would want to craft or upgrade something that's going to give me ongoing benefits. They all should. Yeah. So you don't know what a hunting lodge does. Right. You don't know what uh, a mining camp does. I bet it. I bet this gives us more resources, which could lead to other things. Hunting, I bet, gets us more um, hide. Yeah, and then I... The... I bet this generates hide. I bet this generates uh, metal. And then that and one's wood. I bet this generates wood. So, like, basically I'm playing Warcraft here. Uh, Warcraft 2 or 3 or 1, I guess. Um, but I'm playing Warcraft on PC. And I need to start mining the gold mine so I can start so then, building the better buildings, right? Okay, so then logically... We just need some peasants. Logically, if we look, things use more wood than anything else. Goito. <laughs> yeah, I need to build four farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. To then feed my peasants, to then mine my mines, and build my buildings. Yeah. And chop down trees. So I think we need to build the, the logging camp first. What resources because, do we want? Well, no, the everything takes more. Like wood is the most required That's for resource. buildings. But what about for crafting? Uh, nothing sparked my interest. So, is there something sparked your interest? I don't know, but I'm just saying. Like, it seemed like they needed metal and stuff for weapons and hide yeah, if for they clothing. Have, like, a spear on it. If you want to get armor, it's you need some hides and stuff. Yeah. You know, or or some metal. I don't know what we want. Yeah, yeah wood, see, wood is looking for around, it's like, and weapons. yeah, wood is the most used resource on all of these upgrades, especially Logging when you're thinking candidates. of like walls and that too. So we just need to spend one inspiration to take up a metal and then boom. Okay, so the only problem is then I don't have my resources I want to buy my items. But that's it, yeah, I need more pile. <laughs> okay, so I'm spending three, oh, I'm only spending two of my wood. Yeah. I'll, spend. I'll donate my other wood to Frosthaven, so I'm going to put it in here. Yep. Yeah. I'll spend two uh, metal, and you need to take away one inspiration. Done, we're at three. And oh, two sorry. hide. I'm taking two hide away. Okay. Going down to two. Okay. Okay, we need a and log. And ten gold? Did you... uh, I, can, I have nine. Uh, okay. I'll spend four. You spend... No, I'm just kidding. I'll spend five. You spend four. You go to one. Whatever. I don't think it matters, right? I'll just spend all my five. I have zero gold. Okay, so I go to four. It only matters when we run into some road event that's like, give me money, and I don't have any, and then we're in trouble. Logging, logging, logging. Yeah, the other thing, too, is with the buildings, uh, repairing after they get attacked and stuff, it has a wood cost, too, but it also has every... It, it's like a How wild cost, work? right? So, look, repairing them, right? Is just uh, spend any two resources, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, but we'll then get a the car. wrecked effect, right? Oh no, they're all all resources. Well, it looks like wood is a little more needed. Yeah, sort that's kind of what I was. Oh, this is uh, actually it's tied gotta... with metal. Oh, this one's got a. I'll let you do that one because it's got a. Um, is this? this is our logging camp level one. Oh, cool! But it's got a thing to it. Oh no, I hate these. I know, but they make sense. But then, like separated. Oh no! I know. Like, I'm not even. Stickers gonna... suck. So then now we we get the logging card, right? Logging. Logging camp level one. Oh, something no like reason that. to put your resources in Frosty Haven Supply until you retire. Might as well hold them in case you oh, want to... Okay. Perfect. Okay, that's good. I wasn't sure. Those so then, the tips we're looking for. Yeah, so then I'll save my one that I put in Frosty Haven, one lumber, and I'll give it to myself again. So I have one lumber. 
And I assume any resources, well, I don't know, I'll wait. I was going to say any resources generated by like the mining camp logging will go into Frosthaven, not into our personal supplies. I don't know. It's like whatever, man. Okay, there's our <laughs> logging camp that we just unlocked. Let's see, does it match? Yeah. Oh, I think I gave it on the wrong side, though. Yeah, that's fine. Ba -da -da -da. Great, it's oh. another building that can get destroyed that we have to spend resources to keep going. Oh, we get a prosperity right now. Yes. Prosperity level two. Prosperity. What? Oh. Oh, I see. It doesn't make us lumber. We have to purchase it. We can turn money into lumber, which is okay. probably good because what items are, but there are purchasable items. So, like, okay. I, I still don't know the resource of gold in this. So that, like, you're just spending it. It's like an extra layer. Like, you spend that to get resources to craft, but then there's also items you can buy. But I, don't know how to buy them yet. I think you have to wait until something lets you buy them. Like you find a merchant on the road. Like I don't think. Oh you... yeah, where's the merchant building? Maybe it's like one of these. <laughs> where's the market? We gotta build the market. Yeah. It's okay. It's under this. We gotta build the. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's the <laughs> flea market one. <laughs> one twenty-eight. We gotta build the flea market. <laughs> yeah, we can't buy anything now. Okay, so okay, this so is going in, in here. In order in number. Front. I got the one prosperity, so we have two now. What's this? Oh, that's mine. That's it. I think that's it for the... Back. So it's out of... Okay. Ah, gold is less useful than resources. Unless you can turn them into resources. But we can only do it so many times. Like, we can only do it once. Oh, uh, oh. Collectively buy up to one wood for two gold. So every outpost oh, phase, we wow. can buy one oh. additional. But it, I'm assuming as we level it up, that either gets cheaper or we can buy more. We'll Interesting. See. Interesting. That's cool. Okay, so these we don't need anymore? Nope. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you fit for it. <laughs> Stupid. I mean, I like the idea of it, but it seems like a little unnecessary. I, know. I, I need like a, a like a rolling layer thing where it's on and I just like roll it onto the screen and like roll it off. But it's that's not happening. We just fiddle, we fiddle with it. All right, there's our mess of uh, components. We made it. Scenario one in the book. Five hours <laughs> of stream goodness <laughs> to rant, ramble, explain, set up, play a scenario, strategize, craft, build, outpost, event draw, all this kind of cool stuff. This is Frosthaven. So one thing I'm thinking now, we're playing scenario two. Whether we win or lose that, it forces us into four. So there's no outpost phase between two. So that one should shrink that. Well, if you lose, you could go back you to could Frosthaven. Go back. Yeah. Or you stay and just fight number two again. Yeah. But if you win, though, you have a choice going back to Frosthaven. But then you'll have to draw a road event before going back. Yeah, and it, and it or, passes time and all yeah, of that. Yeah. So if you're not ready to level up, maybe there's not really a reason to yeah, go back and just kind of keep collecting all your yep, rewards. Same thing we did with Gloomhaven. Yeah. Because also you're drawing an event. And, and I know, based on the rules, the events could attack you. Yeah. So if you're not going back, that's one less event you're drawing that could be pummeling your buildings mm -hmm. and needing your resources, right? Yep. But then it's also, on the other side, it could be one less resource, like... One less card you're drawing that could gain your resources or cool things. I or one less building. Or one less you building build. you're building. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so it's interesting. interesting. Definitely interesting. Yeah, it's very cool. Unless it's, yeah, unless yeah, unless it's, it's force linked. linked. Yeah, yeah, then you have to. But... Yeah, but we know the next one's only l regular linked. Old school linked. Not the new hotness linked. Yeah. Yeah. Force linked is not optional, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we won scenario one. All yeah. thanks to you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We crushed it. We played with our food. We got lots of loot. Yeah, we definitely could have ended sooner, but yeah, yeah. But this is what we got to do in the early scenarios before the game starts kicking our butt. Yeah, definitely. While we can. Yeah, we get those boss fight scenarios and we're like scrambling and like yeah. freaking out. Down to like our last cards. Somebody's exhausted already. <laughs> but yes, if you are interested in following us on this ride and want to keep it going, keep joining in, keep watching, whether it's live or later. Hit that like button. Helps other people find the streams from YouTube promoting them and sharing them with people with other interests like yours because you're liking this than that then they like this and that it tries to like introduce them will bring more people to the community which brings more eyeballs which makes it definitely more fun the more people watching are getting involved and uh also helps the channel grow make sure you subscribe share the videos if you want 
And uh, yeah, the more eyeballs on the game means the more motivated to uh, of playing it. I don't see why I wouldn't keep playing it for the foreseeable future. But some campaigns, if we're not, you know, it's not working out that great or no one's really watching, we might just kind of end it. But uh, yeah, we'll keep it rolling. We're going to play a little aggressively at the beginning to get a good foundation in the game. So we are playing on Tuesday, then on Thursday, then on Saturday right now. Unless, unless the only thing I think that could change that is Tuesday on a weeknight for Mel who works the next day. If it goes too long? If it goes too long on a weeknight, because we're still kind of early and slow, if the next scenario takes so long, the outpost phase takes so long, we might not do Thursdays and make it just a weekend game. We'll see, though. Mm -hmm. So you might see Thursday's episode get shifted and then, you know, all that kind of stuff. We'll see, we'll see. But for now, you can just set notify me on them or subscribe and hit up notification bell. You'll get notified no matter what. So whether I move them and whatever, you'll still get notified when it goes live. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to give one short shout out here to Corey who says, Woo, made it through my first live stream with y'all start to finish. Whoa. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm sorry. There's a long one. I'm sorry you'll never get those hours back. I'm so, I apologize for all I that. hope you enjoyed it at yeah. least. <laughs> I'm sorry if we let you down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so yeah if you're looking for us some of the other games we play play lots of games like this on the channel over the years uh again playlists are in the video description or check the playlist section thank you everyone that donates to the channel thanks for supporting us here allowing us to purchase games like this spend time on them spend money on equipment to stream them and travel to conventions to check them out and find them and maybe even buy them there and paints to paint them and paints to paint them and equipment to paint the to apply the paint to paint them and all that <laughs> stuff Anyways, thank you all for supporting the channel every way you do, whether it's just to watch, whether it's just to like, whether it's to comment, to share, whatever. And to get involved, to chat, all that stuff, post funny emojis to make it more fun and entertaining than just playing by yourselves in the dark basement. But we appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.